No, I refuse. Yeah. Bye. Okay, fine. Okay. See you later. All right, now it's time for the Shima Show. Taking all of Hinkle's <laughs> characters. The Shima Show, all day long. Kazard plays Anon and no one else. <laughs> Hundred years, Kaz and Shima. Hundred years, Kaz and Shima. <laughs> We're gonna Kaz run and around. Shima, season forty-seven. Kaz and Shima, seven more seasons, Kaz. We're gonna, we're gonna run around, and we're gonna get people all up into the snoot. And we're gonna play other games that don't have snoots, but they'll suck. <laughs> Alright, so, as I get these, uh, get this link, uh, have you guys thought about ranking how you feel about the main snoot game? No, I've had a lot, I've actually been feeling a bit of the, uh, post-series depression coming along. When you finish a game, you feel really bad because the story's over. I was actually feeling that uh, hard. You're, you're going Gosling completely. mode then. Yeah, I was feeling I was feeling pretty down about the game being over. I really, the last ending was just, it really wrapped things up super nicely. And it's just kind of realizing there's no more routes to go. We, we, we peaked. It's, it, it, yeah. it was, it was but, a sobering But feeling. we got all these bonus chapters now. That's great. Oh, I mean, snap. I, that's right, we have bonus chapters where we might get to see Fang die again. <laughs> get you imagine it. they just add more deaths? I, I don't want my negativity... My negativity here is... I don't even want to call it negativity. I, it's What I'm going to say is misleading. Like, okay. I definitely don't have... Now, how do I make a tweet? Criticism might be the word <laughs> you're looking for? No, it's not... That's the thing. That's what I want to say. It's not even criticism. I... I I don't feel anything negative about the game at all. I just definitely don't have the post-series depression. Uh, I was getting uh, that. I was. I, my, I, I tend to get really invested in narrative games, uh, like the, like ones that really focus hard on the narrative. Like that. So maybe I that. Yeah, that I'm, also, very, I'm also. I'm also. It's I, a very well written game. Like it's 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 so good. It's so impressive. It's just. I mean, that, that's it. You know, that I mean, that's fair. I'm also a giant pussy, so I can understand, you know, me getting emotional about it afterwards. I mean, I, I, I can agree with that. I get pretty um, emotional and attached. Oh, I uh, thought you were agreeing characters. that I was, a, I, I was. I thought you were agreeing that I was a giant pussy, and I was going to tell you, "Fuck you." No, we're brothers in arms over this. Hey, brothers in arms over how much of a pussy you are. For being over, over emotional bitches. I want the Snoots to continue. I want Snoot Game College. I want Snoot Game Life. Snoot Game Seven More Seasons. I want Snoot Game Retirement Home. <laughs> Snoot Retirement. I want Snoot Game Afterlife. Snoot Retirement. Now it was just definitely it was a, a very fun story. It's very well written. It gets you very invested, especially over the last few uh story arcs seeing how all those play out you get invested in the characters and it does feel sobering seeing that it's over or at least uh, almost over we do still have the bonus chapters yeah. so i'm trying not to be and, too and there is also some people are working on mod roots so there's a possibility for the future mod roots are, are, are nice although it is just kind of i always do sort of feel like mod roots there's just something about them they won't capture the original vision of the original writers perfectly not to not to dissuade anyone from writing anything. If you have a mod and writing uh, another route for this game, go for it. I especially would be interested in fucking Nazar roots or power bottoming or what was what did you call it? power middling? Power middling, yes. Power middling Nazar and Naomi roots. If you want to go for those, go for it. Yeah. All right. Tweet was made. I think it worked. Don't still don't know what a hashtag is, but whatever. Well, how do you hash a tag? I don't know. I, I don't know. Maybe you like, fry it up with some with some potatoes or something. All right. That sounds good. Also, hey, Bongo and Tenshi. Ha so, how much have you avoided spoilers? I, I mean, I looked at the names last time. We can look at them here. You looked up names? I, well, like you I just, I just sure. looked at the list. It, I, I'm guessing we're gonna have a, a bit of uh, Trish and Naomi, which I get, which you guys were wanting last time after ending four. Oh so, boy. yeah, I so do, there was I, something I do like good. Naomi. But other than that, yeah, I've kind of not really looked at anything Snoot related since the game came out because I, well, because half I just wanted to get to streaming, but then I did oh, see bonus fun. chapters were added. I'm like. Mm. I don't want to get ruined. Nice. There's these. a lot of them. I thought there was uh, when I first looked at it. I thought there was only six, but it looks like there's, yeah, there's three. Ten. Yeah, there's ten. So it's pretty good. 
Alright, so I think let's get started with Chicxulub Gutter Lane. You think the mouse pad is gonna move out the cum stain on his desk? You know, that's also, a that, that reminds me. That, that's a mystery that was remained unsolved throughout all four routes. Yes, it's funny, that reminds me uh, when you were asking that a few streams back, and, and the, the one writer dev guy said, Oh, if you want to know what the image is supposed to be, here's this. And we thought he, he just ghosted on that. Now it's like, Oh, because I remember the other time someone tried to post a link, it didn't go through. So no. I guess we did get an answer, but YouTube just wouldn't allow it. <laughs> It was too real. And by too real, I mean it was a real photograph. <laughs> Read route is underway. Ah. Yeah, there was a... So, so what, what I saw just on routes, since we mentioned that before I get started, I saw there's a Read route being worked on, and then there's an Olivia route, which is the fan character. And then I think some people were talking about a Trish route. Someone mentioned that last time. That sounds fun. I like Trish. Yeah, that'll be fun. Trish definitely, Trish definitely, like, I, I think I said this uh, uh, during one of the last two streams, but Trish's problems can be solved by a good dicking. <laughs> I, I don't know. I mean, I, I mean uh, well, probably, because fun fact with that, her her song theme in the uh, song list is titled She Fucks Human Men. So she probably does that. just need uh, the, the good yeah. old HMD. Oh. And by thinking, I of course meant uh, loving, loving, tender care and affection. It's an acronym. If you spell out D I C K, you get that. D t t no, you don't. No, but I made you think you did for a second. <laughs> you made me if, think if, you're if, an idiot. If you believe hard enough, it does spell that. I made you spell out the words, so you had to check. You made me try and say. Ooh, this is jazzy, I like it. It is jazzy, this is a new track. Yeah. It's a cool autumn's evening, and for some reason, I'm squeezing a car against Mo and Nacer. Fang's dad- That is weird. Fang's dad was driving, and the passenger seat was taken up by a tote bag holding the family's ancient bowling balls. I'm sorry, when are these? Anywhere, I, I assume just anywhere in the game, like, and obviously after you meet Mo and Fang's dad, but probably before oh, you the have weird, to It's a little stairs. weird having Fang's dad do anything, to be honest. <laughs> Maybe this is after you're dating, and this is him This is him trying to intimidate you in a <laughs> realm. In an I mean, yeah, you're going with a T-Rex and a giant pterodactyl who hunts with his bare hands. That's right. He has We're bare hands? <laughs> yes, right. he's a hybrid. Oh, oh, no! <laughs> Every time he looks, you're going to see plenty of gutters close up and on. What the fuck? Oh no! Every time he looked in the rearview mirror, I swear his gaze lingered on me for just a second before returning to the road. The only consolation is that if I don't live to see you to the next day, it wouldn't be because he didn't have his priorities straight while on the road. Wait. I guess he's saying that. Oh, I guess right. at the very least he's driving safely, even if we do, if, if I do die. <laughs> Drive could have lasted for more than 15 minutes, but it felt like a good couple of hours. All bonus chapters are post-ending four. Ah, oh, so okay. it's all good ending. Yeah, so it's all they're a happy family kind of. Hey, BP, hey, PB Pixel, Poon game. No, that's next week. Also be, could it also be ending three since there's a three month span between going to the army and, and graduating? And they, they, I think Fang's family still liked him in ending three too. I guess you could probably argue either way. Because right, I well, mean, there's really no difference be between the two aside from how long they take after, since you know, like you said, ending three had a three month gap, whereas ending four yeah. had a six month gap. Yeah, up until Christmas. Yeah. There's some that take place during the game, too. Oh, okay. Oh, hey, Kai. How you doing? Well, we finally arrived into the parking lot. I step out to stretch my legs while Boa and Nacer continue to catch up. You know, honestly, if we got out and it was in a parking lot looking exactly like this, I just assume I'm dead. Yeah, uh, this, is, this is where you go to cap somebody. <laughs> this is where you get rid of troublesome boyfriends. Nacer was having a blast listening about how Fang and Vaverm Drama knocked it out of the park at Moe's. 
Bo was even wearing the apron Trish sold him to our little gathering. Okay, so this must be during the game then, if it, uh, they're chatting about that. Oh yeah, it was the first day hearing it. Chatting about what? Because they're, they're catching about up about the, uh, the concert. Oh, hey, Laval brothers. How you doing? Laval. <laughs> uh, Mo, why are you wearing that outside? Miles away from the restaurant kitchen. It's at the bottom of my look, my amigo. Is it, my amini? I speak in Italian, I don't If it's in If I ain't a wearing an ape, then I just don't feel right. I'm an Italian chefola. Fair enough. Well, folks, we're here. Are those words? Hope you're ready to die tonight, son. Black <laughs> hole bowling. Of fun, of course. I die of fun. Ah. Ah, black hole. So there will be no traces left. So it's fun seeing Mo and Fang's dad side by side because I thought Mo being a Tyrannosaurus would be larger, but nope, Fang's dad is just huge. <laughs> yeah, the Tyrannosaurus has shrunk over the decades or centuries. Also, even the Nons just slightly taller than him too. It's just like people. The people used to be shorter. Tyrannosauruses used to be shorter. <laughs> you mean taller? It's been a while. A while all the Rip and me used to come here every weekend when I was at your age. And with my weekend off, I figured I'd take the next generation for a game or two. Show you pop how it's done. Surprise you brought in on all, Dad. Someone needed to carry the bowling ball. <laughs> That's pretty unlike you. I was just it was it was just going to be the three of us. But the missus thought it would be a grand idea for him to come along. <laughs> he sounds Here so happy about it. Bo made an odd hand motion with his tiny limbs. <laughs> it only made sense when he added a whip crack sound with it. Wachoo! Wachoo! Wahoo! Wachoo! What's in the. That's a whip crack sound when you made it from a Tyrannosaurus mouth with my tiny arms. <laughs> Quiet, you. I'd have your ass in bars before you'd even know it. I know what goes into your marinara sauce. We both know that you won't. Come on, kids. Olimo needs extra hands to get on his unlucky shoes. <laughs> I know a... where too many of our needs are barely to be a mean. That's a good question. How does he put on his shoes? I ended up having to carry the tote bag of bowling balls inside. He Dear God. On, just like you, he puts on his shoes at the same time by jumping into them. <laughs> well, that's me. You're not, you're not gonna make a cripple carry all those things, right? Man, screw you, Nacer. Your arms work. Also, he's an athlete. <laughs> <laughs> Struggling to not fall over or snap in half like a skin-colored twig, I lugged the bag over. Pretty sure they packed way more than just four balls in here. <laughs> Man, I haven't gone I haven't gone bowling in a long time. It's fun. I have got I think I went bowling sometime last year for like a, a team building event. Is the last time Never I did it. Never gone bowling without bumpers. Oh, well, all wow. this talk about me and Kazard being the pussies. Are yeah, right. <laughs> 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 that really sweeps the dynamic now, doesn't it? it yeah, there's it, more strategy involved. You do shit where you like bounce it off the bumpers at various angles. It means you basically can't miss, though. No, you can miss. Yeah, after your yeah. first throw. Yeah! I mean, I, I can see what you mean by, like, doing the angles and stuff, but it also adds, like, it removes the threat of gutter balls entirely. Like, you can yeah. still, like, you, you can, oh, you, you, I guess you can miss after you've made the first hit, not all of them go down, but you can definitely, it's definitely very hard to miss the first. Oh, I've definitely throw. accidentally gotten a gutter ball, even with, uh... You just throw it over the over the barriers. It's, it's happened, yes. The last you just chuck, do you just chuck it over? I've landed it on the barrier before. 
They, they aren't supposed oh, to Oh, you're just trying to do the Wii bowling strat. <laughs> yeah, the, 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 that Wii bowling thing where, like, if you go you, all the way down the wall, then it just, like, automatically it, it just explodes. At, like, it actually yeah. explodes and knocks all the pins down. Yeah, I remember the last time I went bowling was, you know, two years ago before the pandemic happened. But it was neat because the place was closing down that week, so they just gave us free games all night. Wow. Oh, really? Is it, like, closed down permanently? Is it? Yeah, out? like, they were closing down and just leaving the mall. So it was like, you know what? Oh. We're, it, we're done. Just, just just play. That's unfortunate, but that's cool that they let you play all night. Well, it was unfortunate, but then it got replaced by a full-on arcade place that had, like, more bowling lanes and bumper cars and laser tag. Oh, like, well, uh, no, now it sucks because it has laser tag. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, fucking, what's the name of the place that they have a bunch of them? They're like... They're like really popular chains with laser tag and bowling and arcade. I've expressed my hatred of laser tag. Haven't I? Yeah, we, I, 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 we've heard. Well, maybe not, maybe not this particular stream. If you would like to, I, your, I have not know, heard uh, that. Laser tag to the, to no, the chat. I hate laser tag so much. It is just chaotic lawlessness. Ugh. it just makes me angry. Uh, there's always the one fucking kid who's like, I'm just gonna follow you around and shoot you with my laser the whole time and not actually follow the rules at all. Well, that, like, well, since he's not following the rules, that's when you just pistol whip him and make him go away. Rules are, there are no it's rules. Not, it's not about whether or not people do break the rules. It's about the fact that they, that they can't. Maven Busters! That's what I was trying to think of. Ah, yeah. There's another one of those around here. Anyways. After we got a lane and I placed the balls on the rack... Fang's father and I sat in the benches while Nasser and Mo went to get some snacks. I slouched back in my seat and rest my eyes a bit. Man, those bowling balls were heavy. That's what she said. We parked pretty. We packed pretty far away too, so I had to carry them a good quarter mile or so. Jesus, how big is the parking lot? Yeah. At least the benches here are clean. Sitting here with Fang's father, alone. I'm not gonna get home tonight, are I? Makes you think, recontemplate life choices, doesn't it? My eyes widen as Mr. Aaron and I face each other. I forget that their last name is Aaron. <laughs> I feel my blood turn to ice as a look of malevolent glee spreads across his face. Do you have any idea what it's like having two last, two first names as a name? Aaron! Because, you know, it's Samus Aaron, is, is the joke. Yeah, but it's also a first name. I mean, I guess. Oh, yeah, I knew. I mean, Aaron. kind of, but not spell it really that way. Well, yeah, A A R O N. I knew two Aarons in high school. That's not how you spell S Samus Aaron. Well, no, I'm not going to spell it directly. It sounds like it. They don't. Yeah, it's a, a, a. Her last name is A R A N. You, you don't fuck with Nintendo's lawyers, okay? <laughs> you spell that shit how it's spelled. <laughs> so, head on. We haven't really had a heart to yet, no, have we? <laughs> really? Uh, we've spoke before back at your house, haven't we, sir? True, but here we can really have some good old. Man talk, you know. Motto y motto. Uh, With them out. Compare sizes, you know, that sort of thing. I, yeah, uh, man oh, talk. That's what man I, talk is. I see. Kinda wish I didn't. Fang, Fang's mother isn't here, and Mo has probably dropped his order twice already. Please come back soon. <laughs> Fucking. T-Rex arm jokes are killing me already. Little tiny arms into the big head. I'm not sure how well this plan was brought through. You've been uh, getting along well with everyone so far, huh? Yeah, we know yeah. Nacer isn't going to carry him because, you know, he's crippled and all. Dear Lucy, Nazar, even my old buddy Mo. Here you're a fast learner in his kitchen. I swallow hard as I manage a nod. 
The inside of my mouth felt like the center of the Sahara, while my shirt was practically glued to my back from my sweat. You know, I actually know a bit about humans, I do. In my line of work, you need to deal with all types, you know. Oh, so that's where Nasser gets it. I read this real interesting thing the other day. <laughs> Apparently, dinosaurs and humans have different amounts of bones. <laughs> what, what a weird fact to bring up. I mean, obviously, they have different limbs. Uh, you, you think the tail and the wings? You know that humans don't even have wings or crests. It's fucked, isn't it? Makes sense when you think about it, but I guess it just never occurred to me. I always assumed you just kept them tucked in there. <laughs> <laughs> tucked inside your skin. Uh, yeah, it, 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 it kind of does, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, bones. At this point, I don't know if he's trying to be awkward, uh, or... <laughs> 100% he's trying to intimidate Anon. Like, that's just the game. That's what he likes to do. He likes to fuck with him. I don't know. He likes to like, fuck it's, him. It's not even intimidating at this point. It's just weird. <laughs> that's it. That's the point. He just wants to make Anon feel weird and uncomfortable. No, see, so you got you got to fight Anon. weird with weird. He sees how Anon acts. He's like, okay, I got to step up my game a bit. So, how was fucking my daughter? <laughs> I don't know how to answer that. Was it good? <laughs> Bad? <laughs> I need to know if I brought joy into this world vicariously. Anyways, the uh, article goes real in-depth about it. Just like with that, it's like, oh god, if I say yes, he's gonna kill me for, for having sex with his daughter. If I say no, he's he thinks I'm gonna, I insulted her and I, he's gonna kill me for that. It's not just a loaded question, it is a nuclear loaded question. <laughs> You know the minimal number of bones a human needs to survive? <laughs> Less than you think. I, I, mean, I mean, I guess just the spine, technically. Uh, more than yeah. that, you're on the, you're on the right track. Because <laughs> uh, I mean, we're just talking survival, not really living. Why am I humoring this? Because yeah, bones are involved in the production of blood, so actually you might need more than that. Oh, oh yeah, the marrow and stuff. Yeah. Huh. I never would have figured. I do. Real nifty piece of information, don't you think? Knowing exactly how many bones a human needs to keep breathing. Uh, yeah, it's pretty humorous. Get it? Humorous? I, I heard the joke. I heard the joke the first time, son. I think you're gonna need one with a little bit more spine to do it. <laughs> oh, okay. It is quite riveting, I'll give it that much. Yeah, it was pretty cool. Really really tickles the funny bone. Ah? Uh, it's not really the name of a bone, but not before the effort. It's the humorous. I already said that twice, I can't say it a third time. <laughs> it a third time. I overlooked it once. If you keep trying the same joke, it gets up here. <laughs> It, it sinks in the cringe, then eventually comes out the other side. A, a fascinating wording, but yes, sure. Since they will have been descended from archaeosaurs, then their rib cages will go all the way down to their hips. Oh, huh? Really? Very cool. I feel like that would protection for the pelvis. I also think that wouldn't make them too flexible now, unless they're like loose ribs. Oh, uh, also, I mean, bear in mind, at one point, human got mixed in here. True. It's actually a mammalian trait that our ribs stop partway down the torso. It allows us more flexibility at the cost of protection. Oh, well, yeah, there we go. We just ate. Don't bend that much. I would have also guessed for, like, certain mammalian animals, that's where the uh, mammary glands are, so they need to make room for those. Well, no, those are on top of the ribs. <laughs> No, it, not all animals, obviously cows and dogs and pigs and shit, those are all lower. I mean, but they're still above the bone. Yeah. No, I mean, below the rib cage. Well, I mean, yeah, yeah, so I mean, aside from cow... Outside the bone. I mean, aside from cows, I think humans are the only ones with, like, protruding uh, mammaries. Because that's why we... And because, you know, that's why we have flat faces and every other animal kind of has more of a snout. 
Well, actually, cows barely even have recruiting mammaries, except for the fact that we make them pregnant all the time, so they're just constantly... Uh, yeah, they're, they're the outlier. Any, any, uh... Most mammals, basically, yeah, aside from humans... If I, but yeah, like, if a cat is pregnant, then you're gonna see the mammaries more. But, yeah. Usually, the, the reason yeah, cows produce milk, in case it's not clear, by the way, is because they're constantly pregnant. We are constantly re-impregnating the cows. Uh, the industry's a little fucked. <laughs> it is, yes. It is, but also cows are at a point they literally cannot live outside of uh, habitation, yeah. so they're, it, this is their life now forever. I have nipples that on to milk me. No, uh, <laughs> I, mean, I guess they do. I guess, I guess these mammal dinosaurs do have nipples. He holds up a hand and points to his wrist. So apparently, absolutely none of these are vital to. Uh, oh, thank God! He started to talk about his nipples. I needed something to change the conversation. Wait, is that what you were talking about? <laughs> no, that's why I don't think Shima went off before the wrist. <laughs> Have you ever seen a movie called Meet the Parents? Have you have you ever seen a movie called Meet the Parents? Yeah. Yeah. I have nipples, Greg. You can milk me. Yeah, I know that's why. <laughs> Nacer drops a pair of old shoes onto my lap. Hmm. Guess they really went down with the food here. It's for caveman size, but this was all they had. Sorry. Thank you, Nasser. Thank you. If these weren't rentals, I'd enshrine them in my home and pay them respect for every day for the rest of my life. Damn yeah, it, I'm never getting milked. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's why he's just cranky all the time. <laughs> yeah, what are you guys up to? I talk. <laughs> this is kind of talk. <laughs> I'm paralyzing the poor kid, I bet. I don't want to with guy talk. Oh, sets a tray of fountain drinks and snack foods on the table with his grabby claw hands. Ah, it's the times of the charm. You know, but just because of your in-law, maybe you're pissy or rich, it doesn't mean you got to do the same to the kid. It is the cycle of hatred you have to break. No clue what you're talking about. I did that on purpose. I wanted to make a show <laughs> just play to the <laughs> Mark in my territory as it's not re-impregnation. Milking a cow just tricks the body to keep lactating. Though there does need to be a first pregnancy to start that. That's... We're learning a lot about mammals today. I guess that makes sense. If you keep milking, then it's just going to keep producing. I mean, yeah, because most of it is also to feed the animal. So if, it, if the body thinks it, there's still a calf yeah. feeding, it's just going to be like, yeah. okay, just got to keep going. Uh, sure, uh, Napololi, uh, sure. Let's just play already. Yeah. Eager enough to about milk, enough about tits, let's do some balls. <laughs> Eager to escape his clutches, I bolted for the console and started entering our names. Fang's dad was up first, and for some reason, his solid flesh toned balls seemed a lot newer than the others. Hmm, surely there's nothing to read into there. He made a show of inserting his clawed fingers into each of the holes while making sure I had a real good angle. I like this, don't you? <laughs> yeah. And with all the previous talk, it takes on a different meaning. Farting. Now, I know it's, uh, I know this has two extra holes, but uh, we'll work around that. <laughs> or we can just make it so that you equal. <laughs> Welcome to Learning with Kazard. Yep, we learn all kinds of fun things here. Hey, Jay Strisses. And, and Phoenix right, we learn what we see with. Yes, and what salads are. For a long time. No, I don't think we have properly learned what a salad is yet. <laughs> and we never will. He I'm even telling you, cereal is a salad. He even oriented the ball so that the holes lined up into a little screaming face. Oh, he's talking about those holes. Okay, I, I, I was reading that into that differently.
Oh, uh, well, Pop's not a strike. It's all in the desert. It's all in the floor. If you picture the pins as something you really despise. <laughs> His eyes linger on me for a moment. You put some real force into it. Bam! Right in the kisser. I mean, at what point does it... I mean, up here, because this, if this is supposed to be post-ending four, then they've I, been going out for a while now. Like, I this, think this is supposed to be after... I think this is before the trip down the stairs. I think this is after the uh, the show. This is after the show. The, the guy in the chat said that all of these are post-ending Well, one... I mean, one... Yeah. Need to catch up on that series. Oh, I'm glad you've been enjoying the Phoenix Wright, Tenshi. Stay oh, forward to the to the third game. We'll be doing that sometime I'm next year. Excited. I guess yeah, <laughs> this year. And I remember one time bowling, a uh, long time ago. This one guy, he he was just throwing the ball so like the pins were literally like bouncing around inside the little thing at the end of the lane. Like that dude was just going yeah, so ham. With it. You thought they were Anon's penises. <laughs> Did he have a reason to hate Anna? <laughs> no, he was just having he was just doing some CBT bowling. Fucking pin torches. <laughs> <laughs> I think I just made bam in my pants. I guess these benches aren't so clean anymore. Please, Rima, give it a break for a bit. Yes, maybe two bits even. Or you know, just get it over with and just kill me. No, 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 me. He doesn't want to kill you. What kind of signals do you think he's ever sending? I, I mean, a one-off would be a lot better than the dragging on, to be honest. It's a territorial thing, my boy. It's what all the males are doing the pride in order to determine the alpha male. Right, anyways, Anon, you're up. I nod and get you up from my there, seat. Bonami. The ball I got is borrowed from the bowling lane. It's logo making creative use of the finger holes. Okay, I guess we're not just we're not gonna cover that. <laughs> a shame the only one they had left was a size too small, and my fingers barely fit. That's what she said. I ha I have the smaller ball. That's what who said? Uh, you, you you wouldn't know her. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you're cheating on his daughter. <laughs> oh. Somebody else besides who I think it is, then. <laughs> <laughs> wow, there is no good answer there. <laughs> I'm just gonna pretend these pins are me. Me and my fat mouth. I have the smaller ball and take my cues from all the best attempts at Nin Pebble stick bowling. Nin Pebble. Oh, uh, nin nin oh. Ah, I get it. Lining up the... Nintendo stick. So, so their Wii was just stick. Yeah. It's not even a console. They just sell you a wooden stick with a picture you, you uh, stick to your TV. <laughs> Lining up the shot, I look down the lane at the pins. <laughs> Using Rip's advice, I picture Naomi's face on the pins. Fucking eyes! <laughs> just look at that. That face. Sorry, not sorry, Nasser. With a big windup that threatens to pull my arm from its socket, I launch the ball. Right into the back of my foot. How? Son of a fucking whore, cunt, god! Ah, you asshole! Can't god, even hit a pin! God damn motherfucking shit! Why is Naomi? Fucking ah, ah, shit, god asshole, fuck, ah! Of all the motherfucking bullshit to happen in my godforsaken play, how the fuck does that happen? <laughs> fucking leaf eater ball fuck out of my life, goddamn motherfuck, ah! What the fuck is this solitary bullshit? How the fuck does that fucking happen? <laughs> Don't just stay there, fuck you jackasses! Get a fucking first aid box or something for fuck's sake, you useless fucking asshole! Shit, this hurts like hell, god damn it! Oh my fuck, my fucking foot! I think I broke my fucking foot, god damn! See, now I'm the cripple now! Naser, you can carry the balls back to the car, I ain't walking with these now! God damn it! Okay, I'm good. 
When I finally stopped to catch my breath, I realized all the eyes of the building are on me. Nacer has his phone set on me. <laughs> Even Fang's father is staring with a dumbfounded look on his face. I break out to a sweat again, eyes darting to find the nearest bathroom. I really want some Tom and Jerry shit. <laughs> <laughs> Mo gestures to Mr. Ripley. Ah, that's a piece of your record, on it! <laughs> An attendant throws his hands in the air. Also, that one is, uh, as, as, uh, Tenchi said in the chat, a chef is perfect, uh, cursing there, you did. Thank you. That's very fine treat, cursing. Um, do you think the attendant is male or female? I don't. Uh, dealer's choice. Go with whatever you feel like. All right. Well, it's Mickey Mouse. Oh, it does. It's a new record. Oh gosh. All at once, the all at once, all of the patrons of the bowling alley burst into cheers and applause. <laughs> uh, what? That was a full six minutes you were going on. <laughs> Six minutes. Recording is seven minutes and 33 seconds, actually. The last election was only a five minutes into some change. What, does this happen often? <laughs> I guess apparently, or at the very least, long enough that people, like, look forward to it. It would be more accurate to say ending four canon. It's more interspersed and after ending four. I ah. see. Okay. Fair oh, hey, Blue Dragon. Wishing if there was a sequel, imagine Anon and Fang's. Imagine Anon and Fang you? having a human kid and going with Trish's daughter. Oh, so like a Harry Potter sort of thing. I can't imagine how interspecies relationships work with the children. Uh, apparently they mix, since they've already mixed, like, human in here with their memories and shit. Actually, speaking of that, did you know there's a new Harry Potter thing that came out recently? That does no, focus yeah, on the kids? Uh, no, it was Dumbledore, thing, Dumbledore right? or whatever it's called. Secrets of Dumbledore? Was it? Like? I, I, I saw it was like a Broadway play where that's, oh. like, about Harry's kid and Malfoy's kid being bros yeah, and, like, time traveling. That's not new at all. Oh. That's kind of funny. The right, the two previous rivals of the uh, old generation, their kids are bros. Yeah, it's actually it's the cursed child. It's pretty. It's 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 all right. What was the last time you guys got seriously angry? I oh, really for me. I'm trying to remember the last time I got super angry. Oh, we know it you. The, it's the what? It was the four chan cup last year. Oh yeah, the one where <laughs> I lost my voice. That that was actually it was actually more recently. Actually, just last week I got really. That's mad screaming in anger. Yes, screaming in anger. Mm. That play screaming came out years ago. Okay, I guess I'm slow to it. Also, hey, yeah. prop stick. The Secrets of Dumbledore, there are a trailer for that just came out. Last time I got, I can't, I legit cannot remember the last time I got seriously angry. I really don't get upset too often. I get upset every time I play a multiplayer video game. I mean, the closest I could probably say was when I was playing Smash Bros. when Sora came out and I was getting, you know, a little salty, but I, I, I really don't get super angry. It's just short, short moment. I just get, I get angry at myself, not at the game. Oh, you shouldn't hate yourself, man. Yeah, that's why I don't play Super Smash Brothers anymore. <laughs> I, it's I really I get, I, bad with Super Smash Brothers. I love that game. I just hate myself when I'm playing it, and it's just not good for me. Uh, yeah, I, I haven't played that too much outside the DLC releases. I love it so much. I just I want to play it. I I just know it won't end well. It's like a bad relationship. Ah, we still no. We just we just gotta set up a lobby. Just play amongst ourselves. It's my Tammy it's too. It's been a while. It's been a while since we've had a Smash lobby night. Yeah, yeah should, should do that sometime. No one got my Parks and Rec show. I don't watch Parks and Recs. So I, I haven't seen too many episodes great. of that either. Well then, never mind. I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah. That's I nice. <laughs> That's nice and all, but my foot is still fucking broken. Uh, does it even still hurt? Huh? 
There is an actual psychological thing about that, how uh, cursing releases endorphins. Yeah, cursing yeah. and shouting. Yeah. Pain reliever. I tried to do a trick shot once, ended up tripping Mo and... Uh... He waves a finger around the hole in his crest. Oh my god! Oh. Oh, wait. Yeah. It, it, it's, yeah. yeah, it's got little bumps. That you were wondering. But you that never happened. noticed that? I mean, I just thought it was a stylistic thing. I, I, always, I always thought it was an accident, but I thought it was like the scar on his eye, like it was something he got from on the force, you know, working a police officer's job. I thought it was and just a. It was a bowling ball accident. I thought it was just a cool look or something, like you know, he's just an old pterodactyl. I used to look up to the metal plate into my head too. Mo knocks a fist against the bottom of his skull, a metallic thump echoing out. Say how? <laughs> Those okay, tiny first, arms, how does he reach up there? The bottom of his skull. Also, what I'm questioning, how how did you get a bite out of the crest and then the back of his skull? How how, how hard did he fall? <laughs> Dear God. Oh, the manager's approved a reward for beating out, out the 20-year-old record. Oh, cool. A bowling ball of my own? Wow, what a reward. <laughs> oh, those shoes you're wearing! Oh, they're yours! Shoes are nice. Nasser stifles a cough. Thanks. Either way, we should probably get to the first aid kit. I think it's actually starting to turn the black and the blue and the falling off. <laughs> I think I saw one by the entrance. Let's go get it. Whoa. The two go hunting for the first aid kit, and I am left alone with Mr. Ripley again. I don't really care anymore right now. I'm just worn out. You know, uh, Here we go. I didn't know you uh, had it in I, there uh, is some sexual tension here. Had what in me? My daughter. Wait. <laughs> oh, me? Oh, no. <laughs> this is more than tension. This is just a straight up. Turn around, you're going to be screaming for another six minutes. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Actually, it was seven minutes and 33 seconds. Why am I correcting you? Everyone needs a little. Fang's dead. <laughs> Why is everyone in Fang's family maimed, cursed, blood? Yeah, well, Fang isn't physically maimed, emotionally, uh, probably. Well, she's maimed herself. Yeah, but nothing permanent. Uh, Her mom has no injuries. It's hard to see under the feathers, but there could be. Some yeah, but, yeah, the mom doesn't like, have anything. Unless the equivalent that... of, you know, the telltale uh, wrist slitting scars. Wait, what? I'm, I'm referring, like, under the feathers, there might be sort of like. Oh. Yeah. I mean, would that have scars? Because, I mean, you're just kind of pull the feather out of a slot. If anything, I think you just get bald patches. Sort of like. I, I feel like the feathers are in there uh, tighter. I could be wrong. I don't know. Pseudo, uh, pseudo birds are confusing that way. Pardon? They got scales and feathers. Seven minutes straight. No regrets. No holding back. And all in one breath. One breath for seven <laughs> minutes. <laughs> Only your breath in particular that's impressive. I can see a young me in you, man. On. <laughs> but guys can't get pregnant. Well, test that. <laughs> she didn't say anything about being pregnant. And I can also see what my daughter sees in you. I don't want it. Yeah, no, this is <laughs> just... A strong will and an iron lung. It's all good traits for a man to have. Oh, thank you, sir. Does that mean you're okay with... You set foot near second base and I'll finish the job then. <laughs> Understood. You even, think about, you even think about third and now replace my flesh-colored bowling ball with your own head. 
doubly understood. Good talk. Next time we ought to go fishing together. And in a great quiet spot out in the middle of nowhere where no one will ever find us. Next time? Yeah. Next time. Well, that's nice. It's nice? Ah, yeah. Th I like that. He he's getting in with the family. Yeah. Good time with the dad. And also beat his record. So I guess he's the alpha now. Oh no, don't say that then. <laughs> Maybe it just affects the males or something. Either way, if he has sons, they should look at... Ah, uh, yeah. If it affects... It, all the males' tarot's are cursed, and then with Anon's innate clumsiness... Oh dear god, that kid's gonna have broken bones, like, 24-7. Oh yeah, cause Anon's pretty fucking clumsy himself, so imagining, like... Fang's male family, the, the the males in Fang's families running curse with injuries and Anon's own inherent clumsiness is gonna, <laughs> that's not gonna mix well. Hopefully the kid inherits Anon's superhuman endurance. All right, next up we got the moose pad, the mouse pad. <laughs> the moose pad. Hey, Mother. the mouse pad. Oh. Hinkle, you'll finally get your answer about the cum stain. That's what we're gonna find out, it's a cum stain. <laughs> okay. That's not a good way to start. <laughs> oh, we're gonna find the origins of it. Right, you're recording? Hey, what's up? It's your boy, Anon, and this is my crib! Lifestyles of the rich and famous. Quirk. Like how it, all the characters I'm given barely have lines in this. Quiet you. Why are you talking like a black guy? <laughs> ignore, ignore the hired help. Does the concept of black people exist in this world? Well, there, uh, there's obviously humans. I mean, but still, like... I mean, It yeah. seems like there's already enough racial tension between humans and dinosaurs. We don't also need... Well, no, that's species tension. I, I, I feel like it's... To the point where it's different races. Wait, hired? Shush. You shush. <laughs> We're right here in the heart of Skinrow, one of Volcadera's bluffs, but was historic cultural districts. Yeah, if you call crack cultural. Cultural districts. Natural. Crack. Cultural. I, I've been living here for almost seven months, and I wouldn't trade it for anywhere else in the state. So let's head on inside for the grand tour. What's so grand about a one-room apartment? My bedroom is bigger than this. Fang, I swear to God, don't make me ask Reed to do this instead. So... This is a kitchen area, loaded with all the essentials I need to get me through the week. Alfredo, carbonara, pesto, you name it, I can cook it. I like how he is actually a, a somewhat decent chef. Carbonara is pretty good, I'll give you that. Well, I mean, assuming with his, uh, his, uh, you know, his poorness, you learn to make your, your food yourself to save money. If this yep. is the uh, if this is ending four, he had an, an internship with Mo. Probably oh yeah, and, and then that too. Pull Sanji and make a fucking meal out of the fish bones. Fish One shit. piece joke. Ooh. I got it. I also did because you linked that video like uh, the other week. Did I? Oh, no, or no, Mally linked it, and then you talked about it, saying it was filler. Oh, uh, yeah. Now I remember what you're talking about. Moving on. Uh, Fang, you, you don't need to show the refrigerator. You call 30 energy drinks essential? You try getting through a 48 hour rock rain 2 marathon without those. Anyways, make sure you get a good pan view of the apartment. What the fuck is camera view? A pan, a pan view? Why can't it be a hetero view? <laughs> no, we're past all that now. This is why I call the mouse pad. 
Oh, damn it. We're not going to talk about the mouse pad on the desk. You have ne you have literally never called it that before. Wait, why are we doing this again? My forum pen pal dared me to do it. Your pen pal? You're trying to impress some weirdo on the internet with this? Yeah, her screen name's Stegosar231. I'm pretty sure she's from Japan. Cool, huh? Oh my god. <laughs> oh my fucking god. Oh my god. Oh uh, no, she, she is not from Japan. That's adorable. Her? Are you sure you aren't just being groomed? No, shut up. Anyway, next is the battle station. Ready for all those late night raid sessions with the clan. And this little guy has Metal Gear Rainbow, custom modified with a railgun for stealth launches at the science teacher. Some weirdo forced him to buy a phone Roomba on our first date and he decided to keep it. And it was the best decision I made that day. Big oof. <laughs> Why are you giving me that look? Eh, moving on. <laughs> the bed where I do all my sleeping. Among other things. Oh, okay, so... Fang! How vulgar! Confirmed. Everyone's thinking it, I'm just saying it. This is going on a Christian website, Christian video sharing website, okay? We can't talk about that. Well then, we're fine. We have a, a cross-up in the corner there. Raptor Jesus approved. Huh. Nice loophole. Anyways, my TV. A rapper Jesus said while you're doing it. <laughs> my TV. X Rocks hooked up and ready to play Rock Ring at a moment's notice. And my closet with all the clothes I'll ever need. Uh, I thought you said you just kept cleaning the same shirt over and over. Why do you have so many? Why all the same jacket? Why all the same shirt? Honestly, I kind of want to do that. First off, don't knock bu bulk buying. Also, am I giving a tour to Stegosaur or you? Maybe? Tell me more about this Stegostar character. What's her deal? And I'm using her in quotation marks in case you couldn't tell. Don't know what there is to say. She likes anime and... Wait, you are jealous, are you? I'd be jealous if it was an actual girl you were talking to, you dweeb. There's no girls on the internet. Not a single one. Good. Between you and me, she's not really my type. Oh, and, you're, and you're taken. And I'm happily taken. Why did I have to remind you of that? A anyways, uh, I think that's about it for my crib tour. Hope you enjoyed, Stego Star. Make sure you get back to me about the new Lucky Star episode, too. And done. So, does Stego Star have any other hobbies? I think she's into card games. Oh my god. Card games, huh? Uh, anything else you know of? Just off the top of your head? For not being jealous, you sure care a lot about what she does. Yeah, she sent me some pictures of her garden once. Oh my god. What, like a Zen garden? Or is that some kind of euphemism? <laughs> so we're talking gardens, you know. What kind of fucking garden are we talking here? Wait, what? Oh. No, just flowers and stuff. I could show you if you want. This is what? Stella's garden. <laughs> Music cuts out. Well, okay, I love how flatly she said it, too. <laughs> what? No, no, it isn't. See? Hey. This is Stella's yard. Is the stream uh, going for everyone else? Uh, seems okay for me. Yeah, huh. it's still going. Interesting. Nah, you're just jet. Here's her fucking Instaglyph, you idiot! <laughs> Instead of Instagram. Instaglyph, that's a pretty good one. I like that. I should have said Instapound. Get it? Ram. One moment. I need to use the bathroom. It's not that bad. <laughs> also, he went the wrong way. I feel like. At least I feel I... like they usually animated the bathroom heading to the right side. Eh, there's only a few ways you could go. Two, actually.
Ring, 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 click. So, what were you gonna tell me? I like that Fang is just recording this now. Oh, yes. You fucking know what? Oh, you fucking know Stella! <laughs> or should I say, Stego Star 231? I thought it was talking to an actual Japanese girl! No! A packy uncle does not fucking count! <laughs> Fang, so help me! Without a fucking that crush on Stella! <laughs> She's not that bad! Oh, shut up! That was two years ago! I'm in the sky, and I'm cool. <laughs> uh -huh, and I had a crush. And I have a girlfriend. No, I will not be keeping that promise. Apology not accepted. Oh, and by the way, your husbando is shit. Click. I wonder who her husband is. Ugh, I need a smoke. Wait. Are you still filming? <laughs> Faye, I swear to- f Get back here! I kind of feel like that should- I, I guess it was kind of pointless to the plot. The, I almost wish that one stayed in the game. Oh, that was fine. Yeah, I like that. It's not exactly plot relevant, but it is hilarious. Yeah. yeah. I need more Stella! I just like that he's just so just dismayed by I just like that I thought I was actually oh, was talking, talking to an actual Japanese <laughs> girl. She called me Kawaii. It's also just funny that Stella clearly knew but he didn't It's <laughs> just just that dense on it. Oh, I'll, speaking of Stella, I just realized another thing, too, earlier about this. You were oh. getting tarot readings to show how well you're doing with your tarot girlfriend. You're, oh. you're terrible. You're terrible. <laughs> wow. Holy shit. That joke's like ogres. It has layers. Like, it, it just came to me earlier when I was eating this morning. I'm like, it just blew my mind. I'm like, oh, my God. How did I not realize that before? And how have I not heard, seen anyone else make that joke? The joke even has that, layers! I don't even know if that was on purpose, to be honest. People who wrote this game are geniuses. This is... Just realized there's still a Japan and anime in the Dino timeline. Yeah, it seems like it. Yeah. I wonder if there's a difference between, like, there's a normal Japan and a Dino Japan. Or like, yeah, well, I he can't. A Pocky, a Pocky uncle, so Pocky Cephalosauruses are the Japanese dinos of this world. Oh yeah. Which I am curious now. Pocky Cephalosauruses, where were they prevalent? Which ones were the Pockies again? That was the headbutt one. Oh. That was the headbutting one. They oh were yeah, because the one in... teacher was. Uh... Ah, they were mostly found in North America, so not Japan. Yeah, I think the the the, Jap the Japanese teacher, I forget his name, the Jin, he was uh he oh, was a Pachysaurus, a right? Yeah, maybe. Uh, he only had one voice role, so it's a little hard. <laughs> yeah, to he was only there for at the start with broken English. Broken English. <laughs> All right, next for the PTA meeting. I wonder how upset Anand will get in this one. I'm enjoying that. Actually, no, yeah, he wasn't even the Japanese teacher. He was the English teacher who clearly <laughs> spoke Japanese. Yeah, English. he was a Japanese teacher. What was mm. confusing about what I said? <laughs> August 10th. Inside the sweltering hot auditorium of Volcano High. Okay, definitely not post ending for then. Oh, hey, look. I'm All the teachers. All right. <laughs> 
Good evening, everyone. I'm glad that you've all agreed to show up. With the news about to begin, with the new year about to begin, we'd like to firstly start off by introducing our tenured faculty to any new parents. Mr. Suki was a proto Ceratops, I think. But I now I... recognize who he's based on. That's the guy from Samurai Champloo. I forget his name, the one who wore the glasses. I think it was Jin, right? Uh, maybe. That... No, Jin was the. Uh, oh, he was, was the, the other guy. Was the wild one. Samurai Champloo. Samurai. It was. Care. No, that's episodes. Uh, Fu. No, Fu was the girl. No, wait, yeah. It it was Jin, because Mugen was the other one. Yeah, Mugen. Okay, was so I was right. I was thinking of. Okay, yeah, so it is, it is Jin. Yeah, I know my anime. I mean, yeah, he could be a Pachycephalosophilosaurus, because he's got the little. Uh, nubs that would come below the big flat head. Yeah, that's, that's yeah. the other part. It's just hard talking. to tell because he's not bald. Yeah, yeah, that is the hard part to tell. They wanted to make it. Carl could be a Pachycephalosaurus. <laughs> <laughs> Did we read this? Yes. Okay. If you would be so kind. Oh, hi -oh. My name is Jiba Tsuki. And uh, I am a um, uh, shovel, shovel over the Ingulas Departmento, Cardono. I am in. I am in shovel. In charge. In shovel. I am in shovel over the Ingulas Departmento, <laughs> Cardoman, Cardono. I like Jim instead of Jin. Domonda Sai, my Ingulas is uh, Nizu Worku. Most have a large dome. Well, I mean, he, he kind of has a big head, but they did want to give him the hair just so the reference yeah. would be apparent. No, he's a teacher. He's not a parent. <laughs> Touche. V-O-H-F-Y-I. Vo? What, what, what do you mean? Also, hey, Emily Watts, thanks for stopping in. I think the V is an accident. Just, oh, oh Hey, how's it going? I'm Carl Dulitsky. I'm like head of the math guys. Yeah, Fossil Man, you're up. I, 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 I'm still struggling with whether or not I want to even try a Professor Fernsworth express, uh, voice. It's like, why are you? No, you can't do it. I'm going to keep with my Thanks. other voice. Is it like, why are you in my attic? I don't even know why you said <laughs> that. I sigh and slide the script over to the senile fossil. What the fuck? Oh, is this Spears narration? Huh. Oh my. Yes, I am Professor Fernsworth, and I act as the head of the sciences. Please remind Mr. Jingo to say his part next. Mr. Jingo, I believe it's your turn. Yes, I am the music head. And I am a, I am the parent ambassador. Okay. <laughs> Go on to the subject of this meeting. I sigh and shuffle the sheet of papers before me, looking closely at my notes. Yeah, that's definitely Spears' inner monologue. He's definitely not going to be narrating all of that. Because, for the love of God, I can't do this voice that much. Yeah, I'll, I'll do well, the narration. I understand that the voice is really hard to do. Fundraising to repair the rooftop safety fence. Someone could die. <laughs> so they, they didn't even pair it all school year. They had, <laughs> like, four months. How was it broken in the first place? What if my little Abby fell down? What if someone did a shooting and then tried to jump through it? It's safe like God. Oh no, what? Come on, though. What would be the odds of that to happen ever? <laughs> you don't know that! Hey. 
And Abigail is the star track and field glider. Okay, so I guess gliding is a sport for the winged uh, dinos. That makes except sense. For, except for Nazar. <laughs> except for Nazar. Biggest oof. Don't you worry. I can assure you that the faculty would never let our children come to harm. That would never happen. Oh, no, never. Oh, no chance of that. Why, just imagine if one of the students were seriously hurt in an accident that also happened to involve a gun. God, this is a bonus chapter that's just rubbing it in if you ever... Oh, and you do have to get all the endings to unlock these. I don't know where the gunner came in, but I have to agree that sounds highly unlike you. Like falling down the stairs and landing on one of the boards! Aw, uh, is she like speaking up for safety for a non-sake? Oh, that's adorable. Oh, not this again. I'll have you know that that non kid is way tougher than he looks. Oh, uh, there's no way that actually happened. Yeah, skinnies are too squishy to survive something like that. You have no proof that my Eugene was involved. Is Eugene the Chad Shark? I think so. <laughs> I think, I think, uh... Eugene of all the... And then, if you go, if you go yeah. back, he would If you could focus, that was it. Now, now, I think we really should address the parents' concerns, sir! Yeah, like who let an ape be around my precious Megan? Oh, biggie. So much for post-racial society. The subject of fundraising. <laughs> My voice is powerful enough to draw everyone's eyes to me. <laughs> Would it be funny if, like, Spears just also mumbles too? Like, it's just a human trait? <laughs> That'd be great. We need to consider each person's idea, so we will open the floor to suggest. The crowds of parents have begun shouting over each other at this point. More than half of them aren't even saying anything. Ugh, why did I ta take this job again? Oh dear, they are certainly enthusiastic. Be in the jungle with my T-Rex waifu instead of right here. <laughs> Just... Samantha, why are you even here? Your kids have been have already graduated. You never know what the future may bring, Principal Spears. I'm simply being mindful of it. Is she looking out for uh, Nacer and Fang's future kids, or is she planning a future? She was saying she's got some cookies in the oven all those times. Uh, she wants your cookies in the oven or something. <laughs> I want to date... Oh my god. <laughs> I, I, I want somebody to make that mod. Fang's mom has got it going mom. on. Lucy's mom has got it going on. <laughs> Lucy's mom oh, Lucy. has got it going on. Lucy, can I come over? But, like, how funny would that, like, how different of a world would that be? You I see all the Could you, these wait, sorts of like, roots. like, the game goes all, like, perfectly fine up until Anon heads over to their house to go find the, uh, the venue, and then he just sees... Fang's mom, and he just, like, neurons activate his brain. He's like, I must have the tiny tarot. And then fucking imagine the relationship with Fang's dad after that, because if yeah. he just well, I would, I would love the scene where, you know, he's sitting there being protective <laughs> of Fang, and then he realizes, <laughs> oh no, he's not here to steal my daughter. He's here <laughs> to steal my wife. At just... that point, they really would go out into the woods <laughs> and never come back. An Anon's inner caveman just kicks in and he goes Spears mode. <laughs> oh my god, that was so uh, funny. That's gotta happen. If someone here, if someone wa watching or listening wants to make a mod do that, 100% guarantee I'll stream it. Lucy's, Lucy's I feel like the Lucy's RPG mom. mom. Battle of Fame's dad. <laughs> that was after the end. The future? 
the roof. You, you think the rooftop scene was bad. You're going to have a 50 choice uh, path you have to go through. Any screw up immediately ends in death. <laughs> 50 choices. Each choice has a growing number of choices the deeper you go. <laughs> no freaking way. You tell me that Anon actually managed to score? It brings a tear to my freaking eye. I was always wondering why those two would sneak off to the roof. Good on them. Indeed. Why I remember my first wife and how we met. It felt like a hundred years ago and yet I can still recall her subtle scales. <laughs> Please not discuss the student sexual pursuits. I swear whatever to whatever happened to professionalism. <laughs> oh god, poor Spears. I feel I feel like with that and just him mentioning, you know, don't talk to me about extra season, this has happened more than one time. <laughs> Every PTA meeting, we just start talking about the students doing each other. I don't know why. I have been a shipping attrition to read for years, but I do not know if anything was ever going to come from it. <laughs> Spears, Adono, you must relax. It's not like he's a student here, and his parents never even bothered to show up. Holy shit, my English got so much better all of a sudden. Yeah. <laughs> it got serious. Not even, through... a single, not even a single Pacanese infraction in a single second. Pacanese? Now see, we start talking about shipping, that's when it gets serious. He has a point, you know. Technically, they're legal now. What? Why are you all looking at me like that? Ugh, <laughs> oh, Fang was right. Should've just taken up her old man's offer at the dealership. As the faculty joined in... <laughs> they're just all... I, I just got that they're staring at him because he spoke perfect English for once. Yeah. As the faculty join in the shouting with the rest of the parents, I take a moment to rethink my priorities. I knew you were faking it! <laughs> I have no clue what you mean, though. What do you mean, though? <laughs> Is that the end of that one? That's a weird one. Cool one. I like that. I, like the, I, I just like the implication of just... I, I thought it took place immediately after graduation, but implying the dealership, they mentioned that in ending four with, uh, with the, uh, Yeah, he, cause he did quit taking. and join that. So I, I guess this is what, what happened. He just got fed up with all this, just all of that. Uh -huh. Yeah, I forgot he stopped being the principal. Yeah. Uh -huh. in ending five, in ending four. Yeah. Ending five. That's a secret one. We don't talk about that one. And I guess maybe it's also... Well, never mind. I, I just like the implication of the Fang's mom just sticking around, just bringing up the Anand ball like she's just overprotective now because of it. It's, just, it's just sweet. Yeah. What about all the railings that got knocked over? Yeah, I think it has to be more recent because if they're still talking about uh, Eugene doing it, I assume it's fresh in everyone's yeah. memory. Well, they like, did... If this, I, if this was five years in the future, I feel yeah. like people would be over it. Well, it said August 10th. And it, yeah, and, and he, Spears, the they saw Spears before he left, so that was the same year then. Oh yeah, that's true. All he right. Came over, to, he came over to Anon's house to deliver anime while his girlfriend <laughs> had no pants on. Deliver good what anime. A yeah. <laughs> what a cave dad. Yeah, he he knows how important taking care of your fang is. No questions <laughs> asked. You need to get her on some anime stat. All right, now we start the Passion of the Trigger, part one. Oh, it's a two-parter. Three-parter. Oh, trace-parter. Trace Triggers. <laughs> February 17th. Of what year? So is this the start of the school year or the next year? Or over yeah. the time skip? Question. February 17th. Well, February wouldn't be the start of a school year either way. Because Anon did show up like at the start oh, of the hey, year. Oh, hey, this is uh, this is a, this is a Trish perspective. Should I, should I, I can narrate that yeah, voice. Do you want to narrate? Go ahead. I, it's up to you. What do you, I mean, cause otherwise you might not be doing much then. I mean, I mean, I've been doing a lot of Anon. 
I mean, if you want more voice, if you want to do more voice, feel free. I'm asking you. It's your stream. You, Gazzard. You, you do it. My stream now, and I'm giving it to you. <laughs> you get a stream. Yeah. You get a stream. Yeah, go ahead. Do narrate. I, I okay. want to hear it. Hey, hold on, I have to. I, this voice. I need preparation. Hold on, I'll be right back. What school year starts in February? The half school year. Uh, I think I'm not 100% sure, but from what I've seen in my Japanese animes, they start the year off weird. They don't start it in September like we God-fearing Westerners do. They start it off. Yeah, late. you know, because that Jap that Chinese New Year is in February, so that's when they think the year starts. I'm ready now. Okay. I lean back against the wall, my freshly polished horns feeling fantastic today, like always. I deserve it after all the shit I deal with at school, not to mention the tiny terrors at home. Um, I guess maybe she has like tiny ch uh, brother and sister. Or yeah, kids. In the, in, the, in, the, in the credits, I've always noticed there's like Trish and two other Triceratopses with her. Oh, really? Assume. That's adorable. Maybe have, she's supposed to be like impossible. Have I? God, I haven't been paying attention to the credits since, aside from the end pick when it holds on that. Have I been missing stuff? Well, you've been playing this longer than- No, I notice that every time. There's a shot of Trish mm -hmm. with two other Triceratopses with her that never appear in the no game. I have no idea what you're talking about. Well, like, yeah, oh, I, yeah. Don't, I don't recall seeing multiple Triceratops uh -oh. in when I played uh -oh. Patch 3. Yeah, I'll get I'll get a picture. I'll find this. Hold on a second. You, you continue doing your thing. A part of me wants to feel bad that I left Fang on their own that the other day. Especially with that useless skinny. But between the nice, clean, the nice clean feeling on my scalp and the great news. Oh, so this is after uh, the venue look. Because yeah, because she said oh Trish uh, ghosted because of an appointment. But yeah, this does call back to that. Skinny convinced him. How he managed to do that? I don't know, but it's awesome! A real venue this time! Oh, so yeah, because yeah, she, she didn't go with uh, Fang. Right? Oh, so now she's realizing, oh shit, I, if I went, I could have had a romance with Fang. <laughs> oh shit, I just got cucked out of this route. <laughs> I'm the one being cucked. That's a perfect face for that realization, too. Yeah. <laughs> the record scratch, and then I realized I it fucked takes up. It takes a second to actually register it. I thought I was the cucker, but actually I am the cucky. Those picks were added along with the extra chapters. Oh, so, okay, so I, 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 I just assumed the credits would be the same. An actual venue? An actual venue? The thoughts and possibilities flare in my head, all one stop, on one step closer to reality. Our chance to make the Vern drama the hit it deserves to be. Our celebration continues until someone, probably one of the teachers passing by, knocks on the music room's door several times. Totally ruined the mood. Then I remember the person responsible. Definitely ruined the mood. <laughs> well, maybe Skinny isn't so bad. I'm super racist in my head, apparently. <laughs> nah, I probably could have convinced that fucking fossil too. I mean, she openly calls him skinny too, so it's not like it's just in her head. No, like, literally, that's just the name for him in, in her head. <laughs> it's, it's like inward gym, but like worse. <laughs> <laughs> Our word, you can't use that. I look at- I forgot I was doing the narration. I look at Fang and notice them with a look on their face I hadn't seen in a very long time. It was hoardiness and it wasn't for me. Like they're daydreaming again. It's kinda weird. Like they're too... Oh shit. Embarrassed looking? Hmm. What, do I have something on my face? Why the long face? <laughs> <laughs> Those snoop jokes. I'll fucking bite your toe. I'll fucking bite your horns off if you make that joke again. Thank you. So, you two do anything else all day? How it is? Uh, not really. After I told Nazar to fuck off, we just got free pizza and hung out. 
I mean, considering how many uh, she opened up a horn piercing thing as an adult. Piercing, carving, and hollowing. Yeah, it sounds like she likes doing stuff to horns. So, Pinky. Exciting. Unremarkably dull, more like. The guy looks duller than dull. Well, there is something else I kind of wanted to talk about. Yeah, I sit up and nod, giving them my undivided attention. Sure, go for it, Fang. Promise you won't tell anyone? Not even read. Especially not read. <laughs> oh, Fang has a big secret now, do they? Don't trust that face when you tell them I have a secret. <laughs> <laughs> But it's so adorable. I want to tell her all the secrets. Yeah. I think Anon likes me. What? Gross, Fang. He is a human. He's. You sure he's not just trying to get into your pants or something? Well, Which I mean, is that, also that, gross. I mean, that's usually what is implied by somebody liking you. That's sort of the end game. No, I meant just getting in your pants, not... He, no. he just wants to wear your pants. No, god damn it. <laughs> like, he just wants to have sex. He doesn't actually like you. Oh. Fang sighs and looks up. Their, their snoot waves back and forth as they stare up at the dirty-looking ceiling while thinking. Uh, so we have to get through the dark story, and then we unlock the true story where Anon goes after Lucy's mom. I get it. <laughs> yep, there you go. See, we, it, it, the, the script starts writing itself. This is prime material. <laughs> Somebody take it. There, there's a fanfic of Anon cucking Ripley you saw once. Ending five, Anon steals Fang's pants. <laughs> Don't know about me, but he was looking at my mom pretty fucking weird. <laughs> I don't know. He has this thing he does where he mumbles. I don't think he knows he does it. Some of the things he says are nice things about me. It's, you know, it's kind of cute in a creepy stalkerish sort of way. A lot of it's just repeating the word snoot over and over, but it's endearing. Snoot, snoot, snoot. Just what did that skinny say and do? I swear. Don't tell me. He's still a huge dweeb and all, don't get me wrong, but... I, uh... I... Don't know, I think I kind of like him, too. What? With Anon? Him? Fang, are you for real right now? They huff and cross their arms. I'm just saying, Anon's a good friend. A friend, the way they said it, they put that god damn it, they is so hard. <laughs> it's so hard to the they's just throw me off every night. The way they said it doesn't sound like friendship. Yeah, it sounds like friendship. That's even worse. <laughs> not, not like with me. I, I can, can friend zone. Actually, I think you're mumbling too, Trish. <laughs> Actually, every character just secretly mumbles, but no one ever points it out to the person. Oh my god, this is great. Now that I've heard Anon do it, it's like I hear everybody doing it. Does everybody do this shit? <laughs> oh, least thing. Anon's just like every other guy of Volcano High. Wants to get in specifically your pants. Only worse, because he's broke and from the booties. He is poor. Come on, Trish, you're being harsh on him. You Have you know? heard how poor he is? I know how poor he is, and I'm so poor that thieves break into his house to leave stuff. <laughs> but still, I think you're being too harsh on him. You don't even know Anon. <laughs> yeah, I wonder now, you know, just uh, the, the, the free shoes he won for the bowling alley. How much do you think he appreciate that of having a new pair of shoes? I went to a bowling alley and he came back with a new pair of shoes. <laughs> I don't need to know him to know he's just like the rest of them. Sis scum! 
I hear Feng sigh and lean back in their chair. Maybe. No maybes about it, Fang. Their type are all the same. Nothing but loser assholes. They lose their assholes. I don't know how they do it. Even after he helped us with the venue, though? A trick, probably. I'm starting to think Trish either has trust issues or she got scorned pretty bad by a guy. I think she's also just hyper protective of Fang. She doesn't like we, we were going over this uh, yeah, a while ago. She just doesn't want Fang to be super attached to anybody else. Oh yeah, her, that yeah. that too. But it's like because uh, we also got the bit of you know it seems like she's got that pre preconception to a non just not even gave it a chance. Or at least you could argue with uh, Anand not liking Trish was because his first instance of seeing her was her charging people down in the hallway, attempting to gore them. What you you're saying about like the bad thing? <laughs> Most super people cute. aren't well, you. In the, scene, in the scene with Nazar, it was super fucking cute when she was like backing up like an actual triceratops to charge, and he just holds her hand, his hand yeah, out, just, <laughs> just stops her like you do all short people. See, because she's short. She's adorable. I just, I just love her. Except that she's, she's, a, she's a possible sociopath. Yeah. I think aside, that, from that, that, aside from the sociopathy. Sociopathy? So, sociopathy? I okay. think if it's just sociopath, you, you say psych. Hmm, good question. Psychopathy. Actually, you know, say, I don't know yeah. if you say psychopathy. Yeah, you do. You say psychopathy. It's the point is, she's crazy. <laughs> Bitch is crazy. Bitch, do be crazy. A trick, probably. He only wants Fang for their body. Their hot, hot body. Fucking sleazy pervert. So see, I mean, see, see, now that we're just getting into projection. Yeah, I mean, obviously she has the hots for Fang. So I, that does sort of raise the question of whether or not one could a man could even date her i mean does she just is she a lesbian a lesbian it's i i this is a really a question i am not familiar enough to know about what wait you, uh, no she's not a guy. no we went over this in ending two she's not a lesbian she's falling for a not for an nb so she's pan so, yeah i guess she, so so I, clearly so clearly, she just needs to get to the kitchen and get a nice pan and just work everything out. Pump it. Oh, that's gotta hurt. No, you use the handle. Oh, well, that makes a lot more sense. <laughs> uh, I was just thinking of like rubbing, not like actually it's putting it in. Messed up in the head, great in bed. I mean, I guess if you want to take that risk. I think she's got yeah. a savior complex, at least with Fang. I, I reward. And hyper protectiveness. I mean, those could also yeah, work. Savior, yeah, I think savior complex is a particularly good because uh, she likes. She that was one of the things she did in uh, in in the ending reroute. She was very proud of herself for bringing shell, but bringing Fang out of her shell and trying to praise up all the good she did. Yeah, yeah and, and Nazer did mention did mention how uh, Trish kind of started getting to her too, like years or like a few years before. Yeah, got, she got into her head as early as the accident with uh, Nazer, I think. Like she was trying, I think she was I trying to that. help. That's a, that's a good time to get her when she's vulnerable. Yeah, it's like I, I, I'm willing to give Trish the benefit of the doubt. It's like she may not know what she's doing is that scummy, but it's you know she just sort of sees. I, I mean, definitely if, Fang. like, because what Nasser was 11-ish, so that means Fang would have been 13-ish. So I could see Trish I was, starting. I, I, I thought it was two years back. I thought it was nine for Nasser and 11 for Fang. Oh, okay, it might be that. So well, either way, I could definitely see young enough that Trish would try to help in a way that you know doesn't think a second you know doesn't really think of it like that but then just as time went on it, it just you know kind of snowballs into this more controlling aspect because it's like oh, I've just been helping her all this time I'm just gonna keep doing it how do you know that Trish is a lesbian slash pan slash whatever and good goodbye volcano high because it the uh Goodbye, Volcano High. They're, uh, they're, they're, uh, they're clearly going for that audience. I mean, there's also a lot of... Uh, I mean, they very clearly pointed out that Fang is, uh, is non-binary. 
I think I think the assumption is just they're all gonna be that kind, just somewhere on the LGBT spectrum for uh, you know brownie points. Being able to romance anyone with the same character, yeah, all right. That or just look, look, we got a gay, we got a lesbian. No, Buy our I game. I definitely think it's more for the sake of anybody being able to. Uh, well, no, because you you play themselves well, as Fang. Yeah. Well, well, that would explain why Fang I mean, would be Fang. envy. Yeah, but then, and really if Fang is envy, then everybody else has to be able to be attracted to her, or else you wouldn't be able to romance her. True. Or, no. Assuming they let you romance everyone, of course they go. Who? What? What are we talking about? They're gonna let you romance everyone. I better be able to romance Lucy's mom in Volcano High. I'll tell you that. Yes. Much. Well, I'm sorry to tell you, but Lucy's mom is a Snoop game exclusive. Yeah. Damn. Obviously. But that's even better because someone, someone should make that. Also, hey, Gexord, you, you just in time. We're starting up uh, Trish's little. Little we're in the uh, of bonus chapters. Whoa, fucking crazy pervert! I knew I had to keep my eyes on him at all times. <laughs> my sexy diamond eyes. PC Chad's win again. Yep, we we got the Snoop game. No one can stop us. Description for Trish uh, for Goodbye Volcano High. Is something like she's been acting weird? Is it just high school jitters or something more? Question mark. Dot dot dot. Oh, that just means she's discovered anime. <laughs> no, that would be Stella. What right does that? Oh Jesus Christ! <laughs> <laughs> what right does that? I don't even want to read that. No, it's that, fine because just... you know it's like humans, like Hobo sapiens. Yeah, still. What right does that fucking monkey? I'm not comfortable <laughs> have to do <laughs> have to just come into my life and muck things up. Maybe we should just get some practice in, Trish. I don't know, maybe I'll be a lesbian by the end of it, I don't know. <laughs> 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 Sounds like a plan. We have to prepare for our biggest show yet. Yeah, you know, just you and me, two girls with our big bases. Who knows what could happen? Yeah, well, I'm, just playing a, I'm playing a guitar now, remember? Yo, yeah. what that bass do, though? It's... <laughs> our biggest show. I had Fang, the... I had Fang, the blue strat. Which they immediately set to tuning just right. I love it when she tunes it just right. Mr. Jingo really needs to get some new gear. These things aren't maintained at all. Even this bass. No no one ever uses this fish. <laughs> yeah, Ripley and Anon haven't gone fishing yet to replace it. <laughs> Fucking sea bass. Wait, I, I wonder. Sea bass. Was, was that a hint? to the whole ending one possibility oh, that the, the, the school snapping. instruments just aren't maintained and that's why it snapped. Ooh, or Trish that kinda... also means she knew that ahead of time. I, I mean, I, I was calling Wait. it ever since we played ending one. I knew Trish orchestrated that whole fucking thing. Wait, because she said the bat... The, God, now I'm, I almost said it. The bass wasn't you. She said no one ever used it. So that means that's how they were able to find the backup bass for ending one. Yeah. So it's either she, there, there either was a setup, it was just poorly maintained, or all their extra practicing they did wore down the guitar. Either way, I, I, I am like 90% sure that whole situation in ending one with prom was orchestrated by I, I, Yeah, it's, it's not orchestrated so by Trin. Ridiculous. <laughs> it was orchestrated by Fang. She just wanted an excuse to gun down everyone. <laughs> Whoa. Passion of the Trigger 2. Passion of the Trigger 2, the triggering. I guess I gotta see, like, her, um, do snooping about Anon's life and finding, uh. Oh, or. No, we're just gonna skip past that. Finding the pictures. Oh, yeah, here we are. Oh, yeah. That's disappointing, yes. Unless maybe she flashes back on it. 
It's been a month since I ruined everything. Since I pushed Fang away because I couldn't handle them spending more time with someone else. And now Reed is the only one who puts up with me. Aww. No regrets. Since his parents are- are they gonna have a romance? Since his parents are out of town for another business trip, we're hanging out at his house, trying to take my mind off things. Uh, maybe Mr. Suki's shipping will pay off. With sex. <laughs> and by that, Reed means getting high as fuck. Uh, see, fuck, there it is. You can't get too high, it looks like they only live it. they live in a flat. Ah, my one true love, dude. My bong. <laughs> oh, the house looks three-dimensional to me. <laughs> but laying in the backyard, staring up at the sky, it's all I can think about. Hoping goodbye, Volcano High, there's an Easter egg to Snoop game. Like a mannequin with a notch jacket or something. I think that good ball, Goodbye Volcano High will have nothing but animosity towards Snoop Game. Yeah, I, like, I mean, like you said, like Tenchi's saying, uh, they, they really don't like Snoop. I mean, are they still banning people if you say Snoot in their server? Like, just the word Snoot? Yeah. Just, why can't you just have appreciation for people who have enough passion for... Your setting, if nothing else, it's, to yeah. make a game. If the happen. game was already out, that's one thing. <laughs> they beat the fucking game, though. Yeah. <laughs> I, like, that's something I don't think has ever happened. But of course, it they again. Good, I, just, I, I just hate people who can't take a joke, who just yeah. can't be a good sport about such things. It's like, because it's, it's, it's not, not like. It's just a joke, though. This does kind of ruin Goodbye Volcano. <laughs> it's so much more well written, but also, it doesn't really throw shade at goodbye volcano high be, yeah. the worst thing is just the fact that ending three and four fang becomes not non-binary and they probably take that as a massive insult or something yeah they probably do find the yeah the way they treat non really too hard to uh identity politics yeah but then again while they hate it didn't they also update their version of fang to be a little more closer to the snoot game version like with the, how her snoot is and the the hair I can, I can only hope there's at least one champion for their snoot game amongst their big team that can take you know can 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 realize the positives of this thing even if they don't agree with messages just realize the effort and heart that went into it and you know acknowledge that if, you know just nothing else but an acknowledgement would be cool i i mean uh, if the game ever, if the game ever comes out i'm just happy that some storyline in the world acknowledges that being non-binary and stuff like that it can just be a phase <laughs> like yeah, it's not like well because i mean that's the other thing binary. too this didn't say oh non-binary bad oh how stupid lgbt no it's yeah. fang specifically yeah, had a really a traumatic childhood experience yeah. and then she just and then we saw what the pirate prince thing was she talked oh just lose yourself in it she's kind of been hopping from my you know identity to identity more or less and then yeah. trish kind of influenced some stuff so yeah. it's like this specific it's scenario very, it, yeah it didn't work out too well it was a phase. very it, it's a very realistic approach to it i think i think it's a very nuanced approach yeah it takes it takes, it takes parts of both sides Lying in the back. Oh, I already read this. Meanwhile, Reed is currently going on about his grand plan to open the first medical. Car Carfentanil. Car Carfentan. Car. I, f I feel like there's an extra syllable in there, but I'm just going crazy. Carfentanil dispensary in the country. Oh, all right, there there was the link to the Goodbye Volcano High trailer, and they call it a stupid Sony movie. They call what a stupid Sony movie? Uh, it was the, the uh, it was a joke in one of the first scenes of the game where Reed is telling you games are just uh, yes that nowadays. that Sony game yeah. Uh. yeah that's a lighthearted jab everybody was making that joke <laughs> not that this stuff does much for me but it's better than talking about literally anything else ah oh, that's a nice pick I'm telling you dude. Genius. Hey, hey, look, Hinkle, Trish is spoken. Do you, do you still love her? No. <laughs> ruined. 
<laughs> right. It's not. It's not. It's not nicotine. It's just marijuana and various other chemicals. It's good for a dino time. Also, so holy shit, a new background. I didn't expect that. I thought there was only like two locations in this entire city, dude. <laughs> Also, uh, anyways, back to the Carfentanil idea. I'm gonna call it the Carfatorium. Better name than Beats Feed immediately. Like ducks. Previously, Rux. Oh, shit. I'm too high. <laughs> no, no, it's, it, it, it's a joke with layers, dude. You gotta listen to the, how it used to sound when Chuck was the previous owner. See, right now it says Reed, Speed, and Seed, and those all rhyme, but if you replace Reed with Chuck, and then make the Eads in Feed and Seed also replace with a similar sounding word from Chuck, just Uck, then you get Chuck's fucking suck. See, it's hilarious, dude. <laughs> well, if you just spell it out, it is way less funny. No, nah, man, because we're high, so it's even funnier because I'm spilling it out. <laughs> what are we talking about yeah, again? Yeah, see, we just got spelled out. R-E-E-D apostrophe S. <laughs> oh, so, Reed, begins, so... Reed begins laughing at his, first, at his first idea, which gets a giggle out of me. I don't know what people are talking about, The Simpsons having gone downhill after season 10. I think the shit just keeps getting funnier, dude. Boy, <laughs> well, you really are high. But that doesn't <laughs> last. Before long, the empty feeling in my chest returns. Somebody, grab my chest! Okay. <laughs> I got your- I got- I got your- I got your- I got your, uh, chest full of horn supplies here. You brought it with you. Is that the only chest you meant? Thank you, Reed. <laughs> I passed back the blunt and let out a sigh. Reed, am I a bad person? Oh shit. Oh no. Shit, uh, yes? <laughs> We're hold real on, heavy. Hold on, hold on, I'm gonna take a long we, draw. We go, right. we go from it's Simpsons funny. meme to just heavy. Happy they incorporate that. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, wait, wait, what, what was the, what was the joke we, we, that they did? Oh yeah, the open the door got for everyone walk the dinosaur. They could put in Reed's feed and seat, but they don't put walk the dinosaur? Come on I mean, now. I still wonder if it was on purpose or not. I mean, he got uh, dropped something on the floor, opened the door. I mean, I don't know. I feel it's... Yeah, but they could have went all the way, just said, go walk after the dinosaur. Yeah. Press the button. I glance over to see Reed and Hale for a good pet second. <laughs> wow, but you called that one, Shima. Before blowing out smoke like a steam engine. See, now, no matter what I say, I'm not held compatible. Compatible. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? I'm too fucking high to remember. <laughs> I swear, oh, oh, that only makes his lungs stronger. <laughs> Local raptor with carfentanil. I am growing stronger. Nah, man. What makes you think that? It's just... I can't stop thinking about everything I did. Her face. We all make mistakes. We all make mistakes, amigo. Like, remember that time I caught the cooking class on fire? Her face is just making me sad. Just what she's going through. Yeah, that was an accident, Reed. You idiot. Was it though? Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Can't cook to save your life. That doesn't make me feel any less shitty. This makes us people, Saul. We all make them, and we all gotta fix them, you know? Remember meeting Anon and how he came clean with us and all that? The mere mention of his name doesn't help, and it only makes me want to cry. Aww. Anon, 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 <laughs> Anon, Anon, Anon. <laughs> alright, T, tell Dr. Reed it's on your mind. I got the right prescription for you, too. Guess what it is. Guess reads back to being my therapist with a space. Oh. <laughs> the word therapist, like, makes me nervous. Like, I'm gonna say it wrong every time I read it. <laughs> Where do I even begin? Funny thing is, you'll buy Goodbye Volcano High anyway for Fang. I mean, yeah, that's what I'm planning to do, because I just want to see what they're coming up with since they scrapped the story and talking about adding pets and rhythm mini-games. Like, this is just a fascinating thing to see if it ever happens now. Oh, shit, you can get Rainbow in the game? 
That would be a neat reference if they did that. Again, I anticipate nothing but animosity towards Snoot Game. No references. Yeah, the ability um, to laugh at yourself is the surest shine sign of maturity. But it's not laughing at yourself. It's... A, I, I, I mean, that's probably why they scrapped the game and changed a lot of it at this point. Well, well, actually, well to be fair, they had to scrap the story because the original head writer uh, was outed for some Harry Potter, uh, you know, questionable mods or stories or something. Huh. They did some questionable and, stuff and they got canceled for it, and so they who, just. Who, who the fuck here hasn't written Harry Potter uh, fat fix before? You. All right, you which character? Shiva, which character? Who else? Ron and Ron and Harry. <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't think I didn't think you could disappoint me as hard as you just disappointed me. <laughs> oh my god! I, 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 no, I you okay, could have okay, said okay, anything. Ron, Ron is gender bent in my head canon, Okay. Okay, that's <laughs> almost hot. But then, but then that's that's just Jenny. Oh no, it's okay. Jenny is gender bent too. <laughs> The entire Weasley clan is gender bent. That's that that that's my headcanon. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, oh, that's right. She talked about Harry Potter lewd mods on a Kotaku article. Cause yeah, you know, that's what you write for a game journalist site. Hey, I played a bunch of sex mods for a game about children. Yeah, that's <laughs> a weird choice. Uh. <laughs> All right, there's there's something to the 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 harem, the Weasley harem. I can I can see it. <laughs> All right, anyway, I think we should move off this topic. I I, I don't know. I'm kind of into this now. No, nobody steal my idea, okay? Those are my original characters. But I'm I, I. You didn't say Luna, and that made me sad. <laughs> no, there's only one Luna we talk I, about I, here. There's I, only I one I allow. I honestly forget Luna's a character sometimes. But Looney Luna is just the cutest cutie. She was complaining about them. But still, that, that's... Why do you write article complaining about them? It seems like such a weird thing. It's still something you found... Yeah, that would be like... Bunch. That would be like you... You're like, man, I hate drugs, so I'm gonna go get a bunch and use them all just to say how bad they are and how terrible the experience was. I'm gonna... I'm gonna say the N-word, but then... My defense is gonna be... <laughs> I forgot I was recording! <laughs> Alright, Bobby, you decided to try drugs? You're gonna sit here and smoke a whole carton of drugs just to make sure you don't want to do it anymore. <laughs> Somewhere not involving drugs and add-on! <laughs> Dunno, man. How about why you were like... You weren't like, you know, chill with add-on and stuff? Cause I'm racist! Fuck! <laughs> Oh, right, that's alright, I just thought you were Jilly. I don't know. At first I thought he was just kind of annoying. Shows up out of nowhere and all of a sudden is friends with everyone we know. When he first talked to us, it seemed fine. You know, Fang, it's always a big deal when they talk to someone new. There was always something about him that didn't sit right. Like, he never respected their pronouns. God, I like. I sound like such a bitch saying it out loud. Not a bitch. You were just, like, confused and stuff. Read Pat. Oh, right, you're narrating. We. Uh, I'm the narrator. My <laughs> voice is female. Read passes the carfe. The, the, the carfe diem back to me, and I take a sharp inhale, filling my chest, my ample chest. With that warm, dizzying feeling. Oh, so that's why they're so big. <laughs> wait, it's wait. all wrong, baby. Wait, hold up. With so, the they're smoking Carfei, but he's been filling his thermos with it. So is he just, like, making tea it, out of it? Well, or is yeah, there I a mean, liquid I, form? I, I mean, obviously, I think he's me. just like your... It, I assume it's just like a plant, and you can mix it into drinks and food and stuff. I guess I, yeah, I guess that makes sense. Maybe he's just guzzling leaves down his throat. <laughs> I mean, I am a fucking herbivore, dude. No? Ah, well, hmm. is is he? Wait, no. No, I'm a he's a raptor. Fucked up. 
I shouldn't be eating, I shouldn't be eating plants at all. This, this changed my entire life around, dude. The clouds dude, I just... exhale aren't nearly as impressive as reeds. <laughs> Someone just points out the fact, like, wait, you're a raptor. Shouldn't you not be a herbivore? He's like, oh, and he just stops drugs entirely. Maybe, Go... maybe this is why I'm getting high off of this. Because <laughs> my body can't handle it. <laughs> well, she is small. Anon's probably just as lost and confused as you, bro. Trying to meet new people at a new school and all. Especially after all he went through. I mean, did you yeah, see that guy you... taste in anime? Very much reminded me of. It's just... I liked how things were with the band. With Fang. With her being submissive. It felt like he was trying to change everything he touched. That's why I don't want him to touch me. Then Fang told me about when they went on that... When they found... When they went to find the venue for us. How Anon was always mumbling to himself and some of the stuff he said. After that, I just I I thought Anon was gonna was going to hurt them somehow. Like he didn't actually care about Fang. It was just trying to use them or change them or something. I guess I figured if Fang saw how weird Anon really was, they wouldn't want to talk to him anymore. I mean, would that really be effective? She talks to Stella. I mean, not really. I mean, like, Fang is like one of the weirdest people in school, so just showing him that there's someone even weirder than her seems like it backfires. <laughs> then that didn't happen. They started going out. Now Fang won't even talk to me anymore. Reed sits up and I find myself automatically following, wrapping my arms around my knees. I mean, I won't lie to you, man. That was a pretty dick move and all. Especially for someone without a dick. That was, like, super impressive. But it's all, like, in the past, you know? Nothing changing it now. They will forgive you. Same Xanon. Just gotta give him time and stuff. What about you, though? Fang isn't mad at you. Why haven't you talked to them? Asai tells me it's not something he's exactly thrilled about either. Man, it's rough. You could like, give Fang and Anon space and all. Besides, didn't want to make you think I was abandoned in you too, you know? Not a good place to be, isolating and all like that. I buried my head in my knees as tears begin to well in my eyes. Aww. Nice going, Trish. Reed's also suffering for what you did. You stupid bitch. I was ta I was talking to Sage the other day. I wonder who Sage is. I mean, I know there's a character from the Goodbye Volcano High trailer that wasn't used in this game that I think was called Sage. He said she heard from Rosa, who heard from Stella, who was talking to Anon about prom. Like, he's going with Bane. Right? Pretty cool. Uh, what? How did you find out? Fierce, bro. Gave me the old quick rundown when I was all, Hell yeah, dude, to DJ. Said something about needing another thing during prom and that, and he asked Fang to play on stage. Oh, and I got left out. Fuck. <laughs> Fang performing on stage. At prom? That was our big plan! With the way Fang always talked about it, I was... I always thought it was the only way they'd be caught going to prom. Now they're... they're... Aww. Friends moving on without you, but with your dreams. Yeah, that really fucking sucks. Here comes the waterworks! They're doing it all like we don't even exist anymore. That pushes me over the edge and I begin bawling into my arms. Come on, T, it's alright. Just let it all out. Reed hugs my shoulder with his... <laughs> with his toned arms. God damn it, Trish, not now. 
place. All right, that makes <laughs> sense. I mean, maybe now, Trish. Maybe that's exactly what you need. <laughs> I cry my eyes out for the next few minutes with Reed doing his absolute best to silently comfort me. And then I realize his pants aren't on anymore. This is... Doing okay? I wipe my face <laughs> with my increasingly moist sleeve, getting the last of it off my out of my system. You know... Spears was a real bro and, like, gave me a plus one ticket to prom and all. If Fang and Anon are gonna be there, we could talk to them then. Honestly, should have married Reed, considering he becomes the richest raptor in the world. God damn. All right, true, but she also became, uh, she's got a business with 100% satisfaction, right? So that's also pretty good. Yeah, it's like one much. customer. It's one customer mm -hmm. satisfied. <laughs> Mo money. One customer. It was her. And plus, she obviously likes his toned arms. Reed, are you asking me to prom? He shrugs and gives me a brief smile. Makes sense, you know. They'll be there and we can be there and all. All thought out in the Reed head. Besides, King Rex can't be the only dude there without a date. That's right, you're going with royalty, babe. I shake my head and let a laugh escape. I love that little smug smirk. It's just so adorable. Well, King Rex better bring his friend because I'm not dancing with the school mascot. She, she does carry a smug aura very well. Because she's... It, short and hoodie and smug expression just it it works together so well it's just the perfect snuggle girls and hoodies just make me want to snuggle them it's goofy reed rises up and extends a hand to me pulling me to my feet my hooves feet no i, th I think they just have feet yeah. i'm pretty sure we got like toes and stuff or do we? Shit, I've never looked down. Have you seen? Have, have we seen any of our feet this whole uh, time? We've seen. We only see like the top of our knees and stuff, dude. Raptors very notoriously feet. have toes, so you're fine. We've yeah, also like seen Fang's feet. feet. The man is hiding our knees from us, dude. <laughs> anyway, feeling better now, T. I'm too right. short for knees. Lost him after she I took out fifty men. <laughs> I open my mouth to answer, but end up setting, settling with a nod. That, that's why she's so, so short. She lost her shins after she took out 50 bigots from the last concert. <laughs> Sniffling, I wipe the last remnants of my little episode from my face with my now wet sleeve. Interesting as she considers crying an episode. Looks like it's laundry day when I get home. God, I hope Riley hasn't destroyed the washer again. Things will be alright. We have, like, plenty of time to work out stuff before prom, you know? I wonder if we're going to see them in, in this or the next one. Hey, you want to know what always makes me feel better? Dex? Yes. Uh, Carthay? Food, bro. There's that bomb-ass taco stand down the street. The one with the veggie tacos you like. The only, thing a, the only thing a druggie loves more than drugs is the munchies. Plus, like, it'll help take your mind off it. Food now, bang later. Uh, didn't they say that uh, in one of the endings where Anand's... Yeah, I think with ending one where they're at the concert thing and Anand says, Okay, you know what? Fine. Fang now, food later. Fang now, food later. I call that. Yeah, that sounds nice. Shoving my hands into my hoodie pocket, which is the most adorable stance, by the way. I allow a smile to creep onto my face. I, I will agree, hoodies on girls are pretty good. They're yeah, pretty nice, I agree. Man, I could really go for a taco right now. I could go for a snuggle with a cute hoodie girl. I could go for hu I could go for human emotional attachments. But I don't have any. Fucking loser! <laughs> what are you yeah. talking about? You're with friends right now. I don't know you. I, I can't even be sure you people exist. You could be AI for you all I know. You literally know I exist. Yes, but you could have been a robot AI. I'm 
that uh, still exists. Shit, you're right. Great, now I need to start looking at dresses. I hate looking at dresses. This... <laughs> I know Reed would spring for spring spring for me. Spring one. God damn it. <laughs> I know Reed would spring one, but I think I have enough saved up. Apparently Trish is also poor. Which is interesting. I'll need to check a little true for some cheap fitters. Well, I mean, I, f I feel like prom outfits are a little out of range for most high schoolers. Especially the fucking outfits. I think I think this is probably more implying that her parents wouldn't buy her one. And also, I, I definitely I have a fucking outfit. I continue to ship Reed and Trish super hard. Those two are adorable. Sage is Reed's little brother. Sage is Reed's sister. Which one is it? Say Reed's his little brother or sister? Well, that's what they're saying. Because hmm. I said in the in the Goodbye Volcano High trailer, there's another raptor that looks kind of like Reed, but is more pink. Yeah, I didn't notice that. Well, it's 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 in the trailer. It's not in this. It's not in this game. Hold down. I want to see how many more we have. We got Passion of the Trigger Three, a Naomi oh, trilogy, sure. and Rainbow's Observations. Oh, Passion of the Trigger Three. You had to wait so long to get to the third chapter. What what took you so long, Tenshi? Oh, hey, it's me. Maybe it didn't exist. Oh. You sure you got enough paper plates and stuff? You got all of it, man. Quit worrying, all right? Paper plates made out of all natural hemp, dude. Reed, Fang, Rosa, Stella, and I are walking to Trisha's place with armfuls of plastic bags of groceries. It's her birthday today, and Fang wanted to throw a surprise party. Aww. A shame Reed ruined that surprise. Aww. Yeah, at least all the presents will still be a surprise. Aww. I've never been to this part of town before. Almost reminds me of my place. <laughs> a feathered yeah, elbow pierces course. my side. Mm. Compliment, you idiot. Her mother works two jobs over time, so Trish can go to school with us instead of Reef City Continuation. What's so bad about Reef City anyway? Reed re nearly trips over his own feet. It's a. Uh... Oh yeah, well, after the the doxing, Spears threatened to ship her off to a Reef City something. Oh yeah, that was a thing. Yeah, you know about like Alcatraz and stuff? It's like that, but like mixed with Auschwitz. <laughs> God, that is a description and a half. It reminds me of the running gag in season one of uh, Star vs. the Forces of Evil, where... Uh, they constantly threatened to send Star to print. What was it? Oh, Saint Olga's. Oh yeah, Saint Olga's school for miscreant princesses or something. Yeah. Now the trans mixed with Auschwitz, with just a dash of Guantanamo Bay. <laughs> oh, it took you a while to figure out the skipping. Ah, okay. That doesn't sound that bad. Rio de Janeiro, then. Oh, no. <laughs> to describe a bad event, it's like, oh, here's a social gathering. That'll get a nod to realize it's terrible. You went there for a week last September because Spears caught me slashing tires. It's, it, it's hell. I can't think of what else to describe it. It's hell. Really? Punishment being sent a week to a different school? I guess it's a scared straight sort of mentality. Scared non-binary. Scared non-binary. <laughs> scared binary. Dang, I thought this would make her a better... I thought this would make her, you know, be more responsible, but just change her, just change her orientation. I looked into it once. The people in charge of the place use some legal loopholes to get the place off the map. Jesus. So it's legal for, like, the teachers there to use paddles and stuff. Inky. Inky. <laughs> Inky! What if we change the subject, though? We're getting close to Trish's 
least not. I feel like that was becoming like Transylvanian and not Spanish. It's really difficult to get the whole thing honest first when I first get into Rosa. Oh no, she's a vampire. Hey, yeah, I hope she's all right with all that. You'll love it. It's exactly what she needs right now. Why is that? It's summer vacation. And? You'll see. It's this building. We're here. When you call a home a building, that's not a good sign. <laughs> Unless maybe it's like an apartment building. Yeah, that's true. Fang stops in front of one of the many large brick buildings we've been walking past. It points to a door on the second floor. I guess it is an apartment. Oh, how exciting! I haven't gotten to visit Trisha's her place before! We all go upstairs, and what sounds like muffled uproars hits my ears, growing louder the closer we get to the door. I reach for the doorbell. Oh, don't push that unless you want to get shocked, dude. <gasps> Reed raps on the door. Yo, yo, yo. <laughs> yo, 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 it's the Reedmeister. Rapping on the chamber door. Raptor, wrapped in, uh, wrapped in around, reading up the doors. <laughs> Both the raven never moors. From this side, I can hear what sounds like a violent riot inside a china shop. Coming, Trevor, don't you dare! There's a clacking of what has to be 12 locks in sequence. And finally, the door opens to reveal... Raptor Jesus in Jurassic Heaven. It reveals Raptor Jesus in Jurassic Heaven? <laughs> yes, yeah. we have reached enlightenment. From the entryway, I could see what looks like a monsoon-struck living room. You're here! You're finally here! I can't deal with these little monsters anymore. <laughs> Yo, yeah, just... okay, I was gonna do it because it's Trish's brother. Oh yeah, it's fair enough. Yo, who just K triggered? <laughs> of course, it's Riley. This is okay. just straight up the kid from the Boondocks. <laughs> <It's> fucking Riley. <laughs> I actually got I got who it was supposed to be before the name came up, but. <laughs> Riley, these are my friends. And Anon. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? Sorry we took so long, Trish. And hey there, Riley. Ready for the party? Man, fuck this party. Ain't no hot bitches here, so it ain't real. It ain't a real party, Trigger. What are you talking about? We got Fang. We got Rosa. Whatever you do, don't use the hard R on Trigger, dude. <laughs> so, so should I say Tigger? No, man. <laughs> Tigger. T I double go R. Spells Trigger. Ow. Why did you not tell us you had a kid brother? Uh, because... Because they're little monsters! Please show the other one. Uh, she's got two brothers and three sisters, dude. Oh. Please have the other one be, uh, what's his name? Huey. Yeah. Just me! I Typical, Typical poor family. Poor decisions. Do your parents not use rubbers? Exactly. <laughs> Riga, you dumb? It's like the pose shift. That shit's just the feds trying to make sure we don't make mo of us. Kind of going into a little bit of Lada there. <laughs> huh, maybe a little bit. Riley, I swear to fuck. God, I, I, I swore it before and I swear I'll swear it again. I will fuck. <laughs> I just like the like I've heard the whole uh, oh you know we're like 
Catholic, so we don't believe in, you know, uh, you know, eh? sex Please protection start. or uh, contraceptives hey. or whatever. Hey. But to be like, oh, it's the feds trying to keep us from not populating. That's a new one. The way to keep the trigger down. <laughs> it's like this in chat. Kid, you're like five. <laughs> what are you talking about? That is, that is how poor people think sometimes. Okay, how about we get this party started? Yeah, all right, let's get this party going. Sure, let's use the grill down in the courtyard, though. Panna tried making a mac and cheese bowl but forgot to put water in, and now everything's on fire. <laughs> Again. That just reminds me the other day I saw a video of... Like like a like a TikTok clip of someone trying to cook mac and cheese. They throw in slices of American into the pan, cook it until it kind of melts. Then they take okay. raw dry spaghetti noodles and just crack them in the little bits and drop it oh. in the cheese, oh. and just try to stir it. And they put oh. in like the full package of the spaghetti. And then when they put it onto a plate, it's just this congealed ball that oh. did not melt at all. Oh. And it's like, why? And why are you, noodles? Why would you think this is food? And it had, and, and it had like some like nice sounding caption too, like, oh, I just made my boyfriend homemade mac and cheese. He's gonna love it. It's like, oh dear God. So sad. Watch closely. You're about to experience what is known as a trigger moment. Webster defines a trigger moment as a moment when ignorance overwhelms the mind of an otherwise logical triceratops male, causing him to act in an illogical, self-destructive manner, i.e. like a trigger. <laughs> that scene is one of my favorite scenes ever because it shows them having a moment where it's one black person, one white person. I, I love that one. And, He's like, wait, wait what am I doing? I'm minute. white. <laughs> I'm white. And just happens <laughs> walks away. He just, he just walks off I'm laughing. And he just walks off laughing, finishing his drink. <laughs> it's a perfectly fine opportunity to throw away your life. <laughs> <laughs> that would explain the burning smell and the layer of smoke along the ceiling. Everything's on fire. That feel, bro. <laughs> the courtyard is an open field with a few wooden benches and dying trees randomly sprinkled in. Oof. Finally, I get to use this. Reed hefts the silver briefcase he's been lugging around onto one of the tables. He flips the latches open to reveal a charcoal tray. What the? Made this last week just for the occasion, dude. It's a bomb. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, did you say bomb or bong? What? Oh, no, man, it's both. <laughs> I had I a be friend surprised. in high school who, uh, he took a, a, a ceramics class, and just to add to the challenge of the class for himself and for comedic effect, he also made it so that every single thing he made in that class was also technically functional as a bong. <laughs> that, a that, for that, effort. That thinking ahead. A for effort. A for in innovation. Innovation. I mean, innovation. He didn't really use any of them as bongs because you know you'd get a whole bunch of shit like from the <laughs> ceramics into the yeah the vapors and stuff that wouldn't be good. But but technically he could have. It's an entire grill in a briefcase? Why? Good question, dude. I've been asking myself since last week. I have no idea. No, no, the bigger question is why charcoal? You use propane so you taste the meat, not the heat, man. No, 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 what? dude. No. Charcoal adds, adds a smoky flavor. Yeah. To it. You gotta mix. You gotta get that king of the hill bullshit out of your head. Charcoal has been used by men since the dawn of time in order to add in a smoky, rich black flavor to their meats, dude. I tell you what, that raptor ain't right. Charcoal and charcoal accessories. Yeah, who's got the frozen? <laughs> it totally fits Snoop. Trish bumps into Anon and starts her moment, and Anon is just like, Hey, wait a second, I'm skinny! Ha! And, and just leaves. <laughs> Alright, who's got the frozen? Oh, I do. I hand over my grocery bag of hamburger patties, both real and fake meat. All right, meat, and I can't believe it's not meat. <laughs> Trish's little siblings are already wrestling each other in the grass. 
and Trish herself collapses onto the bench. Man, you know, Anand gets bur gets uh, stuff for the carnivores and the herbivores, but he didn't get a pack of nuggies to grill up on the two. For yeah, I guess you didn't want his girlfriend to be going completely crazy in front of everyone. <laughs> 13 hours a day. I have to watch them. Uh, excuse you. Bless me. Or excuse, whatever. Isn't that an easier way to track them? There's only one tablet and one TV. And none of them share tastes. There's always at least one running around screeching. Trish, why don't you invite us over more often, then? I'd be glad to help out when I don't have any classes. No, you don't need to put up with these little cretins. I think it's pronounced cretins. If you're going to threaten me, do it properly. <laughs> Besides, it's just until summer breaks over, then I can move out and Riley will be in charge, and that will go as bad as you expect. Just... That's a scary thought. Surely. Yeah, he, he, I mean, Trish is short, but he was even shorter. He can't be old enough to take care of four other children. Yo, is the food ready yet? It's coming, little dude. It's coming. Yeah, that's what she said. Yeah. Yeah, that's <laughs> what she said, dude. My trigger. <laughs> so, right, I got a T word pass. I earned it a decade ago, dude. <laughs> yeah, Fang, you want to help a bit? Me? Uh,. Sure. Reed gives Fang the extendable spatula and starts getting the food from the other bags ready. Oh, it's nice for us all to get together like this! I only wish I came up with the idea for a party sooner. I didn't have much time to get everything together. Like, imagine if we rented a bouncy house. Oh, with with Triceratops, though? That, that thing won't last long. <laughs> Well, what, dude? Oh, you... <laughs> Hello, I'm... T oh, my God! The voices! Can you say who you think you are? <laughs> I am Stella. You mean a moon jump? I always just called him a bounce walk. That's the... Gown... God! <laughs> That's the dullest. God damn it! <laughs> Too many voices. They're all mixing! Oh, Mr. Phoenix Wright. That's the dullest name I've ever heard for them. Anyways, it's called a castle hop. I don't give you the thing, actually. Officially, they're called closed inflatable trampolines, dude. I like that That's one. Like that's like in the Webster's Dictionary and shit. <laughs> Bang, the one on the left's burning a bit. Crap, crap, crap! Fang. No, it's a burger. It's a crap burger, 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 burger. Fang returns her attention to this the grill. This one's gonna be all heat, not meat. Something tugs on the back of my shirt. Huh? Oh, look at them. Yo, where the white dinos <laughs> at? <laughs> I, I, I'm like, it's like a tiny happy Trish. Two of Trish's siblings look up at me with toothy grins and hands behind their backs. I've never talked to a real life human before. Live? Is it true you can light things on fire with your hands? The others are looking at me with an expectant look on their faces. Yes, actually. But it doesn't work if you're staring. So first you need to turn around and count to ten. Okay! Yeah. One, two, three... I lean towards Fang and whisper to her. Hello? Quick, you're lighter! What are you doing? Teaching kids to be arsons. It's gotta be funny. Oh, no. 
not very funny. I'm going to burn <laughs> Trishan's <children's> siblings. <laughs> <laughs> Just let me see it. Trust me. She obliges, and I put everything in position. Someone in the comments is like, don't trust them. <laughs> I'm for combat. Nine, ten. The two swirl back around. With the hidden lighter between my hands, I let the combustible gas slowly coat the palm of my hand. Oh, yeah, this actually, if done right, is totally safe. But this is a non doing it. Yeah. <laughs> now behold, small children. My uh, friend used to do this with hairspray, where he would just, like, spray hairspray all over his hand and just light his hand on fire. Like, as a that trick, cool. or just doing it just whenever? As a trick. Like, yeah, it doesn't hurt at all. Palm, it's done right. Palm thoroughly coated, I flick the pink lighter striker wheel with my thumb. The split spec second of sparks is enough to ignite the gas still caught in my hand. They're, the kids are dazzled by the tall dancing flame in my hand before it dies oh, out. Yeah. Huh. Well, it worked out. You do it again! Do it again! What have I told you about? <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> what have I told you about, fire you two? That you'll get one. That you'll get one of mommy's belts if we play with it. Oh no. Jeez, that seems a bit harsh. <laughs> I'm losing it. Better than my little brother setting himself on fire, Anon. Stella and Rosa are telling another story, you two, so why don't you join Tally and Taylor? Do all their names start with T? No, not Except Riley. Riley. Yeah. wonder if Tally is a Mass Effect joke. This purple. Oh, maybe. The parents got creative for one name. They're like, nah, let's just keep going with T. So it'll be like George Foreman. They could have easily gotten away with Triley. Yeah, yeah that was, the, the joke would have come across and it would have been a good pun. It was Triceratops. Yeah, that's actually what I was thinking at first because I thought they were using a bunch of... Uh, there was a Trevor, so that's T-R. I thought they were all going to be T-R. Yeah. And we got Tana. So at least you're going T's. But I want to see more cave... more magic caveman fire! Not negotiable. Now go throw... Wow. Is Pinecone always one word? Yeah, I think so. I was like, Piconi? Pinaconi? What? <laughs> Pinecones at each other or something. Riley's built different, that's why. <laughs> Yo, I built different, Trigger. <laughs> Trigger moments had their own category. Trigger moments would be the third leading killer of Triceratops men, behind pork chops and FEMA. And the fact. <laughs> The two scamper off to follow their eldest elders' orders, and my phone buzzes. Yeah. I didn't find FEMA funny. Oh, that's just the quote. <laughs> I know. I oh. was just laughing at pork chops, though. I wasn't laughing at FEMA. <laughs> <laughs> Almost ready. Wait, what is FEMA? Uh, one second, because uh, the Federal Emergency Management Agency. There you go. Uh -huh. Yeah, I don't. I don't. <laughs> It's uh the people who's gonna shoot, uh you know smoke grenades and stuff into rioters. Uh okay. Oh yeah, like anti-riot teams. Yeah. Okay, I get it now. I, I was just I wasn't sure what it stood for to be honest. All right, dudes, that's everything. Thanks for grilling, thing. I kind of want one of these now. Can I take it home? Yeah, sure. I don't even know how I built this one. <laughs> Little ones, it is time to eat! Each other! <laughs> we need to lower the numbers. Everyone gets a burger from the piles, sorted into two piles for real and fake meat. Oh, they're 
her. That's a, that's so cute. <laughs> Which was is that is that Tally then, or what was the name? There was a Tally, yeah. They came out really well, Fang. Yeah, I got the Burt one, and it's still pretty great. I love Burt Burgers. <laughs> it's the heat, not the meat, dude. How do you uh, how, how do you like your burger? Uh, medium. I prefer a medium. Oh, actually, yeah, medium or well done, depending on how flat of a burger it is. Like, if it's a thick, like, inch-wide burger, I prefer it medium, because I like the red juiciness in the center, but if it's a real thin burger, I might as well go for all, you know, well done, just because that's just usually how they serve it. I've never food. really questioned my burgers. I just get burg and I eat, but I would say, seeing the insides, probably it's around medium. I, I tell them in restaurants medium because if you go beyond medium, they get offended as a whole thing. But I mean, I heard a thing you always tell a, that res, restaurants either do one like further than what you say or just always do well done just to avoid health risks. But that doesn't feel true at all. I mean, I've heard it about steaks. Hmm, that still doesn't feel true to me, to be honest. Um,. I mean, maybe, I don't know. But, um, yeah, plus, asking for medium well and getting exactly what you want is too hard anyway. So, yeah, I just usually ask for medium, but I would prefer medium well done correctly. Fang isn't paying attention. She doesn't care about her specific burger uh, <laughs> cooks. She's entirely focused on her greasy prey. She just eats. After a few test bites, she throws the whole thing in the air and snaps it out of the air with one bite. Well, whatever condiments they had on it apparently were sticky as fuck because the whole burger didn't come apart in the air. You just no. caught each individual piece. No, see, she's she just uh, she's skilled at this. It's an art. Only I like that. Tally's recording it. It's very cute. <laughs> she's all excited. Over. Only then does she remember others are watching. So you do do parties! Oh yeah, way back! Do it again, do it again! <laughs> oh, door. Aww. Uh, no, no fucking way. Fang Zwang shield her face in embarrassment. My phone goes off again. You're popular today, Anon. Something up? I Did it go off earlier? I didn't even register uh, that. When they, when they were grilling, they just huh. mentioned it while. I glance at the text to get the confirmation I was waiting for. Actually, something is up. It's a bouncy castle. <laughs> if you'd all follow me back out in front of the building. The party follows me none the wiser to what I have planned. And I desperately hope this isn't about to backfire. I turned the corner to see Naser making his final touches to the package on a flatbed trailer hitched to the NASCAR. Given his driving, I'm more than impressed it's all still in one piece. Set your sails for one piece! <laughs> that one... Yeah. Alright, the that one sibling looks so kind of fucked up. <laughs> the... the, the <laughs> The face that's, that's, perspective does seem a little off here. It's, like all, it's, all of them look okay except that last one on the far right that got the uh, that got second to left, second to the right. Oh yeah, it was only two yeah. brothers, three sisters. Hey, so it's the whole clan. Um, what's Nazar doing here? <laughs> Did he rent a goddamn pony? Nah, nah, he can't let his brony power level fly here, in front of Trish of all people. Then the, that's going to be the next auditorium. <laughs> What's with the trailer? This. I give Naser a wave, and he rips the tarp off. Holy crap! What, they're they're all shocked. They're shocked. They're all excited. What is it? I really tally is adorable. I assume did that you... one's supposed to be Tally. How did you... When did you... 
The flatbed has been made into a makeshift stage. Gleaming in the sunlight is a complete equipment set of a firm drama, speakers and all. It's adorable. Eh, sorry, Fang. I kind of stole your idea for a surprise. A one-time Viverm Drama Reunion Concert, all ready to start. Oh, that's, that's a great idea. <laughs> Fang and Reed approach the stage with awe on their faces. Trish is stunned into silence. Is Trish going to play music for us? Holy crap, I am! She bounds on stage with unrestrained glee on her face. Ah, oh, this is great. Nice, because this is like the only time Viverm Drama, in any of the endings, Viverm Drama plays again. Yeah. Yeah. Rosa quiets the children down while the bandmates finish getting ready. Why is Rosa so good at everything? I, I, well, she's Latina. She probably has a big family, too. She's probably used to it. The youngest in the back is bouncing on her tiptoes, trying to see. Hold on. Up we go. Whee! I pick her up and put her on my shoulders. Oh. So let's go! Wait, wait, what song? Um... Um... Let's do I Gave the Special <laughs> I Gave the Special Kids the Jonestown Special, and now I'm going to jail. Fang and Reed nod and ready their instruments. Trish sets the tempo, and they begin. I mean, I hope that they, like, just every now and then do a Vavarum drama thing. Aw, look cute. at them, Aww. they're all happy. Nice. Tim Jones did nothing wrong, his flavor aid was magic. If some said would say it's strong. Man, Reed needs to chill on the Carfe lyric writing. Also liking the song. I love Kool-Aid. Those kids needed some fun. Way better was made for it. Speaking of kids, Trisha's siblings were cheering around the most. Even Riley, though he tried to shake it, tried to hide it with a shaky scowl. Trisha's tempo increased, increases as her plucking slowly turns into shredding. Tim Jones did nothing, didn't do nothing, so I went and did what he did. This special kid's mouths are gushing, but shit, now I'm not going off the grid. <laughs> well, the words of the song were... Later the police arrive with a warrant, I tell them to just go and fuck themselves. It was just a bunch of kids. It's not so abhorrent. They bust down my door. Take me down to the shelves. Questionable. The small party loved it nonetheless. I can see if a Verm drama were also happy to be playing together again. I'd say the plan was a success. Even if there was now a bunch of trash being tossed our way from the complex's windows. Eh, fuck them. No good taste in music these days. Yeah, apparently they're not bad. So well, yeah, I, I feel like it would be more of, why are you playing a concert just in the middle of this apartment complex area? Yeah. Uh, up some rat poison right down their drinks. All the other piece of shit inmates look at me weird and wail. I swear to Raptor Jesus, I'm at my brink. I gave the special kids the Jonestown special. Also, considering these kind of lyrics in the poor area of town, they're probably not appreciating it. <laughs> Fun fact, the drinks in, in Jonestown's was actually mostly flavor aid. <laughs> and now I'm going to jail. Oh, that was great. The trio hold their finishing poses and catch their breath. She looks really muscular in that shot. Oh yeah, she kind of. Kind of in the oh, she's got her. She's got the little uh, the amulet on. That oh, yeah, not gifted her. The, the season four ending. And season four ending. Ending yeah. four. Season four ending. Wait, so this would have to be after Christmas then. That would yeah, be this sense. is this is 
Yeah, this is. Oh, wait, what? Oh, he had only. He had only. Uh, it was. It's February, so this is after. Well, no, February was the no. first one. So oh, yeah, February was the first one. You're right. So I don't know. It just has to he, has, he, he did have a few her. weeks. He. Yeah, she. Yeah, she. If I remember correctly, he had one month after he gave her the 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 necklace. Yeah, this. They said this is August. Yeah, summer vacation. Summer. Yeah. Devs, devs, you need patch eight now. You have to fix this error. Look at this inconsistency we're dealing with. Zero out of ten. I actually, I'm not. I'm. I'm not understanding. What you're Every, not understanding. Everything is canon, and when everything is canon, nothing is. Because Anon gifted her an amber amulet at yeah. Christmas, and he Christmas. left. He left at Christmas at the end of the year, and then he left to college a month after that. Oh yeah. Yeah, she is definitely wearing the amulet. Although she isn't wearing it in the uh, standing scenes, like when they're just standing around talking. Well, yeah, because they're just going to be reusing the assets there. Oh, I thought they added it to, like, that after. Like, after she gets the necklace. I mean, f to the uh, to the future version of her, to Lucy, and when she's got the shirt on. Uh, Maybe, I don't know. Yeah, there's an easy solution. This is the Trish timeline. What? This is the solution where Trish ends up with Fang and Anon. <laughs> Yes. She pulled off what you couldn't. She is the uh, she's a tricorn. Five, yeah, I'd, five I'd, corn. I'd be okay with a uh, not. I mean, that, a, was, that, a was, that was literally Anon's, That was literally Anon's first fantasy. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Three some with them. Everyone watching erupts into cheering. The little dido on my head whistles with her fingers. Woo, I'll, woo, <laughs> woo. Woo, all right, all right. Next we should do your mom. <laughs> I'm not, oh, no, no, wait, what about the again? We can do your mom for an encore. <laughs> they totally would have a song just called your mom. <laughs> yes. Wait, no. We... <laughs> We made that sequel track we never got to play. I still remember it. All right, here we have the sequel to our hit song, The. Presenting It's. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Oh, I wanted to hear what It sounds like. It's. I'm singing the Monty Python theme song. Oh, I don't watch Monty Python, so I didn't know that. I'm trying to remember the name of the show. What was the name of the show? I'm having a brain Monty fart. Monty Python's oh. Flying Circus. There we go, Flying Circus. Yeah, every episode starts with uh, a caveman just in some manner arriving at, like, right in front of the camera, and then it says, it's... And then it cuts to the opening thing. After a full set of songs, the three look exhausted. Oh. All right, that's... Whew, that's probably enough. I'm gonna need more. I'm gonna get high again after this. Fang, I got a bottle of water here. Thank you. Fuck you. No, that's later. <laughs> yeah, that Anon, you set this up. Hey, DLT. Well, Nacer and Mo helped. Of course, Mo helps. <laughs> I motion over to Nacer, who busy securing everything back down to the flatbed. Mo loaned us the flatbed for his boat and helped us set up the stage. Lent. What? Yeah, whatever. He should have oh. said Lent. Oh, I hate I, it when people use the wrong for, version of low and Lent. No, Lent is after Easter. We're in summer right now. I hate you. But why? Why go through all the effort? Because, friend? Why indeed? I looked at the kids, all exhausted and ready for bed. It's surprising how draining cheering a band on is. What can I say? I'm a fan of a verm drama. Yeah! 
I mean, I'm, I'm like dating the guitarist or something. Hey. That earned me a surprise squeak from Trish. That was the surprise squeak. You know, I always wondered why you were set on making it big. But I think I get it now. Oh. Want to elaborate on that? Yeah, you were just chasing money. I motioned to Stella and Rosa carefully carrying her siblings back to the apartment. There's a softness in Trisha's eyes as she sees her tired family being cared for by the two. I really should have tried talking with her sooner. I'm sorry. For never really getting to know you. Trish sighs and shakes her head. It's fine, Anon, but you're still a dweeb. Never said I wasn't. The diminutive girl giggles lightly, and I can't help but smile. It's so adorable. Yo! Nacer Fish, laying out the tarp, is, and is now walking over with a small cake on a tray. <laughs> it's just covering her up. And I got a light birthday girl needs still needs to make her wish. <laughs> I hold up Fang's lighter. The candles reading 19 are lit, and everyone gathers around with Trish in the center. 19. So maybe this is like a summer between years of college. Well, that makes, I mean, they, they, I think they definitely graduated 18. Like you're usually know, around did 18 it, when didn't you graduate high school. Didn't it say... I, 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 no, you finish. Oh, I was just going to say, I assumed everyone was 18 or so when they finished high school. Oh, you're talking about so that. Being oh, yeah, so being 19 would make sense. Uh, For after school, I mean. Looks like, yeah. they're, looks like they're about to sing happy birthday. I didn't turn 19 until the summer after my sophomore year of college. I back away a bit past the edge of the crowd. Feels like I'd be ruining Trisha's moment if I stayed. And now you're going to sing too, right? Uh, my singing voice isn't that great. A familiar set of claws wrap around my fingers. <laughs> sing for both of us, okay? Ah, oh, fuck. She's even doing the cute eyes. But you're just her eyes always. <laughs> All right. So I never have to turn them off. Rosa starts the song, and we all join in. Midway through, my voice cracks a bit, and I freeze in place. The needles digging into the back of my hand convince me to keep going. The song ends with no one thankfully laughing at me. Trish inhales sharply and blows out the candles. And spreads COVID. Uh, what'd you wish for? Are you all to catch COVID? You're oh. not supposed to, You're not supposed to tell, you stoner mong. So that means we don't get COVID. Yes, immunity. Alright. We saw we we did it, guys. We cured <laughs> COVID. <laughs> Should have wished that the skitty there wasn't tone deaf. I should have, yeah. Thank you all so much for doing this again. This is the best birthday I've had in a while, and I said that without a capital I. I hear a powerful sniffling and turn to its source. <laughs> Red COVID. Before we can escape from the man, the manic Hispanic, her arms capture Fang, Trisha, me in an embrace that threatens my spine and lungs. An embrace. In an embrace, yeah. yeah. It's a it's a brace for your M. Not an embrace, an embrace. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, that's fun. 
<laughs> Stellator yeah. Infinite Wisdom decides to force the rest of us into the same hug. Ah. Except for Riley. Except for the kids. Uh, cake. Uh. I'm sorry, I was yawning. <laughs> Baser at least had the reflexes to save the cake, holding it above his head. Oh, this was the most wonderful party, Miss Capadres. Hi. It was so sweet, like one of the Japanese animes. What else you fucking weep? Can't breathe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, hey. She's actually taller than everyone else for once. Yeah, I the think best she's birthday like gift. Lifted by the hug. That's, what, she, that's what she wished she, for. She obtained her dream to be tall for once. Great. Hold on, go back again. Because you can see shoes. You can't remove the text thing. All right, oh so shit, who, they do have feet. Who's yeah. shoes? That, is that, that Trish? Yeah, that would be Trish. Trish. <laughs> that has to be Trish. She's the only one being lifted that high. I mean, I could go into the game files and get their feet pics if you want, because they have full models. Oh, I know. Actually, uh, actually, Kazard, I would love it if you, if you could get me their feet. That would be fantastic. Just, just send me pictures of every every girl's feet, please. <laughs> you got it. I don't know how serious you're being. <laughs> I just have to keep you guessing. Oh, that was really nice. That was sweet. I love that. Yeah, that was really I, nice. I, I, that's I'm, a really great. That really caps off even more so than ending four. That caps off yeah. Trish's character to me. Yeah, I, I, I just, I really. We we yeah. get, we get the band reunion. Her and a her and a non are actually are kind of bros now, somewhat. Kinda. There's definitely there's definitely a little bit of sexual tension there, but they'll work through that. I also just one thing I really picked up on this is Anon is just naturally gifted with kids. Like the moment the kids wanted to see fire, he knew what to do. I kind of like that bit in. Do you remember in ending three when the one kid came up to Fang telling him another kid was making fun of his mom, and then Anon was just on it giving yeah. him another info yeah. Yeah. back at the other kid's mom. Well, it's because and then, like, here he lifted the girl up over his shoulder. Like Anon is just good with kids and because really like he is that. a He's kid in him. He is a kid himself. He's always been a good instigator, and instigating with kids just has a good response. <laughs> Yeah, I just thought, I just think that's really cool. I like it's like one of the few skills I would say Anon has is being good with kids. I think it's cute. Except for Samantha. Oh, does there's no feet pics of the mom? Dang. No, not Lucy's mom. Lucy's mom's feet is what I wanted to see the most. I guess she doesn't have it going on. Nah, she still doesn't in every uh, in every <laughs> other area. The feet are always are all I wanted, and I waited for so long. Samus <laughs> is one of my biggest fictional crushes. Uh, I know that feel, man. Samus is like the it's like one of the apex crushes I have. She is an apex predator. I mean, yeah, she became one at the end of Dread. No, she became an apex parasite. But it's still a predator because it was at the the Metroids are at the top of. The oh, country. I guess spoilers for Metroid Dread. Oh, whoops. <laughs> But hey, who hasn't played Metroid Dread yet? Good game. Go buy yeah, it. Yeah, I have. I got a playthrough of it on the channel. Go watch it after you this. You still have to do. You still have to do all the endings. You still need to get yeah, all. Yeah, I still. I, I still need though. to do the the speed runs. Yeah, I was thinking of doing it after I finish Bloodstained. Yeah, it works. I have. I have my times for you to, to compete against if you still want them. I have uh, one. I'll, I'll, I'll compete one. against those. I'll become a master speedrunner. Excellent. And there's tricks too. I had to find out there's some tricks. They uh, apparently Metroid, uh, the timer still goes during cutscenes. That's not a thing they usually do. Because hmm. yeah, I, I uh, saw for patch notes, they said they stop the timer from still counting when you die in a boss from certain boss fights. Oh yeah, that was a patch. That... Sorry, I was gonna uh, say. I, speaking of cut speed runs, I still really want to watch uh, Kaz play the Donkey Kong Country series. Oh, that's a good one. Uh, I was like, I got so. I got okay. Like right now, I'm tr I'm working on gonna fish Bloodstained and I'm gonna fish uh, Amori because I got like a whole route for that. Then I was like, okay, I should finish the games I started. So that would be Metroid Dread, w uh, you know, get the speed run. And then the world ends with you because I did that once and then never went back to it. And then Hades, 
And then with those, I'd be completely done with everything. But then I got Actually, so many other game ideas I want to get into. Like, I was thinking of picking up Final Fantasy fourteen after Christmas. Possibly uh, do a Halo thing. There's the Donkey Kongs. Uh, you do Donkey Kong Country. Would you mind if I was on voice chat with you? Because I just fucking Yeah, I wouldn't mind that. that. Hold on, hold on, hold on like... second. Before we start up Naomi's, I'll be right back. Okay. okay. I mean, yes, this is going to be your thing. Yeah, I, I, I've talked about before how, not maybe not on stream, but with you, just how much I fucking love those games. Mm-hmm. They were my childhood. Like, I had three games until Nintendo 6. Actually, technically there were more, but they were like shitty games, like the Lion King Super Nintendo game. Uh, like, I had three games until the Nintendo 64 came out. It was those three Donkey Kong countries. I played the shit out of those, and that just eventually developed into me speedrunning them, and... Yeah, I have, like, my record is, like, 53 minutes, I think, in uh, Donkey Kong Country 1. Mm. Um, it's still nowhere near the best. Are are all three on the Switch Online? Yes. Oh, nice. You can actually play them online. There is a multiplayer mode. I don't know if you want to do that. Probably I not. I mean, yeah, I, I saw that they, they have those for the multiplayer games. Maybe after a first run. That, so I could just beat you, and it'd be funny. Because <laughs> there's a competitive and a co-op. Um, I know one thing I like to try with the with the Switch Online is Kirby Dream Course co- uh, co-op, since that would have online multiplayer. That game is... Meh. I mean, it's Kirby, <laughs> it's and funny, it's golf. Like, most, uh, most Super Nintendo games I never played until like long after Super Nintendo era was over. Um, I just ended up going on like a shopping spree and buying like every Super Nintendo game. Um, yeah, that it's it's meh. I mean, it. I, I guess it's just because I played it after I had already played, you know, like Mario Golf, a good golf game. Mm. I, I never, I never got a SNES, so I've only relied on like Game Boy Advance remakes. Like that's the only time I played the Final Fantasies. That's the only time I played Super Mario World was the advanced make, since I see uh, Mario it's World being mentioned in chat. Re- yeah, there's like um, I, they, I think they practically remade the whole Super NES library yeah. for, for another Nintendo. game I had, or at the very the least, the main Nintendo. line, uh, the main line Nintendo ones. Kirby Superstar was another was the on, like the only other game I had on the Super Nintendo, and my sister and I played the shit out of that game because it was multiplayer co-op, and oh, we loved that game. You know, so they made the Nintendo Entertainment System, then a Super Nintendo Entertainment System. Why haven't we gotten the Super Duper Nintendo Entertainment System? Because then they changed it to Nintendo 64. I mean, actually, Super Super Duper Nintendo System, if you add it all together, adds up to 64 characters. So they decided just, you know... Oh my god. Wait, for real? No. I made Uh, you think about it, though. (laughs) Yes, you did. (laughs) You know, it's, it's Nintendo 64 because it was 64 but, uh, bits. Yeah, because they hit but, that era. Yeah, which was such a fucking huge jump from the Super Nintendo, which I want to say was 16? I, th- I think roughly, yeah, 16 bit. And when they changed to Nintendo 64, they lost their market lead. See, if they went with Super Duper Nintendo Entertainment System, we wouldn't even have PlayStation and Xbox right now. It's just Nintendo domination. Well, a lot of it had to do with the cartridges. I mean, yeah, that's. Also, I just I just noticed the dates. So BC are these years going down? Like does twenty twenty one come I don't before twenty twenty? No, it doesn't. <laughs> uh, I didn't notice the BC before. I will always BC uh, being an error. Uh, I'm trying because. to think of what it would stand for. <laughs> because. <laughs> Before or after Christ. Because. Dang, I can't think of anything, but I'm just stuck on before. I can't think of words that would start with B that could apply in after. April, anyways, April 201,020,021 BC. <gasps> Fang I'm just hand. saying, I'm just saying that he shouldn't have tried... Sweet Tooth, you should just kick your teacher in the nuts. 
Oh, this is Fang narration. No, oh, it's Fang narration. I growl at the phone in my hand. I thought this was gonna be Naomi. Yeah, me too. That's a. That's a he's lucky. He's he's lucky. He's in college right now. I don't want to hear it. Yeah, but still. So what's the punishment? With a huff, I turned my phone around the living room, slowly being rearranged to fit more useless people. <laughs> and now Fang catches a non's mumbling. Heading up for baby bro's going away party. Ah, such a sweet, sweet caring sister. Fuck you. I don't even have to turn this gun. This is hard. I'm so used to these new guns. I don't. I don't even have to turn the screen back to see Anon's shitty new grin. Dad says I gotta clean up after two. If you'd move out, Fang. Trying to. I finally look back at my screen and I see him giving me his soothing, calming face. Even seeing that look from him stings. I didn't mean to shout. I'm sorry. That's fine, Fang. I'm lucky to have a dorm room. I doubt Dad would have sprung for an apartment again. He's still pissed about that security deposit. Uh, all right. That was kind of my fault. Was it my fault? Green was the one to bring the cafe. <laughs> I'd never let him know that, though. Right. Still, I thought you and Trish would be moving in together. Fuck her! She wanted to move in with Reed instead. Really? Really? Yeah. Mr. Suki is like all over it, man. He's just telling. He's just been uh, chatting about how his, uh, his ship's confirmed about whatever the fuck that means. Hmm. Maybe that's a teacher you should kick in the nuts. It was a late night jam outs, wasn't it? No. Ah, you owe me ten bucks. Stupid Anon and his stupid Betsman is stupid always being right. It's stupid always confirming ships before I know them. Damn it, I know I'm fucking blushing right now. I just fucking know it. I. Don't you fucking say it. Told. Anon, I swear to fuck, I will throw this phone across the state and hit you in the you... head. You. I'll hang up. I'll hang the fuck up right now. Okay, okay. Sorry I asked. But what are you gonna do now? I exhale deeply and feel all the weight of my current predicament land on my shoulders. I don't know. Maybe Stella. What? Anon's head is shaking rap. Oh wait, this was. Oh, so, yeah, that's it. Yeah, hey, look at it. It takes some getting used to. Anon's head is shaking rapidly and his hands are waving like crazy. Because <laughs> of Stella. I uh, don't see what the problem would be with Stella as a roommate. Oi! Stop lacking, stop slacking, Lucy. The living room ain't gonna clean itself. Also, is that Anon? No, Dad. He, he hasn't been taking my calls. Anon! <laughs> is that you? <laughs> don't, don't, don't Why don't you pick up your phone? Not now, I still want to talk with him. Ah, oh, man. I guess I should go. I need to finish this. I'm sorry, Anon. That's fine. I wish you could be there now, but the scholarship and all. Plus the whole dorm fumigation thing and having to change rooms. Fucking roommate got lucky during during it in a spare theater room. Wait, what? During it. Yeah, I don't know what that means. Like, did something get catch on fire? Or, or, oh, I guess the roommate got a, got a whole theater room as his temporary replacement. The bastard. Eh, we'll talk later, Fang. Have fun with the party, okay? Aww, look at the black screen. Before I, can, before I can say how I love him, the screen fades to my wallpaper. The wallpaper of me and him together on Christmas. 
with no pants on. Yeah, no pants on. Better hope Dad doesn't see that. Get out of my fucking head, Anna. <laughs> I saw it one last time and pocket my phone. Whatever, I don't care if I wear pants or not, I make it look good. The cool and smooth texture of polished stone makes me realize I'm holding the necklace again. <laughs> Tell him I still need to fight him to the death. <laughs> just like Fang's dad just being kind of... Starts becoming way too friendly with Anon over the time. Oh my god. I missed you! <laughs> yeah, Anon. minutes till Nazar gets back now. <laughs> the party hats on the animals. I love it. Everyone that came is just casually chatting, already snacking on all of Mom's better dishes. Uh, that just reminds me of how uh, my grandparents on uh, around Christmas time when they decorate, they uh, hang ornaments off of the animal the animal heads they have. And like put a like a little apple in the bear's mouth and stuff. Oh, that's cute. I like that. Jokes on them! I already got to all the Dino Nuggets. Oh look, she does have the amulet here. Yeah, see, they, I, I think they would update her character with it, model with it. Shame about Dad's guacamole, though. For them, that is. It may be fucking delicious, but the aftermath isn't pretty. Ooh. I shudder involuntarily at the thought of my last birthday party. No wonder he married Mom. Never again. Never any of Dad's cooking ever again. <laughs> the banners hung up with thumbtacks from under the couch and ABC gum flying gallantly above the staircase. People start to trickle in to celebrate Nazar officially pissing off forever. He got accepted into a prestigious medical school back, la uh, back last August. I still remember him prancing around like there was a chance he'd never get rejected. Like there's a chance. <laughs> like there was a chance he'd get rejected. I started going to community college around the same time. He has no idea the grueling experience ahead of him. Then again, he does this kind of shit perfectly. Like everything. There's snacks on the table, too. Oh, there is! What oh, we got? Vito. We got guac. We donuts. We got the guac. We got the donuts. We got all of the usual veggie dish. Oh, are those, dish. are those dino nuggies or fries? Mine. I think Might be dino nuggies. You know, it's a futile effort to put out the dino nuggies. You know where they're going. Just like it's futile oh, effort. Yeah. To, just like it's a futile effort to put out a box of donuts when you got a cop in the house. You know where they're all going. Sorry, I went missing for a little while there, and the first thing I said when I came back was off her ass. In my mouth, up my ass. I, I pretty much just put them into whatever hole will take them. That's hot. <laughs> How many dino nuggies can you fit in your veg? Uh. <laughs> Lucy, let's shoot me a deer and take these dino nuggies <laughs> and oh, uh, dim the lights. I already have the. I snap back to reality. Oh no. Oop, there goes gravity. Nazar's close school friends are already and perched out of sight for the entryway. Hey, Chad Shark. I noticed one of his old teammates even brought Stella along when I turned the night knob. Fucking chat, what a fucking chat hole. Maybe Anon was right in his rant a few weeks ago about this, about girls having it easier. <laughs> <laughs> is anyone else hearing? I can't tell if this is on the stream. Is somebody else, like the background of somebody else? It's like. I'm not sure. Yeah, I hear there's it. chattering in the background. No, oh, it's like, I mean, it is chattering, it's like the background. No, I'm hearing like. I don't know. It's like a high-pitched whistling sound. That's ominous. Yeah, I'm just worried that there's something like in the mid, the, the process of exploding in my apartment right now. I, I don't hear anything on my side. Hmm. I right, don't well, hear a whistle. You, you guys continue. Nah, that's bullshit. Anon's bullshit. Rich comes barreling in through the door like there's a blizzard outside. Oh, why don't the fish have hats? There's not enough room for it. Make it a little tiny hat. Also, uh, Hinkle, we need you again. The tiny, the <laughs> tiny Triceratops here. All right, I'm here. Bang! 
It took a while, but Reed's distracted. <laughs> I set off a high-pitched whistling at his apartment. He'll he'll take him forever to find it. Wait, it's back. What the fuck? Hold on, uh, hold on. Oh, hold on. Could it be tinnitus? No, because the music is kind of sounding like there's a backing, like hum. Oh yeah, I hear the I hear the whistle from. I think it's just from the music soundtrack. Yeah, I, I guess there's music. Hear. All right. Yeah, I can see now it's gone. Yeah. Okay. Oh, thank fuck. Definitely don't need him here being arrested today of all days. <laughs> arrested for what? Oh. For being too cute. For being the for most being wanted the most guy of all time. Duh. That line doesn't work anymore, but he hasn't given me a new one yet. Uh, do you need anything else, Dad? Uh, don't think so. Your mother's got an entire bakery going at once in the kitchen, but she hasn't needed help before. God, now I really want some cookies. Are you high? My cookies at all. <laughs> no, I, I mean, it's the holidays. I'm just thinking of baking. Man. I've got cookies in my oven if you catch my drift. Are my cookies head on, <laughs> not yours. Put Stay that away. cookie down now. Put, that, put the cookie down. <laughs> put that cookie down right now. Hey, do, do you think the main cookie that uh, they'd make would be Snicker Snootles? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dear, I'm in the kitchen. My way. The old man limps back towards the kitchen, shoulders slightly hung about being fucking told by mom in seconds. Okay, spill. How? I asked Rose. I'm becoming Stella again. I asked no, Rose. Don't. <laughs> don't. Stella sucks. I asked Rosa to clear some time for him. She took it to me in a classic date night. Oh, that's adorable. <laughs> I've just told him Stella's boyfriend would be here. He'd stay miles away. Wait, Stella has a boyfriend? Yeah, the chat yeah, shark. The chat shark. Oh, duh. Figured he'd forgotten by now. You know him. I do know him. Right. And what about you? Last time you threw a glass of juice on the old man. We seriously don't need any arrest tonight. This blows a raspberry and looks away. This is half-hearted raspberry. Maybe if he wasn't such a pig. Ahem. You know what I mean? I'm telling you, him and Mo are. Oh, Lucy, your boss is a nice son is a whiz. Shit, hide! The drugs! Yes. Hide the drugs! Everyone in the room scatters, hiding as best they can in our small living room. I even see Stella and the old varsity football captain dive into the closet. <laughs> there. Door creaks open, and Naomi leads Nazarin shortly, slowly. <laughs> I like that the eye shifting. Our mom and knees are. Our, our, <laughs> knees are, our mom and dad dancing again. I can't see. Ah! Oh, I twist, shit. I twist the dimmer knob to full brightness, making Nazar shave his eyes. What? Surprise! 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 <laughs> Five different voices. Surprise! 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 Surprise. <laughs> Naomi, <laughs> <friend is>. <laughs> <laughs> What? <laughs> <laughs> I just love the, the faces. Wait. Oh, I thought like she got a bigger smile all over it. It's like, oh, finally. Are the babies? <laughs> Dad. Dad swats my crest with one hand. 
No, since you're leaving us for college next week, your mother <laughs> thought we should throw you a going away party. Oh yes, I invited all your school friends too. You know, Mo, that shark guy, and me. Well, I mean, the shark guy was the on the sports team, the captain. So that hey, makes Sarah sense. Pop is always mean to you. <laughs> I just like that just ruined the surprise with she's pregnant. I just love that. That was fucking cute. Your sister. It was fucking funny. I see the little gerbil on a treadmill in his head spinning aimlessly until comprehension dawns on him that his privacy has been violated. Oh, my yearbook. Don't worry, dear. I put it back in your dirty laundry pile where it was left. Aside from the peanut gallery, this is fairly standard dinner banter. Mom, not in front of my friends. Oh, okay. Uh, who wants to voice Chad Shark? Well, that's Chad Shark. I thought his name was uh, Eugene or something. <laughs> I mean, Chill, he's the man. only person here that doesn't have a name. Or, it says Chet right there. I mean, the only person here that um, a name would go to. Yeah, so I'm going, Chill, man. We know, who, we know how he is. Your mom is just going to miss you. The other track members not in agreement. They're so unimportant, they're not even on the screen. It's, it's great that everybody came! Let's all enjoy the party! Pregnancy, apparently! There's <laughs> holler of agreement, and the whole thing kicks off as though it had been going on for hours already. I make a beeline for the food table with Trish, stealing just enough grub to keep me sated through the whole ordeal. Ordinarily, I'd just hole up in my room and annoy everyone by playing, frankly, I did a do, I did do a little winning, but... What was that song? Frankly, I Frankly, did do, I a, did little do a little winning. But. Oh. Damn skinny costing me two hours of my life by resolving blood feuds. After Big Lee Die, surely, frankly, I did do a little winning is something. All I do is win. But win, maybe. win, no matter what. Maybe. All I do is a little. Damn skinny costing me two hours of my life by resolving blood feuds. Whatever, it's not like these jocks want to talk with me anyhow. But Stella, jeez, she's got the attention of all the boys. It's weird, right? I know, like, how? I mean, I've seen her talking a lot with that hot dog chick that's near your place. Oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> What are you implying? That she gets a lot of weeders. <laughs> no, that she gives good advice for romance. Come on, you gotta admit, her setup is a little seedy. She's chill, Trish. Not like some kind of multitasking prostitute. <laughs> That's not multitasking. She does them separately. She's just good not with weeders of all kinds. She does, she does some weeders during the day and other sorts of weeders at night. She's not like that. Although I gotta say, it's a really good business model. Not even. <laughs> yeah, she gives you one, then she, didn't you give her one. That's odd. I know that pal very well. No, it's even, because there's two involved. No vegan options? Her Herbies matter, too. Do Herbie know? lives matter. Do they, though? <laughs> yes! Dad, Dad's head whips around at Triss's shout. <laughs> the room's temperature drops as the two glare at each other. Someone's gonna die. Triss! I give her a quick reality check with my elbow. <laughs> <laughs> That's, right, That's right, bitch. That's right, you better run. Let me at her. Let me at her. I can take her. 
Everyone awkwardly returns to their own din tiny dinner talk, Dad getting the patented look from Mom as she pulls him aside. Were there vegetables on the table? Yeah, I mean, there's, what, that's probably a bowl of peppers and carrots. Oh, also, I'm just now realizing, she called him a pig earlier. I thought she meant that like, he was a pervert, which I thought sounded kind of weird, but now I realize she meant pig as if he's a cop. Yeah! That took me a second. Hold on. He's so a dirty cop. In a kinky way. And you would have been in cuffs again. In a kinky way. In a kinky way. Trisha's small chuckle is enough to know that she won't actually start another argument tonight. I like oh, the hat on right. the rhino. Makes it look like it's got three horns. I scan the room again as I nibble on some of the tiny sandwiches Mom made. I like the hat on the bird that's totally covering the bird's head. <laughs> Aside from Stella being swarmed by boys three times her size and reminding me of that picture of the girl sitting on the couch with a bunch of guys behind her, Chet and Nazar are throwing it up with some crazy looking handshake and Naomi is talking with Mom. What picture are you talking about? It's just, it's this kind of famous meme picture. It's this white girl sitting on a couch and there's like four or five black or multi-ethnic ethnicity guys just standing behind her and they're all ripped looking at the girl. You know the picture. <laughs> I don't. I'll find it later, but it, 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 it's it, I mean, it's been I understand making its meaning. You're doing it again. Hmm? Oh, she is mumbling. His autism, oh. is, his autism is contagious after all. <laughs> My thumb circles slowly over the surface of polished stone. Oh, that's adorable. And I'm texting me earlier, you know. He's cheating on you with me. <laughs> really? I mean, yeah. that's fucked, but really? His dick is like a, half the size of me. <laughs> I, now I know you're lying because there's that. There's, there's no way that's true. I'm really you... small. <laughs> it's not remote. No, it's still not remotely true. Trust me, I know. <laughs> Oof. He said you owe him ten bucks. <laughs> You gonna tell me why? Does it have to do with the size of his dick? No, no, it has nothing to do with that. Oh no, not the sad eyes. Fuck the sad eyes, damn it. Oh, I may have made a bet on the roommate thing. Trish tries to headbutt me, but I already have her at arm's length with my palm on her face. <laughs> Thankfully, Trish would never learn. It's just so easy, too. There's a big spot in between all the horns for it. Your info, I bet in your favor. Trish finally relents, leaning back against the wall. Sorry, so just to be clear, is this a bet about her and Reed getting together? I guess... Uh, simply, I think that's the implication. Well, I, I guess they bet roommates, so Anand's like, oh yeah, you're gonna get a room with Trish. Yeah, that's, she, she's going with Reed. Yeah, I mean, Anand, Anand bet in Reed's favor. Wait, whereas would that Fang, be... Fang bet on her and Trish getting together for a room, and Anand bet on Trish and Reed, so well, actually, you're voting on Trish would no what. Anand have voted on Trish and Reed getting a room, or just that, oh, nah, Trish wouldn't hook up with a room with you? No, that's. I think that's what Anand was, was betting on, was uh, Trish and Reed getting a room. I mean, I get that, but I feel like it, you could also see as him betting that they wouldn't, that Trish and Fang wouldn't get a room together. I think Anon was betting that Trish and Reed would fuck. <laughs> Anyways. I just got out of a loud house, Fang. I'd like to experience having a good night's sleep if you catch my drift for the first time in my life. Yeah, and leave a sister out in the cold. Come on, why you gotta leave a trigger down? What am I gonna do now? Not like I can just move in with Anon. Unlike Naomi and Nazar. I wonder what happens to their relationship. 
I want to be jealous. Ah, oh, they're talking back and forth. What do you mean I'm not pregnant? But she said so! <laughs> Thinking about how they get what I want so badly. But even with Nazar's scholarship, Dad's spending so much for him. But... Nazar deserves it. He deserves the fucking world after putting up with me. Aww. I glance over to him, nervously trying to bridge some conversation with Mom and his teammates. Oh no, now she's on the couch, surrounded by the teammates. Naomi, of course, close behind him to direct the whole thing. Hey. Someone calls to me from across the room. Oh. Oh, it's gonna be Hinkle again. Oh, it's just the ex-captain of the football team. I still wonder how Stella managed to catch this guy. Must have an anime fetish I don't know about. Hey, you're the chick that played during prom last year, right? Come on, play something and liven up the place a bit. Is this guy a reference to the Mr. Douchebag song by Your Favorite Martian or whatever that internet I thing was? I, I, I think it's just a reference to the It's Me and My Bitch. Uh, my yeah. name is Mr. Douchebag. Oh yeah, because that, that, that was the image uh, Anon posted. Vark Tech. Okay, I feel like this and the last one, I think these are just spam bots. What are you talking about? In, in the chat, uh, there's a person that says Vark Tech, and before, you know, the, there was someone that said Vo IDK. Because I see there's yeah. a period in between the words. I'm pretty sure these are chat bots that are playing in spam links. Obviously, it's not a working clickable link, but uh, yeah, no one, no one interact with that. The other track team members holler in agreement. Trish isn't facing me, but she has an odd look going on there. Well, hey, it happened. Oh boy. Was it just like you always imagined? <laughs> See, it, 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 they had sex. She's what? She smirks and looks at me from the corner of her eye. Wait, who has sex? Trish and Reed. They're, I think that's what they're talking about right now. Hmm. Well, now I'm less certain. Wait. She said, well, it happened, because they're going back to the previous conversation where they were talking. She said, okay, so... Oh, I thought they were talking about, like, uh... I thought it was going to... I think I, I feel like it's I more. They, of... I think they're talking about the guy asking them to play rather than you know they yeah. always wanted to ask have somebody asked to play. Like uh, yeah, the, the appreciation to the music. There was, a bit more, there was a bit more groveling involved when somebody I asked see. to play. Good idea. I, I like my interpretation. Well, there was a bit more groveling involved. The her room updated after the fourth ending. You'll see it soon. Ooh. I kind of forgot about it, honestly. Well, now I hope they're not talking about sex, because that's just a big oof. That sounds like big a trick thing to say. You gonna play? Yeah, uh, sure. Why the fuck not? I was getting bored anyway. <laughs> I high five Triss as I pass her by. I like that. And now uh, she uh, also. In, in, retro in retrospect, I think maybe they were just finishing up that conversation, and I'm starting to lean on Hinkle's interpretation of that. I think Trish is just playing it cool, though. I'm sure. It, I'm sure it was everything she could have ever asked. I like that she had to hop up for the high five. In my room, I take the time to consider which weapon I want to slay it with. What would she, she has her own rainbow? Does she? she does have a rainbow. Oh, she I does have it. a rainbow. Oh, that's adorable. She does have a What would he pick? Probably at random. Yeah. <laughs> Aha! I got it. Oh, the flag. Do. She, she doesn't have the flag anymore over her bed. Either. Honestly, she should bring the uh, the keyboard. That's a good thing to play solo. Yeah. 
Well, I mean, she played a guitar she solo. Yes. I feel like you get more range out of a also, keyboard. I mean, I feel like you can't really pick that up and bring it down a flight of stairs easily. Uh, it folds up on its thing. I mean, yeah, but it might be heavy. Yeah. I set down my three favorites at the foot of my bed and sprinkle some cracker crumbs in, fr in front of them. Oh my god. <laughs> Then, with a quick tap of my foot, I let my most loyal minion decide. <laughs> oh, this is adorable. Rainbow's mechanical mouth makes quick work of the crumbs, choosing first my good old hardcore hollow body. Good boy. Good boy. I quickly tune my proffered weapon, watching as Rainbow finishes its dinner before returning to its dock. I pat my robotic pet for doing such an amazing job and head back to my wedding audience, waiting audience. I love that she, like, turned around on Rainbow. Only to nearly get kneecapped by Naomi's stupidly fat tail. This... That tail, though. <laughs> that tail, though. Oh, wait, so, so I like this. This means that uh, she took over Rainbow for, for the time they're apart. Aw. Aw. Who would even like a girl with such a disgusting, lardy tail? I mean, who even goes for those? Look at her butt. It's like that. So big. I, mean, I, I I do like Fang's tail, but then again, a nice fat tail is also kind of... There's a, there's a look to it. Unlike mine. Oh, no. <laughs> she, she, it, she's it's insecure. My, she has tail my, envy. What the fuck? She scowls. And look, Anand's picture on the wall. Where? Oh. Oh, down here! Oh, it's Where? nice! Uh, down the corner above Rainbow, there, there's a- it's an Anon. Oh, hey, that is an Anon. Very small. Very small. Yeah, but it's noticeable, I can see it. She scowls. Were you trying to bust my knee, you stupid beige bitch? I didn't mean to! I was simply headed for the bathroom up here! It seems that Jet and or Stella are currently using the, uh, other bathroom! And or... For bathroom-related knees, of course! She turns her nose and continues down the hallway. I'm tempted to brain her with my beloved guitar. I guess or shoot her with your father's gun. Shoot her with my father's gun? Nah, that'd be a little fucked. I'm not that pissed. I turn and make my way down the steps. Actually, a really fucking freaky thing to think about. What? That, like, this is the same person who apparently had that in her, you know? Under, er, under the worst circumstances, maybe everybody has it in them. Like, yeah, what would you... Know. When you get pushed to a limit... What, I, like, what would you do if you saw a universe... Like, you had a glimpse of a universe where you shut up a school? Uh, the... Uh... Prime Directive dictates that I do nothing with that universe. Well, well I, I feel like if you ever saw something like that, you'd be like, well, damn, I guess I'm doing pretty great in this one, then. That's true. Yeah, no, that's a good way to look at it. It's just the horror of knowing that that was in you, apparently. Yeah, there's a dark side to all of us, Inkle. I don't have one. And that is, that, that that's, is, the, pride, that is that, the pride that slayed Anakin. That, that's the words of a guy who is only dark side. Uh, tr true, that, that's, I guess that's the real patrician taste to have. Just love all tales of all sizes. I wish Scooch is to give me enough space on the stairs to set the guitar on my knee to play. Uh, what should I start with, do you think? Shit, it's been forever since we heard my fucking ma, man. <laughs> Dark side, more like dork side. Haha, <laughs> got him. Got a lot of that. Wasn't it called I'm Way Too Hungover? No, Reach just fell backwards when he told us and didn't bother correcting himself. <laughs> Sounds like something he'd do, yeah. Most of the partygoers are already looking in my way in anticipation. 
I run the first few stanzas in my head a couple of times and then begin strumming. My fingers glide along the fretboard easily enough Aww. and my pick wildly plucks the cord. <laughs> like, everyone's bobbing along except Naomi and the dad. Though, though, Nazer looks like he's phoning it in. Yeah, Party's this they always just straight up jealous. That's pretty much it. I mean, yeah, Fang it did ruin her, her big day. Yeah, everybody, everybody's jelly of Fang. The party is the party is cheering and stamping out a drum beat for me to play to. And Trish, besides me, is joining in on the makeshift metronome. I let loose a hard back lift, taking the chance to actually feel out the crowd. Yeah. All the jocks and even Stella are loving this. Oh, uh, she's the mom's really getting into it. Now, now Nasser's cheering up. I can see Dad's sneer slowly vanish as Mom repeatedly steps on his foot. <laughs> oh yeah, he's smiling now and bobbing a little bit. Naomi's the last one I look at, and I'm expecting one of her vicious sneers. Instead, she's looking like someone took all of her hopes and dreams and flushed them down the drain. Oof. I nearly missed my next note, so I focus back on my guitar. With an extra flourish, I end the punk song with a fist pump. As you're supposed to do. The room hollers, demanding more amazing music from me. You know, I just feel like, uh, with the way the mom was really getting into the music, I feel like she's, like, you know, one of those crazy, you know, music goers that just fully goes all out, despite the fact that she looks so diminutive. She's into, she's she's into freaky shit behind all. doors. <laughs> but... Oi! I'm just the ambience, pricks. It's baby bro's party, after all. With the spotlight on Nazar, now I decide to just sit back on the stairs. Still gonna play? Ah, thinking something lower now. That'll pitch a bit if they start a mosh pit. We chuckle together, my fingers now lazily strummingly a mellow tune for the party. It's a simple song, one I've learned perfectly from Granny. Oh, I like this song. So perfectly remember I can look at me. It. When it's time to say goodbye, remember me. Don't let it make you cry. What is so that? So perfectly. Uh, Coco. Have you ever seen Coco? No, I have not. Oh my Coco's god, that movie. movie is so fucking good. It's a good, it's a good, it's a good pick. It's a good pick. So perfectly, I can look out as everyone else chats and enjoys the calmer atmosphere. She's Inui type from Agretsuko. I have never seen that either. I think that's the, that's the one with the little, like, chibi style animals characters, right? Oh, oh arm wrestling. Okay. Nazar and Chat have started arm wrestling. Stella. And, uh, <laughs> Naomi and Stella are, are comparing boyfriends. <laughs> Stella and some of Nazar's old teammates are talking like crazy about something or other. And it's like wrestling. Hmm. Oh, no way. That sounds retarded. Yeah, spaceships are wrestling. God. Oh, she's talking about like what Gundam or something. Yeah. Yahweh, it's really cool. It really is gross. I, 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 I'm forgetting his voice every time. We've been marathoning every weekend. <laughs> Docs start cheering and tossing their solo cups at him. <laughs> Nazar the chance to finally win. Oh, poor Stella. <laughs> Let's 
Chet and Nazar sheepishly hold his hand behind their heads while Nazar gets showered in praise from his parents. My parents. I suppose that's just an our parents. Naomi ducks under his other arm and embraces him, rubbing muzzles together. Oh. Gross. Big fat muzzle. Psst. Wait, no. That didn't happen. Outlaw Star, I think. Oh yeah, the ships did get uh, uh big arms. Oh yeah, they have, they have they have arms. It's like arm wrestling ships, specifically. Yeah, I guess so fit because they were just arm wrestling. Wait, no, that didn't happen. Only Naomi did the nuzzling. Huh. Nah, those two are a whole room away. Probably just didn't see it right. When they separate, Nazar follows Shet back to the enthralling conversation on wrestling spaceships or whatever shit from Stella. So he break. I guess that probably makes sense, him breaking up with Naomi. Aww. Oh, that stinks. That hurts. Well, I mean, we do know they separate because yeah. she marries Kanye Soros. Yeah. I mean, yeah, we do know that, but no one's not quite sure how long. It oh, was. oh, that. Oh, like right that... after prom, too. Oh, wait, just imagine that, too. Na Fang took Naomi's big day at the at the prom by being the big star, and now both are having their boyfriends move away for college, but Fang gets to keep hers, whereas Naomi isn't. Oh, oh, oh! That's so sad. Oh, that's her, that's it literally is just like all their hopes this, and dreams are just getting flushed away. This, this girl doesn't deserve the amount of suffering she gets. Also, I just like Stella turning the entire jock team into weebs. It's an infection. You have to stop it while it's, while it's there. I mean, yeah, no, that's... As someone who works at a school and works with the teenagers, it, it it's like... There is no such thing as cool anymore. Like, it's just... Everyone likes what they like. A purple hand breaches my line of sight. Hey, Fang! Hello! Uh, yeah? You bridged that last... Oh, God! Stella's <laughs> taking me over again! You bridged that last buddy. song into Mussolini Macho Mystery perfectly. You didn't even notice? I just love all of these sound names. Yeah. Or song names. I just now realize I am, in fact, playing a completely different song than when I started. Foley That's pretty fucking awesome. Foley Spears was principal. He could set the football team straight. <laughs> Let's give him some real taste. Well, actually, I'll, I mean, Outlaw Star's pretty good. That's a good recommendation from Stella, at least. Fish and I continue making small talk to the rest of the party while I keep the ambience upbeat. Yeah, everyone watches anime now. It's just like... Yeah. One of the track members spills some popcorn on the floor below him. Just one I kernel at a time. Just eat one kernel at a time. You don't need to grab a fucking handful and throw it everywhere, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> or, you know, you can just eat all, they take big handfuls and just not be a slob. I, I can do it just fine. Uh, my, my father just gets popcorn everywhere when he eats it. It's so fucking annoying. They should start thinking of ways to get out of cleanup. Naomi and Nasser had no real connection. They were a perfect school couple, but that's it. Uh, the the typical uh, image you would see in like a show or a movie. Yeah. I think like Naomi was like showing genuine concern for Nasser like in the yeah. Early Game, yeah, I guess that's the thing, is that now that Nazar's mind isn't massively occupied by Fang, he's realizing... Did it just, did it just stop? Well, yeah, because that's the end of uh, part oh. one. Okay, so that was kind of a... It, I thought... It, uh, I must have missed the fade to black. I thought that was a rougher That was a rougher end than usual. It, it did yeah, no, fade it. pretty quick okay. there. Okay, sorry. So I'm just, I'm, just, I'm just confused. Where are we standing on... Was that a comment about uh, Reed and Trish's having a night together? Or do you think it was about the song? Or being asked to play. I think it was being asked think, to play. I think they fucking. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm almost certain they're fucking, but I just wasn't sure if Trish was playing it cool or if Reed was desperate. I just, I'm just very curious because the dialogue it was like mixing two different conversations. I mean, at that point. 
Well, we didn't really see them together for ending four, but that was five years. They could have had a fling during those five years, maybe. Oh, they're one hundred percent having a fling. They're they're definitely getting a room. They're definitely getting an apartment together. You don't just get an apartment. A boy and a girl just don't get an apartment together unless there's like something going on there. Yeah, like, yeah, like they both can't girl afford girl it girl separately. Girl. The great Anon doxing piqued a lot of interest. <laughs> Everyone's like, oh, I should check out some of this weeb stuff. And then all the jocks start making pages of them with their anime girlfriends. <laughs> and post it in the DeviantArt. <laughs> Except they can Photoshop it correctly to not have hover hand. Like, come on, Anon, you're Photoshopping. You can obviously get around hover hand. Isn't Olivia is kind of semi canon Nacer's future girlfriend? I mean, fanon wise, I think, yeah. Second is Naomi's perspective. Oh, fun. I want to see her mumble now. <laughs> Naomi's Tribulations 2. I find myself worrying more and more. With the night coming to a close, everyone begins to leave Nazar's home. All of his old teammates give him congratulatory hugs and bad packs and spanks on his way out. <laughs> as teammates do. Even Shet and Stella, who are the last to leave. Don't think you're getting out of cleaning, Missy. Uh, uh, uh. I've run a little. After all this time, she still argues with her family? I mean, not wanting to clean seems like a simple argument. Who doesn't love to clean? I love to clean! Girl doesn't love to clean. Makes no sense. I was always taught to respect my elders by my parents. Naomi, dear, you don't have to. I insist, ma'am. I was the one to suggest the party, after all. I continue sweeping the detritus, the detritus, detritus, detritus the debris from the floor. Detritus from the floor, making sure to focus on the nooks and crannies. Wait, wait, is that just a fancy word for garbage? Yeah, it's just like the fancy not word just for garbage, it's just like stuff strewn about, like bigger dust. Like, if after, like, a hurricane, you know, you got oh, everything, so like, that's like, all detritus. Like debris. Yeah. So it's fancy debris. Sure. You have to name for your tastes. Hey. I try to, I try to focus on my I guess task. detritus is small debris. I, tr I try to focus on my task, but... People keep interrupting. <laughs> no, I just keep thinking about my butt and how fat my tail is. <laughs> So about it. Who would like a tale like this? My thoughts keep going back to how odd Nazar has been acting. When I had to keep Nazar out so his family could set up the party, he was... Distant. A part of me wants to say it's just nerves. After all, he's going away to college. Leaving his home. Even when I promised him that I'd be with him so he won't feel lonely. He felt so stiff when I said that. Ooh. Ooh. Not the good kind of stiff. <laughs> I shake my head to clear my mind of these awful thoughts. After all, Nazar and I can talk about this once we move in together. Oh, oh, oh no. They, oh, God, this is going to be like watching ending two or something. Oh, God, she, he, she doesn't know. Maybe I am pregnant. <laughs> Who knows? It can come true. Oh, it's as if we're gonna be newlyweds. Yeah, like I said, he just he spent so long fretting over Fang. He hasn't really thought about how he feels about Naomi at all. And now that he has the free mind, it's like, oh, oh shit! Oh shit! My plan backfired. <laughs> Nothing really. He's looking around the room, but 
there's only me, Nazar, and Lucy here at the moment. I'm sure he wouldn't be looking at his sister. <laughs> Woody! Nazar, please, you've seen, you've seen trouble the entire day. What's wrong? Nothing, nothing at all, Amy. Just, uh, damn it. Nazar's shoulders slump down and he heaves out a heavy sigh. I've been uh, thinking about this a lot, Naomi. Oh no, the music cut out. I uh, I want to take a break. Oh no. A break? A break from what? A break of that Kit Kat bar? <laughs> yeah, that's all I meant. You want to take a break from cleaning? I mean, we only just started, but... Yeah, I've been thinking about this cleaning for a really long time, and I want a break from it. Oh, me too. It's been like a whole 15 minutes. This is why I don't like parties. <laughs> no, I mean us. What? Oh. It wasn't even a question mark, which I feel like wasn't even a typo. It was just like... Like, she just... What? Like, is that questioning it? Just of... like, no. Yeah, like, a, a statement of absolute... Like betrayal and confusion. I think we need a break, Naomi. What? Oh, I, 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 I see. Lucy and Anna are taking one, and I thought. I gently set the broom against the wall. Yeah, I'll break, I guess. I mean, I wanted to tell you sooner, but... Oh. I, I understand. I understand, Nazar. After all, you always have the best ideas. Oh, oh it's just like, I wanted to tell you sooner. You're thinking, it's not like, oh, yeah, it's just a casual thing. Great timing. Wait until the end of no, the I feel party. like he's, it's not a casual thing. That's why he's like, he couldn't bring himself to say it. Or it, it, I feel like it does seem like Nacer ends up uh, not being able to say things quickly. Yeah. Wait, Naomi. God damn it, Nazar. That's more stuff we have to clean. I slip out of the door of Nazar's house. A break. A break. But why? I've done everything right, right? Oh. <laughs> I've been the model girlfriend, right? Carry myself down the driveway, trying to hold my thoughts together. Oh, the slow walk. Spring is about over, but it's cold. Tears prick my eyes, but suddenly I don't have the energy to wipe them off. Oh, no. Everything was going wonderfully, but now it's just all come shattering down. Oh, when I reach the curb, I crumble onto my knees. Oh, this, no, this is awful. I can't even focus on a single calamitous thought with so many firing through me. The thought of being away from Nazar, of things just ending... <laughs> Two years prior. Oh, oh my goodness. Going we're down. having a flashback. God, but oh, it, it just feel like just the line of how she said, I always talk to respect my elders. It, it feels like she's a person that followed the rules, played perfectly the whole time. Yeah, maybe tried to be, uh, you know, Kakaiku master. And maybe manipulate some people, like, you know, the whole Fang Anon situation. But it feels like she just never had rejection. Now this is the first time things aren't going right, despite... Because she's like, oh, I did everything right, right? So yeah, it's definitely... In the comments, it's just like, redeem them all, the dev said. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I'm fascinated by Nazar. I guess this is what the two years prior is going to tell us. I mean, I guess it's fair. I mean, 
like no matter how bad any of them acted they're all just high schoolers and high schoolers just are stupid yeah. well yeah i mean it's high stupid. school relationships rarely last so yeah. the fact that fang and anons have done so well all things considered is impressive yeah i find it very goofy it's well, actually, I mean, to be fair, my older sister married her high school sweetheart. Well, your older sister's an idiot. Well, but well maybe you're an idiot. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it can work out. It's just I'm very sorry. unlikely. I'm sorry, that, Shima. No, that's okay. Like, maybe... I know you're... I feel like probably it may be, like, at least one relationship out of a whole graduating class would probably work out in the long run. My parents got married right out of college. Yeah, see? It is very unusual, though. That's true. And lastly, here is your desk to work at. <laughs> My throat! <laughs> My principal slaps in his hop of an aged yet official-looking table furnished with a lamp and its own drawers. Most students in any school would only ever be seated behind the regular board on some sticks model. Maybe one with a little cubbyhole built in for binders if the schools were old enough. But here I am, one of the lucky few, the proud. Thank you, sir. I should feel a lot more excited about winning the election, but... <laughs> Naomi, my voice hurts, so... <laughs> That's okay, sir. This can just happen before you take all those smokes. <laughs> just because you want to stop kids from smoking doesn't mean you have to literally eat them all yourself, sir. <laughs> Oh, did he see me sulking? Uh, there may not have been many candidates nor voters in deciding you should be the class president, but the fact remains that you won. You were the only person running, and the only person that voted was you for yourself, but it's still a win. Yes! You shouldn't stress yourself about how things might have gone differently if there were a larger voting pool. Don't go underselling yourself. If you try, you can be good enough. Man, Spears was too good for this school with what we saw at that well, PTA that's meeting. that's a shitty thing to say, honestly. How but do you mean? If you try, you can be good enough. First of all, you're not currently good enough. Second of all, just good enough. Well, not no, I, well, it's a follow-up of don't undersell yourself, because I feel like that's an important lesson. Like, you know, you don't undersell yourself. You you got to this spot, so, you know, you, you, you tried, you got it, so you just gotta... It just, it just feels like a normal, just try your best, everything will be okay, don't worry. Yeah, just do your best ability. Lot. You got this far, so you got something. Principal Spears, I'll try. And be good enough. He gives me a warm smile and a pat on the shoulder and leaves me to let me get acquainted with a new space. Looks like there's already a few forms to fill out. Oh, there's a letter in here, too. It's addressed to me. Oh, look at, look at that face. Specifically? Look at this. I mean, th that's a cute face. That's a super cute face. Look at that. It's like it's like that's she's open. Here you go. Yeah, that no, that's a that's a face you want sucking your dick right there. I'll tell you what. <laughs> you know, okay, not the angle I was gonna it's go. A snoot <laughs> made for sucking. It's a snoot made for sucking. Also, Howie the flowers in the background. It's a very cute face. I love it. Oh, I'm sorry. Kazar doesn't recognize that reference. It's a sunflower. If anything, I mean, what? It's just plants versus zombies? Oh, let's go with that. <laughs> DSS, a dick sucking snoot. Hey, girl. <laughs> what that snoot do, though? <laughs> it's, it's, it's looking like she opened up a love letter almost. It's best to me, specifically? Particularly? Exactly? Oops, I said that out loud. Oh shit, I'm saying everything out loud! <laughs> Wait, Anon got the mumbling from her! You can't Wait. just leave me alone with my thoughts! I can't Wait. control my Wait. thoughts! When they held hands! When he fell off the bench! That's when it started. And my 
baptism to him. <laughs> Good thing there's nobody here. Otherwise, they think I'm crazy. <laughs> this is feeling like a wallpaper kind of pick. What's that drumming sound? Oh dear, that's my own feet. Oh, I thought that was going to be your tail, like Fang. I guess it's too long to drum. Yeah, it'd be a pretty big drum. What am I getting so worked up over? Maybe maybe a whip crack. Maybe she could pull that off. Her or Stella. Stella's is also really long. In one of the Redwall books, the main villain was a, a rat who used his tail as a whip. Yeah, cool. like I, a... I, like the, I like the idea of Redwall. I've seen that. that like, that's a little bit of inspiration I take for SQ sometimes is the Redwall concept. I can see it. It's probably just a letter of congratulations. Not that anyone other than Spears would even care about. Dearest Naomi? Is this a joke? Who would? I just love this, like, angelic music, too. My eyes traced the paragraph multiple times before I realized I haven't actually even begun reading it. Then all of a sudden, it all registers at once. There's a loud squeal that echoes through the hallway. Oh, wait. I cover my lips and feel my entire face heat up. This is that adorable. Was that was me. I, I sure hope no one else heard that. But, but, but... Nazar is... <gasps> oh, that's... Oh, 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 that's so much worse now that they broke up. Yeah. And I'm just... Wouldn't people look at him funny? Wouldn't they look at me funny? So yeah, he's kind of the reason she got these like big notions. She maybe she Nazar, just maybe herself Nazar a was, nobody. Maybe or, Nazar was the asshole all along. <laughs> or, we never like, knew it. or maybe Nasser was just being like, you know, just polite. Like, you know, oh hey, congrats on being what class no, rep or class president or something? You don't, you don't just, open. I'm not, hey, I'm not saying Nazar like is an ass for doing it. I'm just saying that before she went out with Nazar, she didn't have like big aspirations of that perfect high school romance. Oh, and then after, oh, yeah, the and then yeah. this kind of gave her the idea that she could have everything and needed. Yeah, to I mean, I mean, again, this fa this looks like like the start of a high school romance movie or something. After all, I'm just so so. Yeah, and it came immediately after Don't Go Underselling Yourself, so... <laughs> it's funny oh. how things can line up like that and become something bigger. Also, Don't Go Underselling Yourself. So. Oh. If you try, you can be good enough. Good enough. Wait. Or was she trying to be good enough for Nasser? Oh my god. This whole time, Naomi ending threed herself. Yeah, the From the start. So oh my god, she was living up just like how Fang did in Indy 3. She neglected herself? Or no, you're saying... No, like she's living up to an ideal she feels the other person has <laughs> instead of her own, being her, her own person. That's <laughs> like ending 2. Spears is just whispering that from the doorframe. <laughs> I was asking her out on a date, too. I'll go check out the library for romantic self-help books after school. Man, you know, Nacer be acting kind of smooth, though, with that. You make a look at one of those online dating simulators. Those are, sure, those are sure to have a lot of information I can use. Actually, honestly, that's a pretty shitty way to ask someone. <laughs> I'll be the perfect girlfriend. I mean, I feel like it works. I mean, I mean, I assume with the way she was saying, what would people... When people look funny at him and me is because of the age difference. No, I think it's because she's considered herself, you know, just a dork and he's the jock. Uh, yeah, I mean, she kind of considered herself. She's obviously a uh, a brainsy student, so maybe she considers herself a nerd. Well, she I mean, that nat well, also, this is, this is two years prior. She would be uh, 10th grade and Nasser would be eighth, So he wouldn't be like big tier jock. He'd, he'd be on the sports team, probably. But he'd be up and coming more than anything, I feel. 
I mean, yeah, he'd definitely still be. I think he would get. He, they would notice his athletic talents pretty soon on, so he'd probably be popular pretty much right in the gate. Yeah. Like I, they said, he did everything perfectly, so I assume he was pretty popular as soon as his freshman year. Unless it's going to cripple angle, and she's like, "Oh man, people seeing me dating a cripple." Ah. Oh, it's gonna give me so many Instagram points. <laughs> oh, no. Do you read this? I did say that. Okay. I'll be the perfect girlfriend. Like no one ever was. Oh, oh that's where it ends. That's so oh. weird. Yeah, those are some pretty abrupt endings for the uh, for the. No, I'm like... thinking Naz are breaking up with her is so weird. Yeah, maybe. I mean, it is. It's kind of like he said earlier. Maybe before, the only reason he was sticking around was because he was too distracted with Fang to no, notice. I said that before. But, I realized. But that yeah, he but this, asked he, her yeah, out. he oh, yeah, made he the first move. Then he made the first move, oh. and now he's dumping her. Poor girl. Poor oh. Naomi. Naomi's a good girl. Yeah, I'm. I'm f I mean, say whatever you will about Naomi. She's not the one who like she's she's far from the from from having done the worst thing in this game. Which I think you know, I love Trish now, but Trish definitely gets the medal for the worst act of the game, except yeah. for except for one of the endings. You know which one? Yeah. Hmm. But uh, that that that, that does that uh, that does make me feel really bad for Naomi now, especially. Oh my god, too, because think about it, she like she just said, "I'll be the perfect girlfriend," so she's being perfect she's fault like doing all these things but then like anon and everyone else is like dear god what is with this super saturine whatever they call it, whatever went with that whatever the other s word was it's a whole bunch it's hard to keep track of yeah it's just if it, it feels like i mean she did truck through it like she didn't really let anything affect her. She was good with her relationship with Nasser, so she's got points there. She had, you know, something good. Ah, oh, Nasser, though. Nasser, what are you doing, I hope, dude? I hope, I hope also we get reasoning. Yeah, it's interesting. He wasn't even in the ending four. That is, yeah, he wasn't in the time skip. I assumed it was because he was still going to school. But I guess uh, yeah. he was prepping for college then, if he's... Yeah. No, they would have been out of cold. I mean, because like Naomi was working at uh, Volcano High. Well, that was five years later. That's what I mean. He was never in that five years oh, later. Oh, that part. Well, medical school takes a long time if he's going there. Yeah. Well, anyway, continue. Yeah. She sees herself as a nobody nerd. Oh, maybe. Oh, I guess that would fit in with like if she's always following the rules and stuff. She was just kind of like. You know, no one would really pay attention, but now she ha is having an athlete asking her out, and also asking out in like, like a again a big high school romance way. That's like, you know, oh my god, this is like match made in heaven right here. I'm expecting this to be from Nazar's point of view, so uh, they say in you... chat it's back from Fang. It's back to Fangs. Uh, yeah, real Which makes sense. I assume Fang is gonna try to damage control this. No, I'm assuming it's Nazar. And every, everyone else sees her as being hollow is an act, as I pointed out. That's why Inan thought she was acting, because she really was. But well, was she? Was she acting? I mean, again, this is, like, this is like she ending... She was, she was, she was, she was to, I think she, she was genuinely genuine. wanted to do it. Yeah. I mean, she was also genuinely concerned for Nazar. Okay. She, so, she understood that that was a fucked up family situation. Even she could see that. No need to yeah. fake that. She knew the whole thing so, situation. Yeah, I guess it, I, yeah, I guess it's like... You could say it's an act, but also she's kind of going into it and just living up to an ideal. So it's not like, so it's less at playing on an act for anyone else. It's just I want to be perfect yeah. for him. Yeah. Then, uh, I, I guess it just kind of started going south or something. If she was feeling, I don't know, because like it still seems half and half. Like oh, she's trying to help Fang in order to help. You know, you know, to get, you know, to help well, Nasser because she's, she's worrying all the time. But then she does kind of, there was that little bit of it seeming like, oh, I just want Nasser's attention to be on me. She obviously is also very judgmental of Fang's nonconformity. Um, hmm. It definitely seems like she's implied to have 
she's implied to be some sort of Asian. Um, and so has that sort of like very strict upbringing, which yeah, is the implication it, of the uh, oh, and I was taught to always respect my elders thing. So, oh yeah, so her being like a rule follow or rule follower, then also you know going for perfection. Fang is the exact opposite of that. Yes, yeah. So she's also very judgmental of Fang. I, I just gotta wonder. Fang, I mean, not Fang. Uh, Nacer sent the letter. Where, where did things fall apart then? Yeah, it's just weird. I, I mean, obviously, he saw something in Naomi to begin with. Unless this yeah. is like, you know, like how Fang and Anon talked, where it's like, oh, you know, let's just take a little break, but we're still gonna, you know, be a thing over the five years. And Nacer's kind of going with that idea, but Naomi took it as a breakup break. This is just friends. This is friends now. This is that situation. Nazer, Nazer has been, throughout this entire game, the absolute worst communicator. That he is, because in every single ending, one way or another, whether it's with Anon or with Fang or uh, anybody else, N Nazer has the hardest time getting his point across. He has the best intentions, but he just can't speak right. He's just bad at it. <laughs> I don't know if this is Na either. If this is a Nazer point of view, uh, can you just do the narration <laughs> so I can spare my voice a little bit? Uh, sure. I think this is Fang. I, I think it's Fang, though. We'll see. I, I mean, it said in the chat. She was we'll acting I, I, so I, I, hard I, that she convinced herself. Oh, maybe that I'm too. Gonna, I'm gonna read it as Fang's voice to start off with, and if I'm wrong, I'll change course. I mean, everything is acting so hard that you're convincing yourself. It, do it doesn't become an act anymore. Exactly. What the fuck just happened? One second, Nazar and Naomi were talking. Oh, uh, yeah, so it's Fang. Now I've got a crippled brother looking more lost and confused than ever before. He's bad at speaking in general. Yeah, he didn't see like uh, around a non sometimes, even on the good times. Not the best speaker. Little Miss Perfect Life is crying like a baby outside of my house. Oh, God, she's, like, crumpled on the sidewalk. Oh. Maybe uh, I should. I mean, it's good. Everyone else already left. For once in your life, do the smart thing and shut... <laughs> That's always been his problem, is shutting up. Is it... Yeah, he just never talks about anything. Oh, you, uh, you meant the problem was he he's always shuts up. Yeah. I wince as I see Nazar recoil at my harsh words. Can't fall back into bad habits now. Think, Lucy, think. How do you unfuck this fuck up? And look out the window and watch as Naomi continues wailing. I'm sorry, the model changed and that made me laugh. Oh yeah, she doesn't have the, the necklace now. Yeah, like, go back. <laughs> did, did, and then watch her turn around. Yeah. Did they only put it on the left-facing Fang? I thought the left-facing Fang makes me laugh. <laughs> well, <'cause>... the... <laughs> Alright, we need patch 8, guys! <laughs> patch 8, you gotta fix that. I look out the window and watch as Naomi continues wailing. Even though I despise the idea, Naomi needs someone to be there for her and support her now more than ever. Yeah, before she goes in an ending one. With the thought of what I'm about to do, I realized just how much Anon had really done for me. I mean, it's, it's like you don't really need to update, you could just go into the game files, just copy-paste uh, Fang with Necklace, just flip it, just change There's the file. There's technically an update! Yeah, but you can mod it yourself. An up snoot. <laughs> God damn it, I really, really don't want to. Oh, wait, no, it's not. Yeah, not in the left facing one, I guess. They just forgot. I just took it off. <laughs> I, turned back, I turned back to face my brother, who looks like he wants to jump from our house's roof. Oof, and he already didn't do good from jumping from heights before. So, or because he fell off a cliff, he's now immune to great heights, so jumping off the roof isn't going to do anything. I do story house isn't the same as a cliff into the ocean, but best not to chance it. 
Oh, wait, you know, maybe the necklace is a moon necklace. Since things are really bad right now, it became the skull again. It got smaller. It shrinks with her mood. <laughs> I, I'm gonna go try and calm Naomi down. Stay here and finish cleaning, okay? <laughs> Ending 1.5, perfect life, perfect aim. Oh, God. <laughs> perfect life, perfect aim. Naomi's gonna get a higher score. <laughs> Nazar nods and takes up the broom Naomi set aside, distracting himself by sweeping up the rest of the trash on the floor. Easy part done. Get somebody else to take care of my cleaning duties. Done. <laughs> I take a calming sigh and walk out the door and the, to the wailing idiot trying to wake up the whole neighborhood. Aw, oh, God. I wonder what the parents are doing, because they gotta see, have seen and heard that. I don't give a fuck about who's crying on my yard! So, you, uh, you okay? Look at the size of their fucking house, by the way. Oh, it's like she's sobbing. Naomi doesn't reply. She only keeps crying like her whole world's falling apart. Naomi? What the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> Hold on. She's so fucking bad at this. The fuck is wrong with you? Just get over it. <laughs> Have you ever tried not feeling sad? Got got sad music going. Aw, oh, now this is making this worse. <laughs> Such a sad scene. Somehow her sobbing gets even louder to the point where I feel my ears start to ring. Any louder and she's going to give me tinnitus. Can, can you guys hear the music? Yeah. I'll also ask you chat too. I feel, I feel like it's well, I don't care what chat can hear. <laughs> I'm sorry, chat. I love you. <laughs> the pairs decided to break into the liquor cabinet and early. Uh, they're already out. They don't care about this. Yumi, get a fucking grip. <laughs> Naomi finally looks up to me with a tear stained face. Oh, hey, the necklace is back. He wanted. He wants to take a break. Almost want to slap the bitch. I mean, it worked with Naoser, uh, Naser on and on. Again, she's putting on all the waterworks because Nazar wants some time away from her. And Naomi, who had been standing lying on her knees up to this point, scowls at me with a face full of fire and fury before rising to her feet. Making the stupidest face I've ever seen. <laughs> what do you mean, and? Nazar and I are the perfect couple! Yeah, Gexorus, like, you just don't want to see any of the characters sad or crying. Like, you, you go through so much, you just don't want to see anything bad happen to them. And I'm the perfect girlfriend! We're supposed to have the perfect life together! Why does he want us to take a break in our relationship? Naomi buries her face in her hands and sits on the curbside. Uh, thankfully, she doesn't burst into more wails, which is at least an improvement. Well, ju just to say, uh... In this pose, that, that tail is pr pretty thick, though. That's a pretty thick tail. But uh, then this angle, it doesn't look too thick. It's just the way it's tilted. Schrodinger's tail. Shit. Why am I the one who has to fix this mess? I'm probably the least qualified person when it comes to relationships. Still... It's not like Nazar's going to be any better at this. Now, now Fang knows well, how. It, yeah, now she knows how Anon felt through the game. Fuck. Guess it really does come down to me. Sit down next to Naomi on the curb. Oh. My presence makes uh, her tense. Oh. I do like that. The, yeah. the tears are very, oh, very... She, she's so sad. Oh. 
It's also kind of funny because you remember the ending of the date night where you were standing, where Anon and Nazar were standing out on the curb talking about their problems. Yeah, and, and now it's the well, girl. Yeah. It's cute. Poor Naomi. That's a very sad face. Oh, God. My presence makes her tense up, which also results in her shutting off the waterworks to at least appear a bit more dignified. Surprise, sad CG. Mm. Oh, Razor wants to take a break. Big fucking whoop. Wonder how she'll react when the choice selection pops up. <laughs> Fakes only sees one non had to go through the whole time. A big fucking whoop! At the end of the world, it just means you two have some things to think about. I know my words are directed at Naomi, but a part of me can't help but feel they're also applicable to me. And after all, I'm still trying to figure out what's really going to happen between Anon and myself. What is there to think about? Nasser and I were supposed to be together! I was going to take care of him every day! Cook dinner, clean the desk, romantic nights out, children running around the house! What am I going to do now? I already told my parents I'm moving out! Where do I go? What do I even do? Oh, she, she really did have all of her hopes and dreams flushed away. Oh, God. Schedule! I find myself scowling at Naomi's words. So, this is what all this shit's about? Your perfect little plan falling apart before your eyes? You haven't really changed in the last year. No. <clears throat> no. Naomi's head snaps at me, her eyes baleful and tearing as she glares daggers at me. Excuse me? What's that supposed to mean? You heard me. Me and you were, are, and if you keep this up, will be a total fucking bitch till the day your ass turns back into dust. Naomi's brow furrows. She grits her teeth so tightly that for a second, I think she's going to make her gums bleed. Fuck you, you discount brand guitarist! <laughs> Oof. <laughs> this is like her trying to swear. It's it, it, oh. it would be adorable if this wasn't so such a sad scene. Insult me all you want, you know I'm right. Nazar and I are absolutely perfect for each other, not like with you and the add-on. This asshole, he's lucky I don't have anything blunt I can use to beat the shit out of her. Hmm. Cross my arms and give Naomi a flat look. Perfect for one another? I'm not the one with a broken relationship after a single fucking night. Me and Anon, yeah, we fight, but we always come out of it stronger. We're taking a break, but that doesn't mean our relationship's over. Unlike yours. At first, Naomi gives me a look of absolute rage. Her hands curl into fists and her face turns a bright red. That expression doesn't last long as her eyes again fill with tears and her shoulders slump. Why? Why what? Why talk to me? If you hate me this much, why are you wasting your breath even acknowledging my existence? You're really gonna rise about kicking me out while I'm at my lowest, don't you? Do you want to hit me again like you did before prom? offering because I can oblige. I give Naomi a smug grin and attempt to lighten the mood a bit, but my attempt at humor goes completely unnoticed. She only stares at me with absolute contempt. Naturally, I glare right back at the bitch. Still, seeing Naomi like she is now, part of me can't help but pity her. At the back of my mind, I remember a certain memory. One that I'll always treasure. All that matters is her. I sigh and let all my anger fade away. 
when, when did he say that? Ah, I'm trying to. I know, Anon has a lot of lines. I could imagine it saying at any point. I mean, I, it feels like it would be... I mean, a line like that sounds like it would almost be like in ending three when the whole, you know, confrontation at prom happened. Because I, cause I think he says, so, he says something kind of like that, you know, telling Trish and Rosa and Stella off, like, you know, nothing matters. Only Yeah. Only. All that matters is her. I mean, she wasn't even, I mean, she, uh, technically she wouldn't be there for that then. I feel he like mumbled. he says that in every ending, because I'm kind of thinking in ending one, where he's going up the stairs and... Oh, like, oh, I guess it's just like he he realizes he, it earlier in like ending four. Yeah, I, I guess it's, it's something he says in every ending, which is kind of adorable. Anon mumbled it when Fang discovers her special song. Oh, so when... Oh, when he's consoling her in the bedroom after she's having her breakdown. Oh, wow. Since I sigh and let all my anger fade away. Anger isn't going to do anything right now. I'm not here to kick your ass, even if you deserve it beating. I just... I look towards the window and see Nazar still sweeping, his shoulders hunched and wings drooped. Damn it. Nazar's kicking himself over this. You know the kind of guy he is. At least you should, anyway. But, but, but. He worries. He always worries. Constantly, Nazar can't help himself. It's like my words are stabbing Naomi in the heart as she tries to shrink more and more. I think it's how he shows he cares. He's willing to take everyone's issues and ignore his own. I... But he said... He said he wanted to take a break, just like you and Anon. You had to put him up to this. You... You... You homewrecker! We didn't even have a home yet, and you've already wrecked it! <laughs> Can't help but roll my eyes at her words. God, you're so fucking stupid. No, I didn't put him up to this shit. Hell, I didn't even tell him that Anna and I went on break. Nazar, did you actually tell him how you set me and Anna up from the very start? Dumb bitch blanches at that. Nailed it. That's another thing about my brother, you know. He can be stupidly dense. He probably didn't even know you were trying to move in with him. How do you know? Ha, called it. <laughs> you and your stupid plans. Would it kill you to just, I don't fucking know, tell someone? Naomi sags and whimpers. I was going to move in with him. Go to the same college and graduate together. We would have had a perfect life together. Facepalm at her words. Perfect this, perfect that. I can't fucking stand Naomi's bullshit anymore. I stand up for once and for once look down at the salmon-toned asshole. Uh, not alliterative, but it's it's okay. I don't want to see her salmon-toned asshole. For fuck's <laughs> sake, get over yourself. You're not perfect. Excuse me? Naomi stands up, her previous sadness supplanted by anger. You know that I've dedicated my whole life to being as perfect as I can be! That's complete bullshit, and you know it. Before you and my brother started bumping uglies, you were just some neck nerdy, meek nerdy bitch. Mostly harmless. But then you became whatever the fuck this is. I motioned to her whole being. You became a bossy, 
Mesh Levillian, perfect fit, perfectionist bitch with plans on top of plans like you're some kind of fucking 5D chess master. You never actually cared about Nazar in the first place, did you? You only wanted him for the prestige it would bring you. Oh. Ow! I can feel a searing heat on my cheek. <laughs> Return the favor. Surprised she had it in her. Uh, I'm surprised they didn't do a, a, a counter CG of that with yeah. Fang holding her face after being slapped. Naomi isn't looking me in the eyes, but she's huffing as she cradles her hand to her chest. I love Nazar! He actually cared about a useless girl like me, so I had to become his perfect girlfriend! I rub my cheek and do my best to keep my temper under control. Though I want to, jumping on top of the bitch and beating the shit out of her is not the answer right now. Does a perfect girlfriend intentionally try to secretly manipulate her boyfriend's family without even telling him? Naomi's breath hitches. I guess Faye chose the bad option. We're locked in ending at 1.5 now. <laughs> Do you think Nasser would react to finding out what you did? <laughs> Naomi shuts her mouth as fast as she opens it. Probably wouldn't like it, would he? Aaron Fuckwingham was way too protective of my retarded ass to approve. I don't get that joke. And he clearly did care about Aaron Fuckwingham. I think it's just a, a stupid a name. A Aaron Fuckwingham was way too protective of my retarded ass to approve. It's gotta be something. And he clearly did care about you, too. He wasn't even that you didn't care to know how Nazar felt. You do, and actively disregarded that information. Shut up! No way, I'm... I know already! Dumb bitch shifts her head to the side, trying to hide her eyes. Please, could you just let me grovel here? Naomi's words are coming out haphazardly clear that she's having a hard time forming thoughts. She's already pretty fucked up, but she needs to hear what comes next, even if it hurts her. You know what your fucking problem is, Naomi? You've stayed stuck in your own little world with your own little plans, thinking that everything you do is always going to turn out exactly like you planned. Well, guess what? The world doesn't revolve around you. Naomi raises an eyebrow at me at first. Then she grimaces before fixing me with a look that I can only describe as disgust. Yet as the seconds tick by, Naomi's expression changes. Her grimace slowly vanishes, placed instead with a thousand yard stare. You're... You're right. I haven't changed one bit. He grabs hold of her head and once more falls on her knees. Ever since I... I stopped being a meek, nerdy girl, I became obsessed with perfection. To the point that I wound up becoming some kind of Coral Castellan. I know she's doing it. And then I work hard to get there. Yes. Should I have worked so hard that it, where it, led, to, that it led to where I am today? I, I don't know anymore. All I know is that, aside from your brother, nothing's ever really made me happy. Aww. Nothing. Against my better judgment, I kneel next to Yomi and put a hand on her shoulder. Hey, just because you're a manipulative fucking bitch doesn't mean that you haven't done some good. I mean, you did bring me and Anna together. Also, you did make my brother happy, even if it was under your authoritarian thumb. I kinda feel sick saying that. I shouldn't be praising her manipulative bitchiness, but I can't deny that Nasser was genuinely happy with being with Naomi. But then what changed? 
Yeah, I, I, the... Because if he doesn't know that Fang and Anon are taking a break... I guess maybe he maybe is he just does. really he fucking does dense. He know that, because he, he said that. He like said... Maybe like maybe doing it. Oh, because maybe he's just, he's taking from their example. Like, yeah, but I thought then Fang said that they... he didn't tell N Nazar. So who told Nazar? I assume Anon. Then, I mean, I, I, yeah. I think Anon kept intact with everybody. Yeah. Either that, or maybe it's just a case of Nazar not knowing his words. It's like, oh, they're doing a long distance. That's to call a break, right? Because you break the no. distance. <laughs> Surely he's not that bad. <laughs> we never know. Even if most of that happiness was a side effect and not a direct result of a healthy relationship. Maybe... Maybe a break is what you two need now more than ever. Time, to, time away to think. Time away to contemplate what the two of you really mean for each other. Time to really figure out what the two of you mean to each other. Once again, through my words are meant for Naomi, a part of me can't shake the feeling that they're applicable to me as well. Really think so? I shrug my shoulders. I don't fucking know. Maybe this breaks what the two of you really need to start a new phase of your relationship. Or maybe this is it, and maybe you two will go your separate ways. I almost feel myself tearing up as I say those words. I don't want to admit it, but a part of me fears that my words may turn out to be prophetic in regards to Anon and myself. Naomi is eerily quiet as she absorbs my words. I keep my hand on her shoulder. I'm not entirely sure why, though. Maybe it's a sign of support? fuck did I know? Still, being there for Naomi, even if most of us still hated the bitch, felt good. So, what? What am I supposed to do now? The question really struck me harder than it should have. What was next? I don't know any proper answer. But the one thing I can do is try to bury this hatchet with Naomi once and for all. So I spoke with Naomi. Really spoke to her. For the first time, we talked on some common ground. Even though both of our voices were already dry, we just kept letting it out for hours. Every insult and begrudging compliment we'd ever thought of each other was put out to air. When we ran out of words, we just lay in silence. I nearly drift off to sleep on the sidewalk when a car pulls up in front of us. Oh, Naomi must have called a taxi. I crank one eyelid open and see Naomi hesitantly move to get, moving to get in the back seat. She stops with her hand on the handle. Bang! just me being deliriously exhausted, but I I enjoyed this talk we had. You better. Not every day I pour out my soul to everyone that isn't Anon. Naomi actually laughs at my humor this time. Progress. Maybe yeah, might not be so bad sometimes. She goes quiet. Before she can muddy up her thoughts with something else, she gets in the taxi. See you around! She shuts the door before I can say anything and is gone within seconds. Yeah, I could probably hang around with Naomi again. Oh, do they become roommates? That's what I thought this whole thing was leading. Because uh, she said she told her, he told her parents she's moving out. Yeah, they seemed pretty close in the the ending, flash ending forward. Four. Yeah. yeah. Time skip, whatever you want to call it. I need to get up from this curb. A few of my feathers have bent and gotten stuck to the concrete from being pressed into it for so long. 
The door was still unlocked, luckily. <laughs> I mean, if they're just out front, you could clearly see your daughter is talking to your son's ex-girlfriend. Why would you lock the door? Good thing I don't live in Skin Row. My place would probably be down to the foundations by now. Dragging myself up the stairs, I remember Naomi and Nazar didn't really even get to say goodbye. Oh, she got to talk to Nasser now? She took it about as well as I expected. Judging by the loud music coming from his room, he's still upset. He'll probably stop crying by the time he's leaving in a few days. He's just playing the backing song from Stan on loop. How could this happen to me? Made my mistakes! Got nowhere to run! Sigh into my pillow. This shit is definitely not my style. When I turn over to the cool side of my pillow, my fingertips brush against the corner of my phone. A break. Before I can think otherwise, my fingers tap the number I've memorized by heart. It takes a few seconds, but the screen changes to display Anon's tired face, barely lit by his shitty phone screen. Lucy? <laughs> Lucy? It's three in the morning. I know, but... Uh, you okay? Yeah, I just wanted to see you. Hmm. And I'm, I know we're on break. But I wanted to see you. You mean, like, visit? I think this is roommate. Uh, oh. Uh oh. Oh, shut the fuck up, I'm trying to sleep. God damn it. If I could, I would. When's your next break? What? When is your next break? Uh, a couple months. July, I think. A big break. It's like a whole fucking summer of break. <laughs> Text me the date. Yeah, sure, but why? I'll buy the ticket in the morning. If you can't come see me, then I'll just visit. Anon, I swear to God. Eat a plate of penises, you copper prick! What? what? <laughs> <laughs> just look at that, look at that neck vein bulge. God, he <laughs> pissed. I can see his face start to turn pink. You don't interrupt a man when he's talking to his tarot. All right, yeah, I'll give you the date and address. You better. I guess I gotta go now. Good night, Anna. And don't bring your guitar. Night, Lucy. Instead, bring your science book. She might not even be taking a science class, though. Study. My screen fades to black and drops back onto my. And it, <clears throat> my screen fades to black and drops down onto my sheets. I love you. It's just a break after all. Oh. Yeah, see, they have really sudden cuts on this one. That was really fucking sweet. I, I really like the attention given to you. Why? Nazar, why? Yeah, Nazar, why? This is things that needs answerings. Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, also it's interesting just to see like why. So we we know obviously they don't get together, but it does seem like did Naomi reflect on it and kind of realize? Oh wait, hold on. Yeah, of the two of them, uh. I, Fang had it on the money. Yeah, th the there was nothing. Down. I mean, I guess yeah, Nazar's a generally awesome guy, so there's something there. But like, there was no like love with, for, for on, like no reason for Naomi to love Nazar. She just loved that Nazar asked her out. Uh, I mean, she I does love. I mean, she certainly. I think she definitely love. I think. She knew who Nazar was before she got that yeah. note, so I assume she must have loved Nazar for his athletics or his uh, his strength, his popularity, stuff like that. But I don't know. It's 
I, I, I thought it was I thought it was just generally a case of Nazar one, he sees that Anon and uh, Fang are doing it, and he kind of thinks like, okay, maybe that's a good idea. I'm going off to college. Maybe I can use some time to find myself. Or maybe, you know, uh, Nazar wasn't quite expecting this relationship to go on forever, you know, or maybe Nazar wants yeah. to. Yeah. Well, no, but then again, it, Naomi, you know, she's like, oh, I, I, I was going to move in with him. We were going to do all this. Bless you, by the way. We were going to do all this, you know, stuff. And it's like, did you, did you tell him any of those? <clears throat> You know, did you yeah. actually speak to him about these plans, or did you just assume they were going to work out? What she's called what out I for later, that she makes plans and expects everything to just go peachy keen. About all your little plans, you know, the thing is that everybody is okay with the most horrible things that can happen, as long as they're going to plan. What? What is that, Joker. <laughs> yeah, he's quoting the Joker. This... <laughs> If I, I tell you some gangbangers are gonna die, nobody pass an eye. If oh, I tell Lord. you one mayor is gonna die, everybody loses their minds. <laughs> Was this no, one that, of the Batmans or the Joker? It's the Dark, it's the dark Knight. It's the uh, Dark Knight Joker. I, I've not seen those movies. I have afraid. not seen that movie either, or the, or the third one. Uh, I mean, everyone knows uh, the third one purely because of Bane posting. Yeah. The actual movie is okay. Like I Bane think the, posting, yeah, okay. which is like is ten years. Ne- what Bane posting, which just hit its ten year anniversary. <laughs> it, it is kind of weird to consider that the single greatest contribution Dark Knight Rises gave is Bane posting. <laughs> Whereas I think Dark Knight is a legitimately good mu- movie from start to finish. I think Dark Knight Rises is just kind of okay. It certainly has memeable lines. Bane is definitely the highlight of the movie. I think oh, yeah, the- Dark Knight is also okay. I was also going to say one thing I was going to say on that. I do think it's like it was a really good conversation, but I'm surprised Naomi didn't like uh, Fang was calling out Naomi for mistreating Nazar or just generally the bad way she's been treating Nazar this whole time. I'm surprised Naomi didn't clap back with pointing out how uh, Fang calls her brother a retard every other sentence and just generally the bad nature of their relationship all the, all the school year. I, I mean, they did. I, I mean, I guess they probably have already went through that, seeing how the relationship improved. Yeah. Because it's like, yeah, you call out, oh, well, you've done all this terrible stuff to your brother, but it's like, yeah, but look at us now. We got over it. We talked. That issue is fixed. And also, we're siblings. We can kind of do whatever we want to each other. I guess he just got, Nazar just got freaked because Naomi was planning on moving in with him, and he had no plans for that before that moment. Well, also, it did seem also he, he had no idea she was going to move in, like... Like that, oh, yeah. we'll be together, like, you know, still, but I don't think he was aware of a, a, f- a move in sure commitment. He said he was thinking about that before that moment, though, so that wasn't the whole reason. I too Nazi. am surprised Naomi didn't let her have it, says E. Smith. I mean, I guess also. Hit. You gave her a one. She, he, she gave her a good solid revenge slap. Yeah. I, I guess maybe in calling her out for stuff, it's because she's just had a like a big emotional breakdown. So it is kind of like she's not going to be focusing on calling out Fang for stuff. She's trying to process, oh my god, my perfect boyfriend just dumped me and my perfect relationship is ruined and my entire life is crumbling right now. It reminds me of a character from Worm, which I'm just going to use as a segue to remind Shima to read Worm. I'm keeping it it in mind. It's on my to-do list, on my very, very, very long read to-do list and a watch list. Hmm. Speaking of watch list, we might watch a movie tomorrow or something. Muppet, oh, yeah. Muppet Christmas Carol. Muppet Christmas Carol. Now, like... We will get to Muppet Christmas Carol and you will be invited. Muppet but Christmas not... Carol! Not tomorrow, but before Christmas. I could definitely do with uh, watching a movie tomorrow. I don't think I have any other plans planned. Right. Plans planned. We will we tell watch... you when we watch Muppet Christmas Carol. You're not. I'm going to miss it. No, we're gonna, not gonna, gonna, gonna miss it. Just, just stream Everyone's it in the know. just stream it in this Discord so we he'll see it. That's a good yeah. That, I, I'm looking forward to that. I haven't seen the full movie in a long time. I hear song. I, I re-listen to just individual songs from it though all the time. But anyways, we got one right, last, one the final last, chapter, the last of the very, Snoot. The very last slice of Snoot. The end of Snoot Vangelion. I'm not ready. Oh, God, I can't believe this is almost over. 
I mean, I still got my whole first playthrough to, uh, to, to, uh, upload still. So, I mean, there'll be Snoop content coming still, but it won't be new stuff unless you consider my first blind reaction to everything new content. As you are now Rainbow. Yeah. Statement. My current designation is Rainbow. I was manufactured in a factory in the year 201M2020. It is currently 201M2027, and I am playing with my current owner. Oh, so this is at the time skip. This is like after another time skip. This is a two yeah, years after the future. Time skip. Yeah, so the future. two years after ending four, I think. Yeah. One or two years. Yeah, two years after ending four, if I remember correctly. That's it. Look at him. <laughs> Look at this little guy. Where's the railgun? I think it's still on top, or it's been replaced or removed, or it's just a limp. For the first months of my life, I was carried around the bag of a somewhat suspicious salesman. All right, so this sounds like a. Uh, this is just gonna be a. Uh, like like an epilogue sort of deal. Yeah, which I don't. I. A lot of people complained about the Harry Potter epilogue because it overexplains and tells you too much. I might end up feeling that way about this. We will see. Will we? Will you miss Snoot Game? Snoot Game's always gonna be. I mean, I will miss the new content. But there's art, there's stories. I mean, I haven't really gone around to reading any, but there's 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 stuff. And then there's the mods; those would be interesting. But I will because honestly miss streaming it. For this game that yeah. you do. Yeah, but I I will honestly I will miss streaming it, just because this has been pretty great. The it's all right. Eight it's streams. A stream. I'll give you that. Eight streams. This has been a great two months of stream. No. I very, I've been very invested in the story. I'm going to be sad to see it go. No, see, I just, I, mean, I, I like the stream. And I'm not attached to the game the way you are. <laughs> I'll definitely download the game, I would say. But to be clear, I'm not saying it's a bad game at all. It's a very, very well-written story. Holy shit. I just don't have the attachment that you have. Well, I, I will admit, I attach hard to things when I get attached. Like you know, it, it, you know, it's like a romantic card. You know, it it just falls hard whenever it it falls. Yeah, everybody, be sure to celebrate by following Kaz on Twitter. <laughs> oh, that's right, he has a Twitter now. Yes, I got I got a Twitter. So, cause yeah, after the this, my streams will be pretty much on Twitch. So you can follow you can follow the Twitch or follow the Twitter to get the notifications or for when I make other stuff. Cause I I'm starting to get in a more creative mood. At twitch.tv slash Cazard? Yes. But <laughs> we, we, we can do twitch.tv slash Cazard. What feeling is that? Uh, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, sir. Have you not heard about the latest sensation that's sweeping the nation? Twitch.tv slash Cazard? Uh, 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 no. Again, well, it's over there. Twitch.tv slash Cazard. Oh, Cazard. Social media hard. Oh, Cazard. Oh, Social media hard. <laughs> All right, we, we can do the shilling I, I, a, a, after the chapter. Yeah. But also, you know, I mean, if you're if you're gonna if you're gonna shill, at least mention the Snoot emotes I got on Twitch, where you can put Snoot all over Twitch. Whoa, Snoot I, emotes! I, you got Snoot emotes on Twitch.tv slash Kazard? If you subscribe to Kazard, then you can Snoot all over Twitch. I, you do it. Snoot you, all over his Kazard. You thing. don't even need would, to subscribe. You can do it for free just by watching and using channel points. Or free. I replied to your post, by the way. What? You, you, I don't even think Kazard will know how to see a reply to the tweet. Oh, you responded to the tweet? Yeah, I responded to the tweet. Oh, shit. Vigil has a Twitter. Ah. I don't use it for anything except... I have... I have, <laughs> I have... I have three Twitters. Me and my two regular things. followers who always like my posts. <laughs> I'm glad you liked. I, <laughs> I, I, I have three Twitters, but I don't feel like using any. I'm going to have to make a fourth one for following you because the three Twitters are for very different I, I only use Twitter for following the guy who does x -Wad. And even then, it's kind of a legacy thing because I was just waiting to see when he was releasing the new one, and it's out. And I was in it. And you were in it. Uh -huh. oh, that's right. I forgot about that. That was really cool. Oh, yeah. Well, your posts from TG got in. Yeah, that was cool. You're that asshole on 4chan. I am that asshole on 4chan, yes. God, what an accomplishment. You're forever immortalized. That's me, Gary, I'm on! <laughs> <laughs>
docking points from Rain, but seen for not using Metal Gear music. Uh, that would be just high intense, intense music for just a little tiny vacuum. It should have been playing Snake Eater. This <laughs> is Snoop Good Eater. My original purpose was to clean cellular device screens. Current circumstances have made it so that my purpose is so much more. Analysis. Current situation is unprecedented. Cleaning cannot be achieved. Purpose remains inconclusive at best, radically altered at worst. Conclusion. Must reanalyze memory banks to assert, ascertain the reason for current circumstances. Stand by as memory is reviewed. Reviewing in three, two, one. Oh. Current day. Current day. Friday. Current time. Unknown. Current location. Unknown. Uh, I think this. Is, I think this is the uh, the uh, Xavier uh, Renegade Angel voice. Oh, I assumed it was. It's probably it's Anon. But here, uh, for now, let's just assume it's Xavier. Here, let me show you. It's brushing majesty. Ah, uh, yep. Oh, it is. Observation. I am pulled from the darkness and placed on a brightly lit surface. My sensors indicate that this unit is currently being displayed for a potential sale. Analysis. Potential buyer appears plain. Nonetheless, this unit must execute its functions as programmed. Wow, what an opinionated Roomba. Yeah. Alright, you gotta head off to bed, Lamau. Alright, have a good night, man. And yeah, this file will always be around to check. Have a good night, Lamau. Execute. Lamau bros. Execute. Standard screen size dot exe. Executing task. Executing task. Task complete. I just use my shirt, though. Observation. This unit has not performed up to the standards set by the manufacturer. Must double efforts. Aw, oh, he's trying so hard. Executing task. Executing task. Task complete. Analysis. Sensors indicate that potential buyer remains unimpressed. Probability of this unit's purchase has now dropped to below 50%. No. Alert. Confirmation of sale. This unit has been successfully purchased. Changing designation of potential buyer to current owner. This is a really smart Roomba. Yeah. <laughs> Very well. The contest is yours along with this trinket. He has a lot of buttons on his shirt. He also has a snake on him. Wait, was that his arm? Yes. What's yes. his arm? It, it, I it, thought it, it was it, like it, a Mr. Hat thing. No, oh, it is a Mr. Hat thing, but it was it was parroting Xavier Renegade Angel from the uh, from the Adult Swim show. He was basically wearing. A I've only bag. seen a couple clips of that. It's a trippy show. I feel like that's most people. They've just seen clips, but never that. Does the show even exist? It, 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 game it. theory coming out with the. Am I the only person that remembers Xavier Renegade Angel? <laughs> It is a it's it's a hard show to marathon. I can give it that much. Uh, it's yeah, definitely no, it, 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 I, fucking it hard. I did it, and it was. <laughs> <laughs> they all blend together after a while. Is it trippier than Aqua Teen? Yeah, oh, 100 percent. It's yes. Uh, Aqua Teen has follow. like Aqua Teen has a plot. Cohesion. Xavier Angel. Xavier Angel makes you feel like it has a plot, but it doesn't. <laughs> it, it, it it's about feeling a plot. Whereas, whereas the Aqua Team, you can actually just follow a story. Also, Carl's in this game. Speaking was, of Aqua Team. How is Carl in the game? He's, he, a teacher he, he, in he's, the game. he's just here as a math teacher. I mean, is like his voice actor? or? Oh, oh no, like a guy. They, 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 they used Carl in the arts. They just straight up drew Carl as the teacher. <laughs> Someone post that in VC Context. I have to see this teacher now. Yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll put it in after. Good night, and let Fang Cuddles be tight. Yes, have some good snoot dreams, Lamau. Observation inconclusive. This memory file does not provide information necessary. Conclusion.
Continued review of memory banks required. Memory review starting in 3, 2, 1. Current day, Sunday. Current date, February 16th, 201 M 2020. Current location, owner's domicile. Statement. Current owner has fixed has finished external modification to chassis. Uh I think that does it. Now you just need a real name. Observation. Visual sensor partially obscured. Current owner does not seem to realize this. I could give you a proper angry name. It'd fit with your new color scheme. Observation. Current owner seems to vocalize his thoughts. Ah, they aren't really a thing anymore. Hmm. Observation. Current owner is examining a large collection of disc cases. This is the first time he has done so. Really, this is the first time he's gone through his game collection? Uh. Oh! How about Rainbow? Since you do have that railgun now. Execute. This unit's designation is now Rainbow. Uh, like he's, it looks like he's got battle scars now when we flash back to the future after seeing the old one. It, it figures that Xavier Renegade Angel would have a Roomba with, like, true AI. <laughs> a, a pretty true AI. <laughs> like, like a straight-up <laughs> robot <laughs> plays just a vacuum. It's just, that just seems like... that You're right, that does seem like an... That's insane. literally just the plot to Wally, though, isn't it? <laughs> it turns I out know. that the cleaning robot has a soul. Observation conclusion. Current owner has a strange fondness for inanimate objects. I feel called out. Notation made. Continuing memory review. Three, two, one. Current day, Monday. Current date, March 2nd, 201 M, 2020. Current location, owner's domicile. Observation. This unit has been operating on this surface for weeks now. This unit wishes to clean other surfaces. Oh. <laughs> the lock to the door starts jingling open. There are people outside. Observation. Owner does not return home at this hour. Conclusion. Mysterious person designated as Carl Dewiski is coming in to raid the fridge again. <laughs> Wait. What? Wait. Oh, there it is. Has Carl just been raiding a nun's fridge while he's not home? What the fuck? Does he live in the building? Because, I mean, it, it, it's implied skin row. Oh, maybe. Either, either that or Carl just like, oh, oh my student's not going to be here. He's at school at this time. I got free access. But he should be at school. Punished Rainbow, a machine denied his function. Oh. A machine, a machine denied his function. Owner enters with another person. Owner appears to be in distress. Consideration. Execute potential malware labeled rulesofnature.exe. <laughs> the other person takes notice of my presence. Is that the phone Roomba you bought a while back? You actually kept that thing? Observation. Second person is recognized. They were with the current owner when this unit was purchased. Uh, yeah. C can you go ahead and feed him for me? With this box of cornflakes? Yeah, two or three will do. This is some Kingdom Hearts shit. Because you believe he has a heart, he has a heart. He gets a heart. <laughs> Observation. Oh, sorry, I, I. You haven't played Kingdom Hearts three yet, have you, Kaz? I mean, was that just a Toy Story thing? Uh, no, it was like a it's, Kingdom Hearts thing. King, I mean, technically, that was revealed in what? Dream Drop Distance. Uh, I have yeah, that, but I also haven't played it. it. So it's not, I feel it's like not it's something that's a lot of information in Kingdom Hearts 3. It's just used a lot in Kingdom Hearts 3. Like, uh, you could say that something not that shouldn't have a soul gaining a soul is a thing as early as at least Kingdom Hearts 2 with Tron. Or Pinocchio. Yeah. 
Or Pinocchio. Pinocchio is a perfect example. That goes all yeah, the way back. Yeah, true. Um, and oh, I mean, another spam bot. Some of the some of the nobodies in Kingdom Hearts Two arguably gained hearts by the time they died. I thought the whole thing was that it was, that, that they were lied about and that they can that, that they do have hearts or something. Oh, they they pretend to have feelings because they remember what it's like to have feelings, so they're just trying to chase that high of having feelings by uh, acting like they have feelings. Uh, but I think that's called out, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, so I think like Axel, for example, absolutely had a heart by the first time he died. Um, that's another series I need to play through again. It's, yeah, he. But that's the whole thing is that if you believe they have a heart, then they the heart just sort of slowly grows within them. So a lot of the nobodies ended up having hearts. Man, why why don't they do that at hospitals? And, and then Axel and then Axel gets to reunite with his original heart somehow, and then that means yeah. that Axel's second heart went off and became a heartless. So Kingdom Hearts is a little hard to follow if you think you're <laughs> too hard. I, I like to describe. There's a thing I like to describe Kingdom Hearts. It's not a story you think about with your head. Kingdom Hearts is a story you well, feel about with your yeah, heart. The real Kingdom Hearts is the friends we made along the way. Ninety percent of Kingdom Hearts makes sense if you accept that. The power of waking is literally the power of visual metaphor. If basically, if uh, you uh, can I, 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 I don't want to get a way for it to make sense. It suddenly is possible. Uh, okay, I don't want to get too deep into Kingdom Hearts. I don't want. I, I I have avoided spoilers for Kingdom Hearts three. That's good. That, that that's impressive because they've been all over the place. I won't spoil any further then, but get on that shit. I'm I'm. I mean, I still need to get a PlayStation 4 at some it's, point. No, don't you have it? You heard they're all on they're all on Switch now. You can play it streaming style. Yeah, as a stream. That's that not. I, I I can't stream if I'm if I'm streaming the game to my Switch. That's not going to work to also stream it for God, for like to play it. Too bad, bitch. That's all they're willing to give. Well, I'll just buy a PS4 then. Let's continue the game while I go yeah. to bed. Observation: Second person has dropped some common toasted flakes into my designated cleaning area. Initiating subroutine mealtime.exe. <laughs> oh, I like that. That's cute. You're such a dweeb, Anon. Observation conclusion. Second person designated Fang is of great importance to the current owner. Notation made. Continuing memory review in three. Two, one. Current day, Thursday. Current date, December 24th, 201 M 2020. Current location, owner's domicile. Observation, owner returns home holding a large number of foreign objects. Fang follows close behind him. One, sub one such object he lays out on the floor. See? It really ties the room together. Think that was the most animated cutscene in this entire game? What about the tail scene? Don't, you can't forget the tail now. Owner has opened another of the boxes he brought in, laid the contents on top. Observation. Is a cleaning unit similar to mine? but on a larger scale. Oh no. Surely it is unable to be as precise as this unit. <laughs> hey, who coded jealousy into a robot? That sounds like a poor thing to do. Maybe you're running game, Angel. Hey, Ramba! A friend of ours got you a friend! Let's call it Mark II. Message from new unit. Inquiry to leadership. Confirmed. Response to new unit designated Mark II. Fast forwarding memory segment. Messages continue for several minutes uninterrupted. Resuming memory playback. Response. Sister unit Mark II looks to be of older make. Suggestion. Sister unit Mark II should be sent in for immediate dismantlement. <laughs> Ah, Rainbow is Rainbow's fucking brutal. <laughs> Message from Mark II. Unit Rainbow is of inferior mate. Suggestion. Sister Unit Rainbow should be disposed of. Uh, they're just typical internet. Kill yourself. 
Observation. Owner and Fang seem to be moving on the designated recharge station together. <laughs> <laughs> Message from Mark II. Unit Rainbow will not want to observe this. Suggestion. Enter sleep mode for the next hour. <laughs> Response. This unit does not seem to. Observation. Current owner and Fang seem to be discarding chassis. Chassis. Perhaps they are undergoing... Initiating sleep mode. <laughs> <laughs> Robots. Hydra Virgin Eyes Rainbow. <laughs> Man, Rainbow seen some shit. Observation conclusion. <laughs> Scrubbing memory file. Deemed necessary. <laughs> memory file cannot be scrubbed due to association with Unit Mark II. I can clean every surface except my eyes. Continuing memory review in three, two, one. I, I I like the visual effect, making it seem like an actual like computer cutout as it's like shifting to a new file or yeah. something. Current day, Monday. Current date, January fourth, two oh one M twenty twenty one. Current location, unknown. Why are we watching the memories of a Roomba? Cause this is what they chose to end the game with. It's the epilogue. It, yeah, it's, it's, the epilogue. it's the epilogue memory uh, run through. <laughs> the tragedy of the Roomba. It can clean everything but itself. <laughs> Observation. Owner has taken me and my designated cleaning area to an unknown location an estimated five miles away from his domicile. It's got GPS. This seems to be where Fang resides. Sure he gets fed. You don't want him to shoot you. I will, Anon. Mark II and Rainbow will be just fine. Sheesh, you almost treat them better than you do me. <laughs> That's uh, how I feel about my dad's cats. Observation. Current owner appears to be transferring ownership to Faye. We'll confirm with sister unit Mark II. Further observation. Current owner and Fang seem to be leaking fluid from their visual sensors. May require maintenance. Sending comment to the sister unit. Aww. Response from Mark II. Observation noted. Current owner and Fang are currently in need of repair. Conclusion. We'll ensure that this unit's new owner receives necessary repairs. <laughs> it sounds almost like a horror story in the, in the startings. Well, this is it. And on. Hey, it's only a few years. It's not like we won't talk. I know. And I know I said a break and all. Observation. Current owner and Fang appear to be attempting to clean each other's other's brushes units again. Initiating memory scrub. Oh. Message from Mark II. Analysis. Memory scrub not required at this time. Statement. Current owner and new owner are emotional at this time. Memory scrub cancelled. Analysis. Emotional not found. This unit lacks the capacity to define emotion. Well, that just got kind of heavy. Half of all anime suggests we should keep it that way. <laughs> Message from Mark II. Statement. Emotion cannot be defined by us. Yeah, these are vacuums. <laughs> like I said, it makes sense True. that Xavier Running and Angel would have a fucking imperfect AI in his, <laughs> his, his, his Roomba. <laughs> Ray, I have seen some shit. I do not know how to feel about that. Kingdom Hearts is your ultimate guilty pleasure. It's not a guilty pleasure for me. I love that game. Guilty? What do you mean guilty? <laughs> Honestly, I expected nothing <laughs> from Kingdom Hearts 3. I expected I, absolute garbage, and I got something of even slight quality, and that's fucking I, amazing. Should I link the vid with all of the really cringy Kingdom Hearts lines and then ask what the guilty part comes from? <laughs> that's not uh, guilty. That's uh, it, just it's a good point. It, uh, it, the robot was I'm jealous me. at the start. But I'm me. I'm me, he says. <laughs> but I'm you. 
<laughs> Observation conclusion. At that time, the concept of emotion was added to this unit's database. Emotion may be part of the answer. Memory review continuing in 3, 2, 1. Current day, Monday. Current date, March 2nd, 201 M 2021. Current location, owner's domicile. Observation. Current owner, designated Fang, has brought in a new guest to her domicile, which has changed three days prior. Owner's guest is an unknown variable, one this unit does not feel secure around. Unit cannot pinpoint reason for breach of security with ocular sensors due to the obscurity of the current location. This is highly unusual. We'll log into this unit's memory bank for later evaluation. Alright, that room right there is yours. We share a wall, so don't play any loud music at night. Oh, they did become roommates! They did become yeah. roommates, yay! Yeah. That worked out. I want to- Yay, hey, Nazar told me you're the one who does that! Yeah. No way, I never even listened to music. What? what? <laughs> no. Silly. You're silly. Owner's words noted for future review. Owner does listen to music. What's this on the box over here? Oh, pretty! Looks like a little robot! Hey, don't touch him. That's Rainbow. I'm keeping him safe for a while. Owner approaches box as well. Is Rainbow gonna shoot Naomi? <laughs> and he keeps me company. Verbal acknowledgement of this unit's superiority from owner forwarded to Mark II. <laughs> <laughs> so, so yeah, they, they definitely feel motion now. Oh, was this anons? I guess it's sort of cute. Repeating previous action. <laughs> <laughs> Response from Mark II. Sister, Yumba, Rain Sister Unit Rainbow is still kept in a suitable enclosure, unlike this unit. Well, these Roombas aren't that good at cleaning! I've already seen some dust bunnies in the corners that they can't reach! Yeah, yeah, whatever. They're, you're just jealous I have two Roombas. Observation. Unknown guest has left the room. Bitch. <laughs> Oh, now I want to see, like, a full route of just them being roommates. Guest like... designation confirmed. Oh, uh, no, no, guest designation oh. confirmed. <laughs> it's going to be bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Naomi doesn't deserve this, especially not from robots. <laughs> Observation oh. conclusion. Visual acknowledgement of this year's superiority from the previous owner and bitch. Sister Unit Mark II continues to be the inferior unit. It would make sense that Fang would keep Rainbow fully armed and operational. Yeah. Continuing memory review in 3, 2, 1. Current day, Sunday. Current date, July 20th, 201M, 2025. Current location, owner's domicile. Domicile has moved two years prior. Audio receptors hear owner approaching with guest. Although there might be a scratch or two on him, he's seen some shit. <laughs> oh wow! Hey little buddy! Voice recognized as prior owner. Aww. Aww. <laughs> Anon reaches down and delicately brushes against the top of my chassis. Yeah, it looks the same to me as always. What about the other one? Uh, she's in the living room. Still crazy after all this time, but it still works great. Disregarding unnecessary audio information. <laughs> I love crazy, this. I love time. Rainbow. Best uh, character. There's, a, there's the place in a little cup next to the box there. Anon drops several flakes into the designated cleaning area. Initiating subroutine mealtime.exe. <laughs> oh wow, he still loves his cornflakes. <clears throat> oh, 
Observation conclusion. Owner designated Anon seems to have undergone upgrades between transferal to Owner Fang. Compiling list of upgrades for further observation. Continuing memory review in 3, 2, 1. Current day, Monday. Current date, April 5th, 201 M, 2027. That's literally where we started. Current location, owner's domicile. It just starts looping through the memory reviews. Memory review complete. Conclusion. Inconclusive. This unit is still unable to find data to extrapolate an explanation for its current situation. Furthermore, this unit has come to find that an explanation is not needed either. Regardless, this unit shall continue to execute its new modified functions as set by owners. Observation. Optics obscured by newest owner. They appear to be holding a plastic imitation of a keyring. Conk. Aww, they have a Warning. Minor damage to chassis. Owner has struck the top carriage of this unit with some unknown plastic weapon. A key? Keyblade? Oh. Kingdom Hearts? Oh, no. oh my oh, god, no. it's full circle! It comes full circle, One, no. one world, one sky! Conk. <laughs> conk. Conk. <laughs> Simple oh, and clean? Vacuum? Oh my god! Oh my fucking god, no! Analyzing possible stratagems. Analysis complete. Executing evasive maneuvers. He's just drifting <laughs> lazily to the left. <laughs> Maneuver successful. Current location, beneath the drawer. <laughs> Observation. Owner has initiated an alarm function of some kind. <laughs> Message to Mark II. Inquiry. Unknown alarm from owner. Anon and Fang are currently executing functions elsewhere. Response from Mark II. Execute newest function installed by owner Fang. Returning to owner. Execute lullaby.exe. Let me turn this up a little. <laughs> I love how he's referring to crying as an alarm. Observation. Owner's alarm appears to be rescinded. Is this the... Is, oh, is this the Amber Light Brilliance? Is this the song they played at prom? I was actually thinking maybe it's the song they were playing during the uh, guitar scene in the first part of the game. Well, yeah, that's the build off of, of that song. Yeah. Well, then, yes, yeah, so that's probably what it is. Oh, that's sweet. Playing their song. As the lullaby. Sweetie, what's... Aww. Thanks, Rainbow. Good job. Owner is picked up slowly. Anon sits next to me and lowers a limb to make contact. Could always count on you. <laughs> Aww. He's a good boy. He's a good Roomba boy. Aww, oh, that's look what at her. looks like. Aww, she, okay, so that's actually not a bad Oh, that's kid. adorable. Oh, I love it. This also kind of, this basically what I thought the rules would be is that it basically. Oh, and it becomes the start menu too. It becomes too. a new title. Oh, oh that's <laughs> great. Oh, I love it. Perfect. End. All right, perfect end. That's super cute. I like. I like. It, it basically follows how I thought it was gonna go. Is if two cross species have a kid, it's gonna choose one gender. It's gonna well, choose. One oh wait! Oh, oh, this is. Oh, this is Amber. Oh, oh my God! They put Amber in the game. Oh, and, that's, wait. Uh, it, during wait, the and, during the sticky, people did. Uh, people summarized what would their kid look like, and they settled on Amber, which was basically a smaller fang. Oh, oh my God! Well, the, 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 the actually that putting Amber that missing. like a fan like that. In, oh my. That's very cute. 10 uh, out of 10 uh, game. 10 I out of 10. Shima, I think it's that because there seems to be some sort of distilled human DNA into the dinosaurs, that anytime a human reproduces with a dinosaur, it's just the dinosaur. That could also I'm, be it. Like, the human is a recessive trait. I'm, yeah. the, I, I, one of the theories was that the child in would just take after whichever parent, because, like, you see Nasser takes more after... Ripley and Fang after Samantha. So if it was a son, oh. it would be 
you know, more human. Or I think yeah, I think possibly. some people joked it would just be Sephiroth. I also like I also like on uh, is that Roomba Rainbow on the on the desk there taking a photo? Yeah, that's Rainbow with the. I wonder, can we? No, oh. that is super sweet. I love that gallery. There we go. Is that everything? Oh, we're still missing one or a, a, a few, oh, but that's no. probably from like ending one and stuff. Yeah, probably from the, uh, might have to do a quick playthrough on ending one again just to get all oh, here of them. we go. It looks like there's a few of them. Yeah, there we go. Full pit, yeah. Oh, that's so, oh, I, I love, that. Oh, I, I cannot wait for their next game. Because with the, <laughs> yeah, is... the, the right and the detail they put in, just fan stuff like this, just like yeah. a little nice well, I mean, bit of the, really to the really fandom. Good. That was, uh, yeah, that was a really sweet, I think that's like definitely the ending and like you should definitely do the bonus chapters after you complete all the endings. I mean, that's obvious because you can't unlock them until you do them all. Yeah. But it, but it, it definitely finishes off the game nicely. Like this is just this is the perfect. It was game. also just a, it, it was the perfect amount of epilogue. It didn't actually tell you that much, but it gave you a lot of emotion. That the, was really good. The song is end is from ending three at the piano. Ah. Oh, I like, I like that one too. It's a very cute song. I very much like, I, I I swear there are like bits and parts you can separate, you can take from different endings together, depending on how you mm. interpret some of these scenes. But I definitely really like how this ending came together in general. Yeah, it's the perfect place to end for no matter which one it goes to. And like you said, Higla, it, it was really kind of well paid. Like you just see like it's Rainbows, you know, when they bought them, but Fang meets them, and then it gets into oh when they s separated, we got that bit with Naomi when they come back together. Ah, uh, this it's just adorable. Look at it. I love it. It is super cute. I really, I do really, I, I, it's just a perfect end. This was, like I said, this was just a very, very easy game to get invested to. I really like the writing they did with all these characters. I really like the uh, development gone through on everyone's part. I really liked that, especially in this last playthrough in two, exactly. Like we got a lot of closure for everyone except Nazar. Nazar's the only guy who doesn't have the most amount of closure right now, yeah. but he wasn't well, the one who needed it the most. Like, I think Nazar, of all the fuck-ups up, fuck in this game, Nazar had his shit together the most. Yeah, except I mean... Except for Reed. The, Reed, the only... Reed definitely had a problem. Yeah. Reed, Reed, yeah, Reed's biggest problem is that he likes the wacky tobacco a little too much. <laughs> yeah, Na Na but Nazar got... He, he got his relationship with Fang, you know, back to normal. He He's off to medical school. He's doing good. Yeah, like all the like all the girls were extremely fucked up at the start of the game and needed the most closure from all of this. I really like how it came together. It's a really cute photo. Like, I just think it's, I, I, it's I also like that outfit nice for Fang. Photo. That's a, that's a nice yeah. outfit. Yeah, I think it's especially yeah. a nice touch how it replaces the original title screen, just kind of mm -hmm. let you know this is the end. This is where it all. I mean, this is a very good spot to end. Yeah. Does Anon <laughs> now have wings? No, that's just uh, that's Fang stretched, stretched around. Stretched. That'd be stupid. Wing hug. Ah oh, man. The Man, if, if you told me a few months ago that, like, game of the year, probably for a few years, would have been made by some just V, and not, some Anons from V, I, I probably wouldn't believe you. I mean, again, very, very, very good game. It's not game of the year. <laughs> I mean, writing-wise, it definitely blows everything else out of the water. Well, on that note, um, what are we doing next Tuesday? Uh, yeah. Now that it, this is before done, anyone, before it, anyone suggests Phoenix, right? I need a break from voice acting for just a little while. Longer, okay. Yeah. Just, you know, like I was expecting a break between Phoenix Wright two and Phoenix Wright three, and I pretty much went right into Snoot. So I was kind of feeling could use just yeah. a few. I, I, I wasn't. I, I thought they were gonna release it like I think they were like teasing November, but then just mid October, they're like, "Hey, patch six, enjoy." Well. If you uh, want to continue Tuesday being like a guest stream thing, um, I mean, yeah, you know, we, we can find something. We could just yeah, let me know if you want to find something. Yeah. I mean, I, I like I do like Tuesday. the idea of just having one day a week designated to just a group stream, and then of yeah. course my solo streams will continue on the other days. Yeah. yeah. Oh, man, it, it it just feels. It's weird. It's like I I could feel I'm gonna have that empty feeling of. Like, you know, Shima, you were talking about when we started of you finish something really good and you're like, it's over now. But it yeah, just it's ended it's so feeling. perfectly. I feel like it like it, I feel like it's, you're going to avoid like just going gosling over it. You're just it's like this was so satisfying. 
I, I, I really can't express. This is a really nice picture to end on. It just, it, it's sort of like to reiterate what Hinkle said. The epilogue just gave enough epilogue to give you hints of what's all going on. A general idea that things definitely ended up okay, but you know, definitely leaving a lot to the imagination to work with. Hmm. Yeah, it was a good. It was a very clever way to have the emotional finality without much information finality. Hilariously enough, it's from the the Rainbow. It was yeah. I just really fucking like that. The Rainbow did good. The Rainbow, I can always count on you, little buddy. Yeah. Uh, like remember, I if if, if a strange yeah, merchant just... offers you a phone room, but you take it. <laughs> All right. Um, if a strange renegade angel offers you a Rainbow, take it. Yeah. If you have ideas for what to do next Tuesday, just let me know and yeah. I can. I mean, do... I mean, we could just do Donkey Kong or something. I don't I know. Could, I could, I could Conky Dong. Just comment on your playing. And... Yeah. You can expand Dong. It's yeah. new to the year 2021 and 2022. I, and 23 I, I... and 24. <laughs> uh, man, I, I wonder what's going to happen in 2030. What big thing is going to happen then that's just going to be like... just a uh, big... The next pandemic. Uh, well, I, I'm talking just more in terms of content, just to be, uh, yeah, ju just to be like, you know, it's 2010. You got the, you got, uh, uh, you know, My Little Pony, just came out, and that was a whole thing. 2021, you got Snoop Game. What's 2023 I, have in store? <laughs> Wait, what did Hinkle say? It got cut off. I'm sorry, I was just saying you're so dramatic. <laughs> hey, that's the kind of person I am. If I wasn't dramatic, I wouldn't be streaming. Uh, but uh, th I also, I, I want to thank all you guys watching. This has been really yeah. great with all you guys, your commentary, just seeing you guys, seeing you guys enjoy it, l loving the voices. That has also meant a lot. Like, thank you for that. Yeah, that, that, that has been a, this with the stream stream with you guys you guys in chat this has just been an amazing experience this new stream was brought to you by viewers like you yes the the true snoot was the snoot in our hearts and the friends we made along the way it's the audience <laughs> the real the real snoot was the friends we made along the way snoot games no competition for game of the yeah like i said <laughs> eyes are so <laughs> have you seen modern gaming no. Yeah, there's some good games. Do they have snoots? Some of them. <laughs> Play Bug Fables. This is a good game. Oh, I have looked at that because it's Paper Mario inspired. Yeah, yeah. it's that one I've been looking at too. The good paper. I've been playing it. It's it's really good. But uh, uh, th thanks for the thanks, guys. See, see, you guys saying you enjoy it. That just it just means a lot. Uh like. Like, like I said, uh, just to, like a few wrap up thing. Like I said, I still got my first blind playthrough that I recorded back with patch three. I, I did slack on uploading that, and I was half wanting to get uploaded before patch six came out, but then it did. And then when I started drawing the thumbnails, I started getting big into art. So that's been delayed, but I'll start getting back to uploading that maybe after Christmas, since it's we only got a week till that. So probably have different priorities. I only have a week till Christmas. <laughs> I'm not ready. Yeah. Then, uh... So there's that. If there's mod, I mean, there's the Olivia mod, which seems interesting because she's another fan character that everyone just rallied around. And then the Reed mod. Might stream those over over here on the YouTube if those come out. If the Trish one comes. If and when those mods come, do that. Uh, what new game I've got to stream now? Uh, like I said, uh... I got Amori, I got a whole route on that. Uh, I got to do that I was told about recently. And Bloodstained, uh, I started that the other week, so I'm gonna go through that. Make sure you save frequently in Amori. I just keep seeing a lot of streamers streaming that game. No, no, see, and then uh, the, issue, the game crashes. See, I haven't had crashes, but I have been saving frequently. I was gonna stream it yesterday, but it turns out I saved over the save file I had at the ending before the route splits. So it's like I've been meticulous with all my saves, but the one time it actually matters, I saved over it for some reason. I so I had to I have to catch back up on that, but I'll have it all set up for tomorrow. So yeah, uh, Amori, Bloodstained, like I said, Metroid Dread, gonna try to do the speed runs for the good sub four hour ending, I think it is, right? 
Shima, four hours? Usually three, but I think this one is four. Mm -hmm. If you're asking me a question about Amori, I don't know. Anything. Oh, no, uh, Metroid. Metroid. It's four hours oh, for Metroid. the... Oh, okay, no, uh, for four hours... Uh, was it? I think it might actually be three hours. Three yeah, hours. most oh. Metroid games, it's three hours. I, mean, I, could, I could do three. My time was like five, so I could do that. Yeah, one second, let me double then, check uh, that for you. You know, the world ends with you. Shin Megami Tensei 3 I got and haven't started yet. Like I said, I was going to think of doing Final Fantasy fourteen since expansion came out and a lot of friends are getting into that there there's a lot of things but uh like most of that will be on the twitch twitch.tv slash kazard i uh, i got a twitter i started i opened up a twitter today so i can have notifications there just because i know it's personally for me twitch delays those sometimes so like you'll see it and it, the, 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 it's like been an hour so you got twitter.com slash kazard archive there's the link also in the description so you can do that or just follow here i upload my vods uh the day after or two days after i stream on twitch so all the contents you're never gonna miss anything and yeah i hope to see you guys over there or see you guys in the future or if not i'm still glad you stuck around i still yeah, i still appreciate that also to answer the question it's four it is four hours oh, four hours okay and, and also to incentivize, incentivize, I do have snoot emotes over on Twitch. You can get Fang, you can get Trish, you can get Anon. Twitch.tv slash Kazard.com? I tried to, I tried to make a, I tried to make a Naomi emote, but her colors are very pale, so they don't, so it just kind of comes out as a single color blob when it's shrunken down. Don't what? know if I'll fix what? that. What? I'm sorry, I had a cold. Maybe I'll get that fixed, I don't know. But, uh, yeah. Uh, thanks guys stick around we will I will st st rest of the week T tomorrow Mori next Tuesday group stuff and we'll just keep going as things go yep good night good dreams snoot dreams hope you all have a Merry Christmas uh, any, uh, any, any, signing off. Any, fi any final words you guys uh Love you. I uh, love love the game. Well, I'll personally, I really oh. enjoyed the ten minutes of Snoot game that I watched. <laughs> I'll see see you later, Space Snoot. Just buy gold. All right. <laughs> Universe <laughs> the hologram. Buy gold. Bye. <laughs> Crash the Fed. Just, all right. Good night, everybody. Snoot ends the Fed. Good night. Snoot ends the Fed. Buy Snoot coin. <laughs> Snoot. Buy Snoot coin. <laughs> yes, it, it was all more than just a dream. Ha, ha, ha.